Ah, Hajima Mash Jinchi. It's time for more Dark Souls 2. That's really about it. Okay. So we are going to go to uh, Sinner's Rise first and use an ascetic on that bonfire. Because we need to fight Sinner again with the help of Lucatiel. Also, let's reorder these spells. Do it from least, least to most uses. So we use the strongest ones first. Okay, so Lucatiel ends up biting it. To make sure she doesn't end up biting it. Let's go down to Salt Fort. Shaded Woods. Yeah, yeah, I think you are. To an extent, kind of quote unquote, supposed to go to Shaded Woods before in the gutter. Even though the wiki actually recommends doing it the other way around. But it's time to go and up this bonfire intensity. Hmm. Actually, check real quick the Black Gulch. Oh, okay. So they're all one, except for this one, because this is now at intensity two. I wonder when I go on a new game plus whether it'll up the intensity, up the number. This can go up to 99 if I recall correctly. Okay. Time for another ascetic. What is done cannot be undone. And now the enemies are back in. Oh, that's interesting. The torches are unlit now, too. Okay, now that's really interesting. Okay. Hmm. In that case... Hi. Oh, come on. You've got to be kidding me. Come on. Okay, there we go. And yeah, these guys are a lot more annoying than they were before now. How can I find... I know there was one... Up... Oh, right, and these items on enemy corpses respawn too. That's right. Okay. In that case, hmm. anyone over here, or doesn't seem like it. All right. Yeah, but this will also. I need to do this so that Lucatiel can get another fight in for a quest line because I missed a lot of those originally. So what I need to do is. Oh my goodness! You've got to be kidding me. Uh, Okay, come on. Oh, please. I don't like this. Come on, come on. Okay, so the light these torches, I'll be home free. As long as everything doesn't just bounce off the walls. Got a lot of torch time, so I can afford to chill out a little here. Come on. Okay, there we go. And right, it is already waiting for us. That's nice. Okay, can I... There we go, I'll go for backstab and one tap that too. Okay. Kutil Sun Sun should be down the bottom, I believe. Something like that. In that case, I'll just send this up after me too. Is there gonna be an item left on corpses over here? Or because I know there was something there before. Okay, yep. It did respawn. Kutil is over there. There, but just like this for now. Then actually, given that we have to deal with that big ol' flexile sentry, I think I will do double hides. Get rid of the. Oh, but the shield doesn't actually make a weight difference. Okay. Put back royal kite. And, well, it doesn't matter whether... Oh, binoculars actually do add weight. Interesting. Okay, now we're below weight. It shouldn't make a huge difference one way or the other, but... Either way, it's time to deal with this guy. Hi! Hi! Oh, what? Oh, another thing is... Oh, that's new. Hello? Huh. Okay. Interesting. Okay. Now, that's news. But, it's just, and now it's coming up, I don't quite like that. 
Come on, come on. Oh my goodness. You gotta be kidding me. Oh, please. Come on, heal. And just go for one more before you hit me again. Now this might be some real trouble. It's not expecting anyone else to show up. If she is, we can summon Lucatil eventually. A point like this is honestly going to be kind of annoying. Okay, and luckily... Yep, and then Flex Owl's over here too. Oh my goodness. Yeah, this might really, really suck. Luckily I do have my Lightning Swords, but I don't want to spend a bunch of magic on this when magic is what I want to use against Sinner. Okay, come on. Roll out of the way. Gradually tap you down. I bet, honestly, those undead would one-tap me. Oh, and there was another one? Oh, you've got to be kidding me. This is going to suck. This is really going to suck. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, and the... What is with those... Roll frames. Okay, so I need to start my attack from really far away. Otherwise, they'll just nab me. Luckily, I do have a good amount of... Actually, could I lure you down here? Probably not. Okay, cool. We're out of the way. We're out of the way. Send that back up, I suppose. Oh my goodness. Okay, you got a tail attack. Actually, that seems pretty decent to bait, maybe. Let's pull this back down, just so I don't back up and fall in. I was not expecting Sinner's Rise to be this much trouble at all. Okay, maybe I shouldn't exactly have power stance anyway. Eh, the aberrations were really the bad part, because they could actually get in here. Okay, come on, come on. Get close, go for a jump attack and let me nab you. Okay, don't just run away. Maybe I should have leveled up my faith enough to get Lightning Spear before I did this. Maybe. We'll see. By the way, come back here. Come back here. Try this again. If I mess up this fight with Sinner and have to go through this gauntlet again, I may, I may cry a little. Full warning. Where are you going? What are you doing? You need to fight me. Okay. Get over here, go for here. Okay, there we go. Oh my, what? Okay, now you're jumping. That hit me? How did that hit me? That is bizarro world. Okay. One. Okay, can we? That did not work. Get over here, get over here. Okay. One. Okay, 410. 410 is good. Yep. Lightning is kind of the move, given that this is. It's in water. Its lightning resistance is way down right now. Light attacks seem good, given that it gives me more time to roll away, but how can I get you to... And now you jump... Okay, pancake me like that. That's fine. Uh, how much Estus am I even going to have left by the end of all this? The actual fight. That said, did plan on largely relying on light gems anyway. Given how we're a center. Is that said, if I'm just going to be bursting... In center down with magic while she focuses on Lucatil. Well, we'll see. Depends on whether she actually focuses on Lucatil. Ah, this flexile is such a pain. Get over here. Get over here. Can't really roll in the water, so do your thing. One, two, and one more. Can I actually... Yep, I can actually go for a cobble. That was nice. Okay. Keep on hitting. 410 per. It's not bad. Uh, I need to actually roll out of the way of that. Okay, we got four S's left. Uh, one and... Oh, that one was just two. Oh my goodness. It's gonna be... It's gonna be painful. Just... I need to knock you down. I need to get rid of you. Otherwise, yeah, because you're moving pretty fast through the water, I'm moving slowly. So I can't get through here without getting rid of you. Come on. Uh, 
I'm the one who's supposed to be able to hang back and fight you on the terrain of my most advantage, not you. Oh, you're kidding me. And... oh goodness, that sucked. And make sure that doesn't go up on its own. Please, please, please. Back over here. Get back over here. Okay. One. Two. The stab. Two. Roll away. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. Okay, just a few more hits should do it. A few more hits. Okay, we actually matched the dodge of the pancake. That was pleasantly surprising. What? What? Okay. Luckily, you can't hit me here. You cannot hit me here. And I should be able to go with one last. Last hit. Where are you? Bait out and attack. One, two, three, and finally! Mini boss flexile goes down, giving me barely any souls. Okay. In that case, I just let's put the staff back. Then there we go. We're under half load. Some kite shield didn't need a double, but that's fine. A few more hollows should spawn in. This is the soul the name of soldier. There's somebody moving? think. Okay, got this over here too, and that's... Oh, another northern ritual then. Not that it makes a difference, because we can't double up. Okay, let's try not to die. There should be another hull over here. Hopefully a single soul arrow should be able to snipe it, but we'll see. Where are you going? Hi, okay. Now I should be able to lock onto you eventually, hopefully. Let's see. Okay, yep. A single shot will do it. But the torch with a- Oh, what? Oh, what? Dark spirit? What? Oh, you're- Oh, that's new. It's new and I don't like it. Okay. Dark Souls really- Dark Souls 2 it really is the Dark Souls of Dark Souls New Game Plus. It's got more- Oh, prisoners over here to ruin my day. Come on, come on. Hide night, though. He's chill until I actually wake that guy up. Should be, hopefully. Just gotta check to make sure. Okay, the doors are still unlocked. That's good. There's no way those... Oh, there are dudes there now. Oh, no. At least light this torch. I was really not expecting. Or actually be an issue with- oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Lots of dudes, lots of dudes. Come on, come on. There we go, and- what? What? Okay. Four dudes just all doing their thing. Okay. Frankly, I should have just gone around instead of trying to light the torch with the torch. Well, pretty sure this should be. It in terms of undead prisoners trying to get me. We will see. We will indeed see. Hmm. And then, of course, I need to actually remember to summon Lucatiel, but beyond that, things should be okay. Got one Estus left, but we have lots and lots of silly little life gems to use if we feel like it. Just gotta make sure that nobody comes to get me. Okay, there we go, light this up, put our shield back up, okay, not fall off. And weakness left or weakness right, exactly. And oh, these are undead jailers, okay. Let's see how much I can get them down with just my magic. Hi. What, what, oh my goodness, they're really going, oh, go to hell garbage. Well, guess who's gonna need to use another human effigy? And kill that goddamn Fluxile Sentry again. Do I have actually... Mm -hmm. Hide. 
spear. Oh, that takes more dexterity than I have. Isn't there a hide lanes that I also have? Hmm. I'm not sure. So let's actually get rid of that. We need a pokey weapon with lightning damage. Item box. Let's see. Hide. Lands. Okay, there we go, and that takes... Well, it won't tell me what it takes. Okay. Hide lands. And wow, the requirements on that aren't bad at all. Interestingly, the spear's actually got more lightning damage, but... Oh. Okay. Let's just try this thing out. Good stuff. Come on. Luckily, some of the torches were nice and lit. Oh, baby, that, that's good damage. Okay. That's really good damage. Hmm, well, let's just use this now so I can get max health already without wasting anything at all. Okay, now you're back. Let's just see. How can you backstab with a, well, never mind. There we go. That was fun. I wonder how much damage the full lance charge would do. I need to be careful with it so I don't fall off anything. But I feel like that could reasonably maybe one-tap something. This is fun. It's a fun weapon. I like it. What? Huh? Weird. That doesn't make much sense. Okay. Totally missed it. Oh, that was... Satisfying. Okay. Just pierced him and kept pushing. It was a charge attack in the sense of a literal charge. Hi. Okay. Come on, come on. Okay, don't kill me. And what? Oh my goodness. Ugh. What are you doing? Come on, come on. Out of my way. Okay, nice, and charge again. I really doubt I can poise break that flexile, but... Hmm. I can maybe stagger some of those undead mutant abomination type things. Possibly. Hmm. Well, okay. And... All right, that corpse did fall down the hole. Hmm. All right. Then. I wonder what the jailers are weak to. So they were really annoying, and I had to kill them in order to get these torches lit up. But okay, now you're over here. Can I charge you? Can I charge you? Let's see. Oh my goodness, what? Did it just not work because it was in water? Well, okay. That may not work all that well. Oh, baby. Yeah, that may be bad news. Yeah, because I think probably just because the upgrade level that the power stand stuff is doing a bit better. That's a shame. The range is good. Being able to poke is good. What? Huh? Okay. Weird. What are you doing, though? What are you doing to attack? Okay. That's sad. Poke is... Okay, it's dodgeable if I time things right. But... Hmm. Okay. Well, okay. Oh, goodbye. <laughs> oh, but if you... Yeah, fall down here. So actually, maybe sending them up might work kind of well. Okay, fall down, fall in the middle. Maybe. Maybe. I'm gonna try to get back down here. 
the Trident? You will, and you'll... Wait, so is that the fall damage or the pit damage? I couldn't even really tell. That was funny either way. Hmm. Okay. What am I going to do about Fluxol? It was actually... It's not all that pokey. Got good range, but it's always kind of a charge. Hmm. Well, alright. Another one should be coming shortly. Hmm. There's the other one. There's the other one. Hi. Hello. And another. And, okay, that's actually good damage. It's got range, too. Hmm. Unless it does that. Okay. This should be a good way to do things. Unless that abomination comes in. Yep, and the abomination is going to get in here as well. Goodness. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Come on, come on. Oh, maybe they're just resistant to pierce. I could see that. Let's maybe try to get you on here and see if we can... Were you up? Let's get elevated. Can you even get on the elevator? Can you get on the elevator? Okay. Interesting. So the chains seem to be blocking you. What? Oh, well. There we go. If you fall down here, will you fall in the water or will you fall in the... But I did manage to get that to work. So I guess it kind of clipped onto the elevator once the elevator started going back up. Either way, I really don't want to get ganked by this thing. Get ambushed from behind while I'm fighting the other guy. Yeah, just... What are you doing? Get down here. Get down here. Can you even try to get down here? Let's move forward. This is so silly. It's not expecting this. Take so long. That said, Black Gulch is one of the shortest boss runs, period, because the bonfire uses kind of secret. Hmm, well, maybe I'll just leave that there. Hope I don't regret it. Come on. If I got boxed in, I swear. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Hi. I hope they're not deliberately using pincher tactics. That would really, really suck. Hi. Hello. Get over here. Take notice of me. Mm -hmm. Okay. So dodging with a lance is actually pretty easy. Hmm. Oh, but the damage is related to how much of it I hit with. It seemed to be kind of sour spotting before, maybe? Possibly. Maybe sometimes they don't count as being in water. I'm not sure. Hi. What? Hold on. And for another one. You gotta be kidding me. Yeah, nice. Yeah, oh, okay. What, what, what? Oh, that's not good. Heal up again. I'll use another Estus after that, too. I could just try to use some Soleros for this. I might end up doing that, actually. I think I'll probably end up doing that now. Sorcerer Staff. Royal Kite. I need to get rid of some of these, actually. How many will it take? Arrows will take to down Sinner now. What kind of magic damage sidearm am I going to need? Come on, come on. Okay. Good damage. Good damage at least. Oh, that's really, really worrisome. Yeah, that... that's not good. At least for this situation. 
Let's take that hide lance back. Come on, come on. Have that. Hmm. It's good on some enemies, not so much on others. So how am I gonna poise break the jailers? I wonder if they'll have more poise since this is technically new game plus. In a certain specific area. What? Huh? What kind of range was that? Uh, I don't have any lightning. I don't have any real lightning damage. Maybe I could just say screw it and try to get past it. That's probably what I'm going to have to do. Run as fast as I can and just... Try to snipe the rest off. It's the first real... Real boss run I've done in a while, where I'm actually just running. <laughs> okay, actually... Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, this... This ain't good. Because hmm. yeah, I don't have anything really, really pokey. Can't make much use out of... Actually, I want to see how much damage Hide Spear actually does. So I don't have the dex for it, but... If I tried... I tried using it. Yeah, it's nothing. Okay. Guess maybe I could try Hide Lance and just actually try killing this and not fall to my death against those jailers. Honestly, maybe I don't even need to light everything up again. Maybe. Well, so all I would really need to do is lure them away while I light them up. I could maybe do a bit of a death run there. Hi. Okay, please. How did that hit me? It doesn't even make... S <sighs> Garbage hitbox. So that's what happens when you do things in water. Yeah. It's definitely a roll distance issue. Oh, I can't do this. I might legitimately have to just kill this goddamn thing ten times so it stops respawning. So I'm gonna have to go back to the bonfire at this point. All of my Estus is gone. I haven't even gotten past mini-boss flexile. Damage output is too low. How much I can really do against it? I could use fire, maybe, but it's in water. <sighs> oh, and I can't even lock on the damn thing. <sighs> Yeah, I think I'll just use the resources I have at this point to try to... Oh, what? Try to light those torches, but no, I can't at this point. I can't do that at this point. Uh, you're kidding me. Well, alright. Going back to the bonfire and trying this again. Life in hell. Operations over there. What's gonna happen when the elevator comes down? Okay. Okay. Okay, you're not gonna just try to come down, it seems. Instead, we need to keep track of you so we don't just get knocked. Oh, and interesting, this enemy's corpse is actually seem to be blocking my movement for a bit. Whatever. Whatever. Can a new game boy and a new game plus girl really find love? Guess not. <sighs> okay. Okay. We are going to take the High Knight Swords back. And just power stance our way to victory. Hopefully. Okay. I wonder what a power stance backstab is like. There even really is one. Well, whatever. Hi, goodbye. Joy death. Ah. 
two good old hits will do it every given time. Lightning damage is good damage. Okay. Hi. Oh, but it's bouncing off the wall. Wall bounces. I hate that. I hate that so much. Okay, and okay, another radiant life gem. That's cool. And there should be another one who is just waiting for me on the other side. Okay, cool. Die. Die. Oh! That didn't kill. Weird. Okay, you are... It's like that. Come on, and what? What? Oh. Yes, so I couldn't go for that backstab. Come on, come on. Okay, just a little bit more. There we go, goodbye. Okay, so... A little bit more S's than last time, but what? What are the undead aberrations? What are they weak to? Dead aberration. No, are they? Okay, they're weak to... Resistant to magic and they're immune to fire. These only show up in... New Game Plus, actually. At least in Sinner's Rise. Poison, bleed, and hammers. Oh! It actually weak to bludgeoning. Hmm. Okay. And that goes. Hmm. Two handing our fists. Oh, but if we do it. If we press R, it just has us block. That's an attempted parry. This is two handing our fists. Interesting. Alright then. Hello. Hi. Can I poise break you? Let's see. What is your poise like? Hmm. Get over here. Okay, well... Trying to poise break you does not do anything meaningful. Oh my goodness. You've gotta be kidding me. Do not wanna do that. Well, the strategy is probably going to be finding a way to get them out of the way anyway, but that was actually pretty capable damage. Oh, goodness, but the lack of range on this is really bad. Interesting. Well, brush your skull. That did more damage. I guess that must have just been movement frames. Yeah, the hammer did work. Pretty capable of dispatching it. Hmm. Those jailers... What are they weak to? Weak to... Oh, they're weak to magic, actually. It's just that the magic damage I had was garbage. Okay. <laughs> well, in that case... Oh, you're over here. Go away. I want that undead aberration to come out. That's all I want right now. Let's put our shield back up briefly. We not take too long here, because I do want to hopefully fight Freya. But if it goes like this, I might not be able to. Mm. Hi. Just keep a safe distance from me. Keep a respectful distance. Now you're over here. Hi. Get over this way. I'm gonna fight you again. Come on, come on. What are you doing? What are you doing? Okay. Nice, that was decent. Get over here. And, oh, okay, and you're gonna jump back in. Get a couple slashes in on you. Alright, come on. Okay, what are you going to do to me? Oh, and now the, now the aberration is coming. I got my whole life ahead of me. No, you don't. The undead aberration is coming. Get over here. 
Oh, oh, but I'm... I was dancing the wrong thing. Okay. Die. Let me crush your skull. Okay. Finger Blades is helping here, I think. Come on, come on. And just a couple more hits. There we go. And oh, the, it actually managed to trade. Oh, but we got a Twinkling Titan. That might be nice, depending on what I end up using. Hmm. Hmm. Actually, let me see. I wonder if a Smelter Sword might actually be better. How much will it weigh, though? Oh, wow. Okay. But Buxel is supposed to be weak to fire. Let's just see. Even in water, this might deal good damage. Frankly, I just want a reason to use Smelter Sword. Oh, that was slow. That, yeah, that damage is not particularly good. Okay. Back to double hide. Though to be fair, to be entirely fair, boss weapons are kind of weak. Unless you have the dragon bones to upgrade them anyway. Come on, come on. Don't want to have to wipe you out too much again. Two and thrust. One, two. Alright. And how much more? That only hit with one of them, so it didn't deal as much damage. Yeah, fighting you in this, under these conditions, is not so pleasant. Oh, come on. And got a bit more. There we go. Oh, goodness. So could actually get three in on a good day, basically. Come on. Okay, two and sweet jump. I guess not. Ah, just, what are you doing, though? What are you doing? Luckily, we're not using as much Estus as we did last time, so let's actually let's see if we can... One, two, cross, one, two, three. Hmm. Okay, nice. And you're gonna come back. Can we knock you down? Okay, now, there we go. That flux that was dead, too. Some soul arrows, too. Those guys. Sorcerer staff. Little kite shield again, and just... A couple of dead prisoners should be back. Is that annoying dark spirit one, and the others in the water? Hi. Actually, maybe I want to try sniping with a pair of binoculars, or maybe... Eh, nah, we'll be fine. Should be fine. And yep, there we go, we got the Dark Spirit one too. Just go up and around, though. Should be able to avoid most of the other ones. Those jailers. Jailers, though. What is that in there? was trying to get summoned. Okay, well. Are we gonna come up this way now that we've gone around this way? Well, we'll see if someone comes around behind, but I think I might have hopefully circumvented them. We'll see. But yep, let's to light those torches again. We have got to dispatch these undead jailers. Fun. Okay, and it doesn't look like any of the undead prisoners are Trying to get us now. I guess that's good. Come on, come on. What? Okay, so your pyromancies are not particularly strong. That's good. Oh, but you got got a bit of a homing though. I was not expecting that. Okay, but if I just keep moving, it should be okay. Okay, so just weird. Oh, but you can actually stagger them pretty capably with. Oh, no. Don't knock me into the water, please. That would be not nice. Okay. Actually, roll through them. And what? 
Okay, one more, one more. Die, die, die. Okay. Mm, we still need to go back and summon a Lucatiel. But these standard soul arrows shouldn't make the difference between being able to kill Sinner or not. Either way, I'd prefer to try it than just not try it. Better to know for sure than be too cautious. Okay, nice. Let's just roll back. Oh, so he actually overshoots a little deliberately. And now he's blocking with his staff. That's just out of the way. Come on. Nothing else, I can just spam these down. And then a second try, I would have more soul arrows, because I won't need to bother with relighting the torches after I've already lit them, but... Oh, goodness. He broke lock on. Well, enjoy death. Let's go back. That torch. I guess I could use a flame butterfly, but no point in being foolhardy. So we've got 10, 25... 46, 50 magic missiles of various power to take down Sinner with the help of Lucatiel. New game plus. And in that case, I'll get all the Witch Soul, so I might actually want to get Flame Weapon. Because that would work really well with the pyromancies that I have. Yep, there we go. Should be nice and burning now. And did we get it? Yes, we did. Looks like that oil is going to keep burning. And yep, so one of the torches is lit, I'm going to light the other one, and... I wonder how the cutscene will be different now that we've actually lit up the arena for the fight. Because so last time, I didn't have the Belfry key, because I hadn't gone to Belfry Luna. Didn't have the branch for it either. But now, it'll be actually all lit up when we fight while Sinner, and I'm wondering difference that will make visually for the intro cutscene. Either way, I think we can avoid all the prisoners here. Hopefully. I do want to see who's summitable over on the other side. This is... some sort of roulette. Okay, well. Do your thing. And is anyone in there? Well, nobody I can see. Just gotta go back, summon in Lucatiel, hope that she does not Awaken those undead prisoners, and then it's time to fight Sinner again. Okay. Probably gonna use life gems for speed, but it depends on who Sinner actually focuses on. And this will be our third fight with a Lucatil surviving, so that should mean we get her set and her mirror greatsword when we get to Aldeus Keep. It should actually be later on today. We'll see. Okay, come through here. Yeah, nothing seems to have respawned, which is good. We go up here and hope she follows. Okay. Okay, good, good. Come up here. Don't fall down. Don't do anything stupid. Don't attack that hide knight. Okay, she's not. That's good. Better than I expected, frankly. Come down here. Don't fall in the water. That would be a really silly way for them to go. And, oh, we can actually see the light of the burning oil in there from pretty far away, too. Well, let's go and actually get these out of the inventory. Put in more life gems or radiant ones, but no lock on. If I had to do that when I didn't have the torches, or I just had to get close, but here we are. Time for dinner and. So this is what it looks like all lit up. Nice. Hello, hello. Bug is back. You want a bug crawls into my eye socket? Hmm. There we go. And there will be a couple of pyromancers here too, so... Oh, but did she actually... What? Get rid of... Oh, but she actually didn't get rid of them. What? Oh my goodness. There were supposed to be a couple more, right? Or is it only on other difficulties? Well, well that damage is... Oh, goodness. Just keep spamming. Keep spamming. Mm, come on. There are two. 
focusing on it. It doesn't appear that... Oh, I guess it's only on an actual New Game Plus that the other Pyromancers come in. That's nice, I guess. Okay, well... What to do is spam Soul Arrows until Sinner dies before Lucatiel dies. Do you have a... Oh, but no, now they, now they show up. Okay. And you're rolling. You're really rolling. I don't like that. Oh, no. Oh, no. That's bad. Don't tell me that... Do not tell me that they're just gonna kill Lucatiel. Oh, please. What are you... Die, die. Uh, oh, and I'm out. I'm out. Bad, bad. Okay, well... Ooh. Focus on me. Focus on me, maybe. Okay, good, good. I actually liked that. And do not kill Lucatiel, please. If you kill Lucatiel, I'm gonna have to try this all over again. This Lucatiel will return home, and... Good God, you've got to be kidding me. Now I need to try this all over again. Actually, what I should maybe do is... Find a way to focus on... Lucatiel. Yep, yeah, because I may as well just die. Homeward Bone is going to take way too long to actually use, and I don't have Homeward Equipped. Yep, yeah, that's my life now. That is my life now. Because you can't use Bone during a fight. Oh, can you? I guess. Come on. Well, I'm dead either way. Time to use another Effigy, I guess, and deal with that goddamn Flexel again. At least the torches are lit. Okay. For some background, the reason that I'm fighting Sinner on New Game Plus via Bonfire Aesthetic with Lucatiel is because I inadvertently missed her first couple of summoning opportunities for, in particular, for Flexile and for Original Sinner. And I didn't know at the time that those were opportunities because the wiki's notation for summon locations is, to be frank, really weird. Because it said, summonable at Lost Bastille, summonable at No Man's Wharf. And then it said, you can summon, much, much longer and more, more blatantly, you can summon her for Smelter Demon in Iron Keep. You can summon her for the Rotten in Black Gulch. And so I saw the big text and not the small text because I'm stupid. And basically I'm stuck here. <laughs> Until I can kill Sinner before Lucatiel dies. But once I do, I will also get Old Witch Soul, hopefully. And therefore be able to get Flame Weapon, which would be really nice. Well, it's kind of weird because Dark Souls does have a plot, but it's not that important. It's usually... In Dark Souls 1, there are these four gods of the old world who you have to take down and fight. Well, actually, Dark Souls is a big theme of decay, essentially, that you know, the gods are declining, the world is generally getting weaker, for lack of a better term. And therefore, when you fight... When you go down to track the four gods in Dark Souls 1, one of them is the final boss, one of them is entirely missing, and two of the two of the bosses you fight, main bosses you fight, are actually just subordinates of the gods sort of taking on their role. But in this one, I would say in Dark Souls in general, the plot is not so important as the themes. And Dark Souls 2, in particular, is very, very Buddhist in its themings. Theming in the sense that the entire purpose is your personal journey to escape, essentially, the undead curse. Which is the main lore explanation, game-wise, for why every time you die, you respawn. Because you're undead, you can't actually die, so every time you get the crap kicked out of you, you just get back up again after a while, which... For the player, means respawning at a bonfire. For others, it means respawning where he, they are when you rest at a bonfire. But a lot of it has to do with, like I said, Buddhist themes, in particular obsession. 
Because the real impetus for the entire Dark Souls series is that the original god, Gwyn, the god of the sun and of lightning, said, You know what? I want to rule the world. I'm going to take down the dragons who currently rule the world. Which, in particular, is very similar to Genshin lore. Genshin lore, if you know it, takes a lot of inspiration from Dark Souls, which I don't dislike. Good artists borrow and great artists steal. But with time, because... As you know, nothing can last forever. His age of fire, as it was called, declined, and his fire started fading, and he and his fellow gods did increasingly dumb and atrocious things to try to prolong it, and it was still kind of pointless. Your goal in Dark Souls 1, or at least the goal that the main characters of the game want you to do, is to basically go and keep the fire going by literally burning yourself up in it, which Gwyn does, which is why at the end of Dark Souls 1, you fight Gwyn, who is a hollowed shell of his former self because he's burning, been burning in the fire for centuries, millennia, it's never specified, but for some ungodly, pun intended, amount of time in order to keep the fire going. But in the end, either... And this is where it gets very Buddhist. That regardless of your personal choice, whether you choose to try to snuff the fire out at the end and reject it or burn yourself up in it to keep it going, Dark Souls 2 comes around and then eventually Dark Souls 3 and eventually, no matter what you choose, either you or someone else will go turn themselves into kindling to keep the fire going and then eventually the kindling won't work anymore and someone else has to do it. So it's this constant never-ending pointless cycle of trying to keep a fire going and the reason it's pointless is because you're always a human. And it's implied that the fire is not particularly good for humanity. Not just because you literally have to burn yourself up in it to keep it going. But because fire is the province of the gods. The title is Dark Souls. And it refers to the Dark Soul of Man. Mankind in the Dark Souls setting is not affiliated with fire in as much as darkness. And there's a lot of vagueness over whether dark would be any better for mankind, mankind than fire, but it's least, at least, at least as much natural for them. It's very ambiguous. Yeah, it's really, really cool. I'd recommend it. It's not nearly as hard as people often make it out to be. A lot of it is just patience, learning from mistakes, and not rushing in blindly, because. Your movements are very weighty. You can't cancel attacks into each other in as, as much as you can in, say, a character action game like Dark Soul, like Devil May Cry or Bayonetta. You have to commit to all of your actions, which means that you need to plan ahead of time. You need to go into you need to go into fights with strategy, which I like. I like it a lot because it makes me think. It requires a high degree of focus. For what it's worth, it also means that Dark Souls isn't really a game where you oftentimes get into a flow state, which is good and bad. It's just different. But, as I said, Dark Souls 2 in particular is very, very Buddhist in its theming. It talks a lot about the illusory nature of self, of... One of the characters, in fact, the character who I'm summoning right now very shortly to fight with me, yeah. But, I would say that a lot of the world feel... Or at least some of the base lore in particular, essentially. If you're familiar with the Enconomio lore, specifically, like I said, Four Shades came and took the world from dragons. That is literally the lore provided in the intro cutscene of Dark Souls 1. But, and for what it's worth, if you're familiar with the Black Serpent Knights, who are the enemies that appeared in the Enconomy event and also appear in the Chasm, Internally, their name is literally Dark Wraith, which is just taken directly from the name of a player and enemy faction in Dark Souls 1. Which is pretty funny, but it also has some interesting implications for the Abyss and Genshin. Because, if you remember Girl of the Sands, one of the lore documents you find there says something about the original homeland of all mankind. Which to me sounds a bit like, in Genshin, mankind is somewhat associated with the Abyss in fundamental nature, which really sets off my Dark Souls alarms. 
not in a bad way, not in a bad way. But as I was saying, the theming in Dark Souls 2 especially is very, very Buddhist. Because Wukatil, who is the NPC over here who I need to summon so she can fight with me so I can complete her quest line. Last, ses last session, I found her in an underground area called Black Gulch. Full of funny poison spitting statues. And she, like I said, she talked about the idea of self being illusory, about everyone being cursed, ever even people who aren't undead. Which is very, very Buddhist, to see existence itself as kind of a curse. And, like I said, there's a lot of theme theming of obsession. The antagonists, the main antagonists, who are these sort of explicitly abyssal humanoids. Not even really humans, maybe a sort of primordial human. Not like Albedo, though. But these... Fragments of dark, in humanoid form, are obsessed with power. And the main game, as well as all the DLC content, deals with these... Humanoids, these dark humanoids, coveting the power of these various kings. Every one of the three DLC expansions in Dark Souls 2 is about... The crown of the king, and this crown is coveted by... These dark humanoids, some of whom you actually ally with, but most of whom you fight, either directly or indirectly. But what is very interesting is that in Dark Souls 1, there were already people who picked up on the Buddhist theming and said, Oh, fire represents existence, and embracing the dark is embracing enlightenment. And Dark Souls 2 at base was kind of similar, but they added some additional free content, not like the paid DLC, it was free DLC adding an additional ending, where the goal was not rejecting fire in favor of darkness, it was rejecting fire and darkness in favor of quote-unquote something else entirely, in favor of, I guess, true liberation, for lack of a better term. Which, it's interesting, because... Dark Souls 3 also has numerous other endings, but that one is honestly more like an expanded version of the Dark Lord ending. Essentially an ending in which light is rejected in favor of dark even more conclusively. <laughs> but Dark Souls 2 is the one where you can reject both light and dark to essentially travel a different path, which it's different. Dark Souls 2 in general is considered to be sort of a black sheep. It's not a lot like any of the others in a lot of ways. In particular, it had an entirely different dev team. Well, not entirely different dev team, an entirely different director. Because the team that made Dark Souls 1 and Dark also made Dark Souls 3, but while Dark Souls 2 was being made, they were working on Bloodborne. Which I'm going to need to borrow a friend's PS4 in order to play. But... Dark Souls 2, in addition to just being made by a different team, was made by a team which was largely involved with the set of games that FromSoft made in the fantasy genre before Dark Souls, which was called Kingsfield, which really isn't widely known because it was, despite the fact that it paved the way for Dark Souls, it was very, very clunky and unwieldy. It was played entirely from a first-person perspective, and in general was kind of just janky and weird. A lot of people who like Souls have played it and streamed it, done videos, let's plays, and so on and so forth. But even they would largely say that most of its value is in effectively historical documentation. But there is a lot, especially in Dark Souls 2 and Elden Ring, which was... Elden Ring was made by one of the directors of Dark Souls 2, so there's a Direct line of descent, but there are a lot of enemies in Elden Ring, which were new to the Souls series, if you count Elden Ring as part of the Souls series, which I and most people do, which weren't like any enemies in Souls before, but were a lot like enemies in Kingsfield. In particular, there were these giant land octopuses in Elden Ring, which are really cool and surprisingly treacherous enemies, which... Like I said, it didn't have any real predecessors in Souls, but there were giant octopuses in Kingsfield, which 
were pretty similar. But I'll probably try getting around to playing them eventually. But I'm sure you can understand that they aren't a, an especially high priority. Okay, so essentially, Wukatil will not heal and she will not defend, which means we just need to spam our spells to try to burst Sinner down as soon as possible. I do wonder what will happen to those Pyromancers who spawn in midway. If we just ignore them in favor of fighting Sinner. Okay, Sinner is dodging a lot of my attacks, and I don't quite like that. Oh, also, also, I'm sure you know this by now, but Splatoon DLC comes out next week, and I think I'll try playing that, try streaming it. It's apparently roguelike in nature, which sounds really cool to me. Okay, so now the Pyromancer should be coming over here. But if we keep spamming, if we keep spamming soul arrows, we should be fine. Maybe, hopefully. So the Pyromancers are focusing on me. Okay, oh goodness. Let's just see. If we can, if we can manage this, should be fine, maybe. Oh goodness. Let's just see. Let's see. Maybe I could try to... Maybe I could try to... Oh my goodness. Use a weapon, actually. This is as good as this is. Oh no. Lucatiel's just gonna die, right? Which means I'm going to have to die again. Yep. Okay, time to accept death. Please, please. There we go. Yeah, yeah. I know people have theorized that given respawn mechanisms that the pearl drone that the pearl drone we saw literally has pearl inside it and the only way to know for sure is going to be actually playing it but i'm excited to see the one thing i wonder is given that it's meant to be infinitely replayable i'm wondering how long an individual playthrough will be and how meaty it is because I could see it being really, really short and not having much of a storyline, as much as that would disappoint me. But at the very same... Oh. At the very same time... Maybe a single playthrough could be... Maybe about as long as... The shortest possible route through, say, Deep Sea Metro from Splatoon 2 Octo Expansion could be. Something like that, just because... I really do love Splatoon single-player bosses, and I doubt that the expansion would ever not have any bosses, but I could easily see it not having as many as even the base single-player campaign. At the very least, I think they would maybe take the format of something like, oh, do not, oh, if I would fallen down, I would have lost so many souls. Oh, please. I loved Inner Agent 3. It... I should go back and try that fight again eventually. Since that was years ago for me. And I say this in a purely objective sense. I've gotten a lot better at video games since then. But... I really, really liked how... The fight was... Any kind of fight... It was a lot like red from Pokemon, honestly, especially gold, you know, gold, silver, hard gold, soul, silver. The idea of fighting a previous protagonist at peak performance is always really, really cool, especially if pulled off correctly. Yeah. But at the very, at the very, very same time. The rewards being not particularly high was, in my opinion, and I would say in a lot of people's opinions, why they could make the fight so difficult and so challenging. Because it was, if it was something more than a small accessory headgear, a lot of people would get rightfully upset that something meaningful was locked behind a fight that was deliberately outside a lot of players' capabilities. There's an indie platformer Metroidvania shooter type game called EG, which I want to play eventually. But it has a lot of additional difficulty settings that all have meaningful non-cosmetic rewards. But the ones locked behind the sort of 
lower additional difficulty settings, Redula really made a lot more impactful and useful than the ones you got from the higher difficulties. Because the dev, and I think this was a good choice. Oh, malformed skull? Is that a helmet? Let's see. Malformed skull? Because that was one of the undead. Was that a weapon? Let's see. Oh, a great hammer. An identified creature. Great hammer to use as a weapon. Skull of a dragon. We're going to be swung about willy nilly. And what do I need to. A 35. So I don't even have enough to wield that at all. Wait, do I? No, no, I do, actually. Oh, interesting. So I wonder how that would actually work against... Okay, it's not doing that much more damage, though, because this is completely unupgraded. Yeah, I could see that. A weapon skin could be good. That said, given the way Splatoon handles weapon skins by actually making them different weapons with the same stats and same kit, like Octoshot... I feel like even that might cut it close. If they had a true weapon skin system, I have not. It looks really cool, but I'm not sure I have the time for it. Because I'm going to be getting a real job soon, hopefully. And while that will mean resources for things like art, model upgrades, and the like, it will also mean just less free time. It works well, I'm glad people have fun with it. But I just don't think I have the time for it. But I do keep track of some of the updates, in part because I do have a lot of friends who do play it. Like the new area, Penacony. I heard that they added a new character who's racist. And people are fighting online about that. Okay. Now I do find the whole Sparkle situation interesting. Because it reminds me of how... Oh, I, I'm sure you'll get this reference. It's... I think it'd be hard for people to not get this reference, but... It's kind of like how people... Hated Umbridge a lot more than Voldemort. Because Voldemort was evil in a fantasy kind of way. You know, very rarely do you run to people who are committing... Fantasy genocide. But everyone has had a bad teacher. A bad school administrator before. Well, basically... Sparkle in the Chinese version was... She insulted characters using terms which had closer parallels to real-world racism. And there was a lot of discourse about it, basically saying... You're allowed to hate her for it, and in fact you're supposed to. But, if you want a villain, they should be allowed to be actually despicable sometimes. And, there, I understand both sides of the argument. You know, the fact that fantasy and fictional villains typically aren't evil in realistic ways that hit home is oftentimes part of why people like fiction. In the end, it's... there isn't really a right answer, it's just... the authors are going to make choices and some people are going to like them and some people aren't going to like them because... anytime a meaningful choice is made, that's what happens. But... I would say... It's legitimate to like it, it's legitimate to dislike it. And I don't mean that in a way of just waffling. I mean it in the sense of it really is just a judgment of aesthetics based on preference. Okay, so I should... Oh, but I really screwed up. I need to get... What would my best weapon be? Honestly, I might just go for the high power stance. No, actually, I think I'll... I think I'll just take my hammer out. I think I'll just smack Lost Sinner with a hammer a bunch of times and hope that that DPS is faster. Given that I will literally have Lucatil to take a lot of the hits for me, or draw aggro, I may as well just go in melee. Because even if she's weak to magic, projectiles never do as much damage anyway. I'm going to do a lot more damage actually just rushing in. Okay. But... 
one thing that I'm going to get out of the spite besides completing Lucatil's quest line is hopefully going to be... It's going to be the old Witch Soul, which is a boss item that you only get on higher difficulties. Like I said before, I used an item to raise the difficulty of this area by one playthrough. Because the way difficulty settings work in Souls, they're not really difficulty settings in the traditional sense. It's more that when you beat the game, you can go through a second time with more difficult enemies that drop better rewards. And Dark Souls 2 in particular changed a lot of things in its New Game Plus. To a degree much greater than any other Souls game. Because they added new items in certain areas, new enemies in certain areas. No Souls game since has done that. It, the closest thing they did to adding new weapons was making it so that you could get a second copy of Boss Souls, so that you could make more copies of a boss weapon, but that's not quite the same. And I did not correctly dodge that belly flop. That said, okay. I'm gonna S this up again and try this one more time and. But essentially, the four main bosses of the first half of the game Old Iron King, the Rotten Lost Sinner, and the Duke Sir Freya, and the last one being a funny giant spider with two heads. On New Game Plus or higher, which you can access even in New Game by using an item that raises the local difficulty of an area, also drop special souls that are connected to the bosses, the four main bosses. Actually, not the four main bosses, the four main gods of... Well, not even the four main gods. Three of the four main gods, because one of them never shows up, and one of the four main bosses, who was not one of those gods. It's Seath the Scaleless, Gwyn, Lord of Sunlight, the Old Witch of Isolith slash the Bed of Chaos, and then Grave Lord Nido. The four bosses of Dark Souls 2 on New Game Plus or higher will drop souls related to the bosses of Dark Souls 1. And that's cool and all. And you can also get cool spells, weapons that you wouldn't be able to get otherwise that way. And a lot of them are pretty good. In particular, the only way you can get a spell that allows you to enchant your weapon with fire damage is by killing this boss, the Lost Sinner, on New Game Plus. Or killing her on New Game with a bonfire aesthetic. What's very, very interesting is that the way that weapon enchantments work in Dark Souls 2 is different. Well, you can also just put fire damage on your weapon by using an item, but you have to buy those. It's not infinite. Well, you can buy an infinite amount, but you have to buy more. You can't just rest at a bonfire to get uses back like you could with a spell. Which is that when you enchant a weapon in Dark Souls 2, in Dark Souls 1 and in everyone since, you could only enchant weapons that didn't already deal an elemental damage type. But what's interesting is that in Dark Souls 2, you can enchant weapons that already deal elemental damage. And in fact, they actually benefit more from an elemental infusion if they've already got that damage type already on it. You're better off putting fire on a weapon that's already got fire damage. You make the fire burn hotter, I suppose. It's interesting, because it's not what, not like any other Souls game, and it leads to some pretty interesting builds, but in particular what I'd say is that it makes what I'd call a spell sword build, effectively a build that uses both magic and weapons together really, really good, which I like. I like that. Oh, come on. Can we kill Sinner? Oh, goodness. I should have gotten a magic weapon. I should have gotten my magic weapon. That's fine. Come on, come on. There we go. Pyromancers are taking good damage from my hits. Can we actually back- oh, we can't backstab you, but they're gone now. We can just keep going with my hammer, hopefully. Don't have to worry about any more interference now. Oh, please. Don't kill me. Don't kill me. Okay, and let's just life gem up. Hopefully this should work, and we should be able to get Old Witch Soul. Hi, hi. Hammer is not taking too much to use anyway, which is good. Shield is taking your attacks pretty capably as well. Oh my goodness, stop jumping! I don't want you to jump. Oh, please. You are insane. Okay, cool. And one. 
Let's just do this. Let's do this. Oh, please. And Wukatil did it herself. Goodbye, Wukatil. Quest line's done. Build Sinner again, and we got our old Witch Soul. Should be able to actually level up a good amount of times, which is good given that I'm gonna need a lot of level ups to use a weapon I should be getting later on today called Santir's Spear, which is really, really good because, like the title of the stream suggests, I've been leveling up literally every stat evenly. Not in the sense that I need to get enough to level up every stat at once if I want to level up even one, but. I'm never letting any stat get more than one point higher than any other. Which means that since weapons in Dark Souls get stronger based on related stats, for example, the higher your strength is, the more damage you'll deal with this hammer. The higher your strength and dexterity are, the more damage you'll deal with these swords, that, that sword. So on and so forth. But since I've got even stats, what I want are weapons that scale evenly with lots of stats, or weapons that don't scale at all and just have good base damage. This one, the Black Knight Greatsword, has been good, since it deals fire damage. And fire damage already scales with Faith and Intelligence, which are the two magic attacking stats, and also just as Strength and Dexterity scaling to begin with. So every stat I'm investing in is giving, more, giving me more damage on that. Or if it's not giving me more damage, it's giving me more durability or more spell uses or something like that. So I'm just going to go back to the hub area Majula, level up a few times. Actually, what I should do, before I forget, let's go straight to back to Lost Bastille to Stride Cell to talk to Stride of Olympus, who is A guy can trade bossles to in exchange for items and spells. There's another trader named Weaponsmith Ornifex, and she is a bird person blacksmith who also gives stuff like that. But, and I'll actually see her later on. Into the heart of magic. Let's see what we can get with... Oh, actually, this is just the forlorn outfit. Search of a home, have only to wander. Wander the land of the undead. Don't need the agape ring. Don't need those rings, really. What can I get? I guess I could get some miracles just for the sake of it. Can't use affinity. I could get another dark hail. That's a good one. Flame swathe, eh, maybe. Maybe. Actually, sure. Sure, why not? Then, Lingering Flame. No, we've already got a Lingering Flame, though. Let's see. Have Unveil. Rest are not all that useful. Homing Soul Arrow? Well, maybe you use it eventually. But what I really want, what I really want, is Flame Weapon. Flame Weapon. And, well, I guess I could exchange Ruin Sentinel Soul, because it's not going to be useful for anything else. It's the only thing you can trade with. Targets to the end of the earth. They'll probably, I probably won't be able to even use it this playthrough, but you could also get the Chaos Blade, which is a really funny katana with, or katana. With the Old Witch Soul 2, but actually, let me look at the description real quick. Curse Hunt Warriors, that are my spells. It's like the Potion Seller. But yep, you can see King Rotten. Old Witch. Oh, they're all after. They're all put at the end of the list. All of them have the same description. Okay, Soul of the Ineffable. This, the Untouchable. This once magnificent soul continues to exert influence over the land, even after the eons have reduced it to these remnants. Okay. Well, Numbness I won't be able to use. I can maybe get Crypt Black Sword. Let's see. Trade. Oh, but... Crypt is going to have to be from Ornifex. Okay. Go and... Grab Flame Weapon. Or damage to other types of damage it already inflicts. Pyromancy and Sorcery are said to be like oil and water. In fact, their origins can be traced to a common source. That's actually a reference specifically to Demon Souls. 
was in Demon Souls, which was the first True Souls game. Magic damage and fire damage were both under the sorcery magic category. They split off. Welcome back, welcome back. Glad to hear it. But basically I got my fire weapon enchantment spell now. Take these. Oh, thank you. Stop being so weak. Never heard the name. This place now. Very good, very good. But that dialogue you just saw is also... I wouldn't necessarily say it's explicitly a Buddhist theme, because it's also very similar to Shelley's Ozymandias. The entire point, and a lot of other NPCs say it too, is that since the first Souls game, there's been this constant other cycle of kingdoms rising and falling, rising and falling again. And the fall is inevitable, being replaced is inevitable. So this guy, Stride of Olaphus, was petrified for millennia over here in the cell until we freed him. And to the point where he predates the current kingdom. Cursed one. Spells does not deter you. But we got the black set. So is that going to be better than what I currently have? It's definitely more of a mage set. Since I expect to be an armor wearer. I guess maybe kind of an iron, more of an iron, armor mage. Increased the spell casting speed. Invited the old kingdom of Olavis for his wisdom. Death was such that people soon feared him, and in the Unshrined was led into a dreadful trap. Casting speed, let's see if the others have anything else to say. Stride spent several lifetimes of stone. Several lifetimes. During this hiatus, kingdoms rose and fell until the land called Dragleic came to be. And of course, Dragleic is where this game takes place. But yep, that theme is right there. I would say... I was kind of saying this before, but... On a facile level, Dark Souls 2 is the least essential to the plot of the Dark Souls series. But the Dark Souls series isn't really a plot-oriented series, it's a themes-oriented series. And Dark Souls 2 is some of the strongest themes. Elden Ring is really good, but it's actually more plot-oriented and less themes-oriented, I'd say. It's also, for better or worse, a lot more optimistic in the sense that... Okay, we need Unveil. This will allow me to... Since the invisible enemy is in the Shaded Woods. But... I'm gonna see how good this is gonna be. How much damage would... My Flame Greatsword deal with that? Hmm. I wonder if this is enchantable anyway. It says I can't use it, but it just means I need to use it two-handed, so let's try this. Can I... Oh, I can use Flame Weapon on this. Nice! Straight up burning now. I like that. It's gonna keep burning when we... I set a bonfire. It's... It's still burning. Okay. Actually, in that case, maybe I'd like to... Not quit out, but actually just travel. Or actually tune. I guess I'll put Homeward back on here very briefly. This teleporting should hopefully reset it. That said, it should actually run out pretty soon anyway. Shouldn't make that much of a difference. Okay, Priest Chime. Use that. Or, oh, or I... I'm so dumb. All I had to do was unequip it. Never mind. So I'm going to see how much damage this deals to... The undead boars over here before the flame weapon enchantment and then see how much it does with the flame weapon. Hello, hello, we angry pig. 355. Lost connection to steam? Actually, oh, I'm having issues too now. Okay, did the stream stop? I hope it didn't. Let's see how much this steals. And this should deal. Oh, it's actually... That seemed to be about the same, actually. Well... Hmm. Yeah, I don't know what it is. I think... Maybe because of winter or something, lots of people were having some con connectivity issues. I have to see if I can reconnect to Steam. That said, I will actually want to go offline real quickly. To offline mode real quickly in order to... Fight an NPC invader. 
Wait, wait. How much do I need to spend to get the other gold gold ring? Should be fine, actually. Either way, we can level up a little bit more vitality. This is good. This is good. More poise. A bit more poise, too. There we go. Okay. Pig time again. I want to test this out. I want to see how much damage I will deal. Oh, but I... I needed a rest. I'm done. Come on, statue. Taking out my anger on you. Okay. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Good amount of stuff. Okay, so gold ring. Bonfire ascetic in. Grave of Saints, hopefully. It should. I want me to get a bunch of awe stones, but I need to join Company of Champions first, I think. Would I? I yeah, I think I would. So I would respawn indefinitely. If I did that, but not otherwise. Okay, 249. Let's try this then. 249. And... Okay, you can't poison break me then. There we go. 278. That's not crazy. Okay, 397. That's good. A fan cord? Maybe. The thing about it, though, is that it would be hard for me to tr find... I mean, you want to be mod, I guess? <laughs> I might do that eventually, but... A lot of it is just... Like I said, pretty soon I won't have as much free time as I used to. And that's the kind of thing I'd feel like I'd want to administrate so that things didn't get out of hand. Because... As I'm sure you know, that kind of feels vulnerable to, for lack of a better term, abuses. But, I do appreciate the enthusiasm. Oh, I forgot to ask, actually. How are you How are you doing, just in general? Anything particularly interesting going on one way or another that you'd like to talk about? But okay. I think I might actually do a little bit of... A little bit of grinding, because... Fair enough, fair enough. But, I'll think about it. Right now my primary focus is honestly on... I have a lot of old VODs that I've been working on condensing into clips to put turn into shorts and put on my YouTube. Okay, so we are going to enter the Covenant. Arduous Path, prepare to join. Covenant Champions, Covenant of the Fittest. What a compliment. Okay, so we're going back to Grave of Saints. I'm not sure whether I'm actually online right now. But we need, if we get 50 awe stones, I can get a cool ring that lets me fight barefisted very effectively. That's cool. Anything you're looking forward to? I would assume that the Splatoon 3 DLC is on the list. It's all mine. Because I, I love Splatoon. I tried to get into Splatoon 3's PvP online, and it was fun for a while, but I had eventually... I eventually had to stop myself because I was getting way too sweaty about it. I had to basically just say, I do not want to turn toxic. Let me see. Do I have to manage? Well, I'm going to be able to tell whether I, hang I can automatically log back in or not, depending on whether Roy shows up. So basically, there is an invader who shows up every single time you come in here on a bonfire intensity of two or higher. So I'm going to use another aesthetic and just kill this guy 50 times, and that'll give me 50 or so awe stones, which I need to get that ring I mentioned before, called the Vanquisher Seal, which will let me fight barefisted, which is probably going to be my best bludgeoning damage option. Fair. So since this isn't actually a Genshin stream, I don't have to worry about the Mahoyo Ninjas getting mad at me for talking about leaks. So, what do you think about Chiori? Will you be rolling for me? Will you be rolling for her? Because I roll for everyone. So I'll be rolling for her, because I'm a collector. In particular, I also don't really like... Okay, I guess I need to go back to title. And manually log out to make him appear. 
But If it sounds like I'm eating, it's because I am. I didn't have time for breakfast before this. But let's just see. Can I manually log out? Let's see. But initializing online mode. Isn't there a way to log out without actually disconnecting my router and ending the stream? Let's see. Game options. Is there a way to manually log out? Oh, okay, okay. Who do you typically like using, then? DS2, Force... Force Offline? Force Offline. Hmm. We spawn in Offline mode. Oh, you have to... You, put, you can put Steam in Offline mode. I'll be right back. Fair. Yeah, I... I made a Zhao team recently. I'm gonna be using... Zhao in Abyss tomorrow. It's gonna be a C6 Farzan, Zhan Yun, Zhao, and Furina team. But, okay, so I need to go and launch this in offline mode through Steam. Oh, nice. As in, those are your Abyss teams, or just characters you use in general. Because. Getting Zhan Yun made me realize, okay, I really need to make my Zhao team. Because I thought about leveling Farazan once I got her to C6. And I even got a leveled set of artifacts for her. But, okay, I need to... Oh, I forgot to get rid of this. Funny. I'm gonna go into Steam and manually launch it in offline mode real quick. But, I didn't really feel as much of an emphasis as I should have until first I actually got C4 gene. That's the constellation that reduces animo res. Now I thought about it, but I had other characters I was trying to level up at the time too. Dark Souls 2, Scholar of the First Sin. Watch this offline. Fair, fair, fair. How do I... Launch in offline mode. Properties, properties. In what way is it cursed? Steam offline mode. Offline mode? Having an active... What? Unavailable. Online, updated, offline. Not selected. Main Steam window, Steam menu. Okay, all I had to do was click go offline. Okay, okay. So I should be able to get Roy now. Fight him 50 times. Get more souls. Is it farming? Yes. But is it a hyper boom build? Because that isn't exactly cursed. It's one of the best ways to run her. And able to play in online mode. Okay, we'll go online from title menu. Well, I can't do it. So let's just go back to Grave of Saints and Roy should show up soon. I kill him. 50 times for 50 Awestones. That said, I do actually like getting PvP invaded. Keeps things interesting. Actually, Stone Ring maybe, not Poise, but... Covetous Silver, eh, actually... Well... Do I want to reduce the amount I get or not? Okay, and we actually got this one before. The upgraded version before, and the unupgraded version of Ice. Your chance is something to fear. Zinder. Yeah. Because I've run Hyper Boom Raiden. It's good. It is really good. So Roy should show up on the bridge, maybe? When is Roy going to actually show up? Come on. I need to fight you. Roy the Explorer. Not Dora. So you're in water. Here's Roy's spawn point. That is question of the question of the year. Okay, maybe now, maybe now. Let's see. That flame golden. Tr oh well. Oh, just for skill damage. So if you're using her for electro application, who are you using her with? Oh please. Not the. So these aren't bleed rats. They're actually petrification rats. Okay, but 
Where is Roy going to show up? Where is Roy going to show up? I need to find the guy. Did I use a, did I use an ascetic on the wrong bonfire or something? I hope not. Either way, eventually the rats will be gone. That will make things easier if I have to go a bit farther in. And if I really wanted to, I could kill Pro Rat Vanguard another time to get more. Wait. So is it the bridge? Does he invade on the bridge? Well, I guess I'll just go up and fight more rats. Yeah. Because if you're just using her as an elemental applier, not any kind of... Okay, so Roy is... Okay, so he's over there, actually. Okay. Well... Should drop at least one Austone. Oh, and you're using items to fight. Well, that's interesting. Hi. Okay. Take your weapon out. What are you doing? What are you doing? Die, die. Oh, my goodness. And you're using Vanquishers? Oh, you're kidding me. Oh, no, you're using the... Using one of the invisible rings. That's what was happening. Okay, so he shows up there. Shows up infinitely. So getting rid of all those rats by killing them ten to separate times will make this grind a little easier. That said, actually, if I went to the other bonfire, the one past this, it would actually work better. Hmm. Well. Hmm. I never got Chevros, because she was only on Riding and Join Me as Rerun banners, and since I already had them, I didn't. I wasn't rolling for cons or anything. I would like to get her eventually, especially if the rumor is that she's going to work really well with Arlecchino are true. That Arlecchino might be an overlord focus character, which kind of sets off a few of my BS alarms, but I wouldn't hate it. In the end, it is nice when... Characters use reactions which aren't already good. Nuviat, Zongli. Oh, so it's a. Oh, I see. I see. Yeah, I. I remember Zajef did a pre release analysis of Nuviat that did include Raiden as a Hyperbloom trigger. When I do Nuviat with Hyperbloom, I do Baiju and Shinabu. But that is kind of whaletier, so whatever works, really. It's just a matter of the reactions you can get going then. Come on, come on. And... Nice, nice, nice. Oh, they drop warmth. They drop that spell? Okay. Interesting. That's a healing spell. That also heals enemies if you're in the area. But that said, we should be good now. We can. Oh, I did not mean to do that. I did not mean to do that. Come on. Burn, burn it, burn it, burn it. Okay, cool. And. Hi, rat. Hi, rat. How much? That dealt a crazy amount of damage. What are you doing? Okay, he's got an invisible weapon. Let's just roll and. Get this back at least. Yeah, Nubia is. Crazy OP. I don't dislike that at all. I actually like that. He's strong, especially given how much it makes sense in lore. But there's no denying that he's a little overtuned. Oh, I could have just teleported into this one. That's right. Come on, come on, and just... Luckily, I can actually poise break him pretty well. Come on, come on, and just... Hit. Oh, goodness. Please, please, please. Poise lock, poise lock, poise lock. And, oh, goodness, this is going to be bad. Bad. Oh, come on. Gonna throw a knife, or... Throw a knife. Okay, now we can heal. There we go. Can get to a better position. That other bonfire. Eventually the rats will go away. And to be fair, the reason this is hard is in part because we're in a covenant that... Just makes things harder to begin with. But, okay, cool. Heal. And, alright. Dead. Okay, I'm just gonna teleport to the bonfire up top. This is not a bad weapon to use, though. It's actually Poise Lock doing pretty good damage. It said, actually, I wanted to. Knocking him off the edge would probably be better. But. Wait. Wait. Can I. 
I can teleport to the other one. Go. Hmm. Not as much to deal with this way. He should show up pretty much immediately. Alright. It's kind of rumbling. Okay, cool. Rats, rats, we're the rats. Wait, so... At what point does he invade? This hasn't shown up yet. So is the other run actually going to be better? This is weird. Either way, I do this grind and I never have to do it again. Never again. I will have my... Have my silly punching ring for good bludging damage. Okay, so he invades over here. Interesting. Okay. That's not particularly good news. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But the thing about Chiori is that she's not bad. But they balanced her very clearly so that she wouldn't be stronger than Albedo. Which is kind of silly because it's not like Albedo is particularly good or particularly meta. It's just that they didn't want to make him get as explicitly power crept, which is kind of dumb because Albedo is not particularly strong. Don't worry about it. Happy to have you here one way or the other. Some Vanquish, and we got Nala Stone. Okay. Now this is how we need to do it. Yeah. Pop in and pop out as you like. I'm just glad you're here. Oh, we can get warmth again. So we're gonna get maximum uses of warmth just from these rats, I guess. Okay. Go in, we can kill Roy. Nice and good. Get a few levels out of this too. Cool. I hope for your sake that your internet picks up, but believe me, I, I have more to thank you for than the other way around. I'm just going to... Are any other rats going to come in behind me? Are they not showing up? By the way, Roy should come back now. Come on, come on, come on. So we got our... Gold and Silver Serpent Rings. Roy well, should show up again soon with... A buffs and all. Hello, hello. Come on, Roy. You're gonna come down the ladder now. We can ambush you, maybe. Come on, come on. Heal, heal. How are you gonna do this? How are you gonna do this? Oh, no. Oh, no. This is bad, bad, bad. So many rats. Actually, I guess I could just actually use Rat Covenant. Okay, cool. Take your time, take your time. Thank you. And he actually killed me. I would say I could join Rat King Covenant, but I actually can't, because then he wouldn't be dropping Austos. Well. Mm. Mm. He would drop Austos, just wouldn't be guaranteed. Mm. Okay. All right, all right. If I had done things normally, this playthrough would actually be quite short, but no, I had to get into the bonfire aesthetic shenanigans. Okay, rat, rat, rat. Hi. Hello. Oh. And is that gonna, oh, no item drop, okay. Mm -hmm. Maybe I could actually just use... Yeah, I should just take a pyro. should just use something like... Lingering Flame and just actually... Actually bust them up. That's right. Wait, actually... Oh my goodness. I thought that would have worked better. And are you coming down? Let's gank you on the ladder. Hi. Hi. Hello. Hello. Okay, out of my way. Just do that before you can react, and yeah. I'm actually very pleasantly surprised at how quickly, quickly the greatsword attack actually comes out. 
It's faster than that whip. Wouldn't expect it, but it is. Yeah, but it's just that easy. I wouldn't say literally free, but it's not bad. Got the awe stone. Got two now. We need 50. It's really funny because there's one multiplayer covenant, Dragon Remnants in DS1 that takes 50. Uh, let's see. Right, warm. Oh no, it's a pyro. Undead Crypt, Gentle Warm Flame, those who touch it, Wisdom and Comfort, Fire is what the caster wishes it be. Fire can be anything. Actually, sure, let's try Flame Slave. I think Homeward is in is good too. Hmm. Okay, well. Let's try this out, maybe. Actually, let's... Oh, but the boss is... Right, but the boss doesn't come back, because we didn't do that bonfire. Okay, well... No, no flame weapon just yet. We are going to go flame wave and see how well that does against you. But... I took 50 of its items, 50 dragon scales, which were kind of annoying to get, but... The other ones did not take nearly as much, but I thought they were all the same and ground a lot more than I needed to. It was pretty embarrassing. There you are. Okay. Took a long time to show off. Oh, that was that was good. Oh. I like that damage. Hold the radiant life gem. That said. Lingering Flame might actually be a bit better because I don't need Unveil right now. Get rid of that and put in Lingering Flame. Four of those two. Okay. Get rid of all the rats, get rid of Roy. We'll be good to go. That should be dropping down relatively soon. Hello, hello. Mouse, mouse, mouse. Come on, come on. You've got to be kidding me. Where are you going? Where are you going? Ah. Hmm. Yeah, but... It should show up. I definitely haven't killed them ten times. Okay, they were just taking their sweet time then. Hello. Hello. For your ends. Boom! That was good. That was really, really good. So there's another one. Air powder. Okay. This takes a bit of time to blow up, but... Big explosion. I like that. I like that a lot. Hi! Hello! Roy is over here now, and... There we go. Okay. One more, one more. We only need one more. And flame weapon. Wait, what? Did that not work somehow? Weird. It's nonsense. Annoying. So annoying. What? Oh, good god. You are not. Can't do this to me. Please. Let me just go up the ladder then. Come on, before you do anything of your own. Hi, hi. Let's actually just camp the ladder then. I die, die. Oh, well, never mind. Maybe we could go down and down the ladder and flame my weapon. Cool. And one. Hit, 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 hit. Okay, and goodbye, goodbye, Roy. Goodbye, Roy the Explorer. And hit, hit. Oh, my goodness. Did not like that wall bounce. Oh, please. Please, you've got to be kidding me. And one, two, three, invader vanish. Okay. Should probably reorder these. Oh, we got another awestone. So we're at four now. Okay. So he does have a chance to drop an extra one. Hmm. Two. Get rid of that. Turn that to flame weapon. Keep them in an order. And just keep cycling through. 
Okay. Hmm. In that case. Cast speed of Lingering Flame is really, really bad. That is some trouble. That said, the damage is really, really good. Oh, hi. Rat. Rat. Where are the rats? Okay. So it's only really those that I need to deal with. Oh, never mind. So actually, if I'm fast, I probably don't need to deal with these ones up here. Just need to run through Homeward back, because Homeward is actually a lot faster than a Homeward Bone in this one, which is certainly interesting. It's not what I would really expect. Hi. Come on, come on. Oh, but that rat is back. Okay. Interesting. Okay, cool. And hit. Come on, and just coming down here now. Die, die, die. Okay, so we actually managed to prevent you from doing your jump attack. We actually got to interrupt you. That's good. He is using that illusory ring. I don't quite like that. Hi, hi. Hello. And one more, one more. Okay, bitter banished. Got poison moss. We're at five Austos now. Hmm. Okay. All stone. This isn't too bad of a farm. We'll take some more time. But could be worse. Get a few levels this way. Maybe a little unethical, but hey, you know, whatever. Let's go back and okay. Company of champignons. Oh, wait, I... I'm an idiot. I forgot that didn't actually rest me at the bonfire. I'm dumb. I'm very stupid. Well, alright. Heal. And because this is a slow, I just died. Okay. At least those rats died a few more times. Call me the exterminator. I bring flame. Pyro and left because I need it for flame weapon. That said, actually, maybe I could keep dark pyro on the left and use that. Eh, it's whatever. Doesn't really matter that much. That's just lingering flame you and hi. Come on. Boom. Did that hit all of it? It did hit all of it. That was really, really nice. Okay. In that case, we should be able to grab this bloodstain real quick and ambush you on the stairs. Hi. Hello. Interesting you fell down now, which should give me time to regen some of that. Hi. Hello. More damage there. Or if you're back, welcome back. If you aren't, well, sad. You ever vanish? You gonna drop something again? Or no, you did not. Six stones. Stone. And more rats are coming. Could hear them. Not my problem. Okay. Do this real quick. Oh, we actually got another lingering flame. So. Hmm. So we didn't use all of them this time because we were fast. Okay. Well, we'll be alright. Just gotta go kill Roy. Kill Roy? Kill Roy? Apparently he was here. Hi. And... Burn, burn, burn. There we go. Okay. Use flame weapon. Kill Roy again. Eventually I will not have to worry about those guys anymore. I have to go down here to make him avoid above you. Invade up above you. Hi. Hello there. Attack you on the ladder like a real nice person. Okay. 
Come on, get over this way and... Yep, you'll come in close and we can just keep slashing you up. Hello. Get over here, you don't have a shield or anything, so we can just... What? How is your poise that good? Okay, die. Die. Okay. Spirit Void, the Explorer has been vanquished. Just homeward back again. Oh, but we can't homeward back because we didn't rest at the bonfire. Oh, this is what my life is now. Exterminating rats. Fighting a dude named Roy the Explorer. Boom. Explode. Did that not... That didn't work. Oh, you're kidding me. And I died to the rat. That's why I need to rest so I can do homeward back every time I homeward... It's honestly really, really silly that Homeward will send you back to the bonfire and make everything respawn, but it won't actually heal you up or mimic the effects of resting. It'll mimic all the bad effects of going at a bonfire. It won't mimic any of the good ones. It really is silly. In that case, let's just blow you up. Hello, hello. And this should be good, and got all those rats just there. Okay, flame weapon. I might want to effigy up to get a bit more health. Hi, hello. Come on, come on, come on. And you're falling down, so... Oh, Chloranthi would actually be good for this. It would allow me to get my stamina back and maybe ambush him after he falls down the ladder better. Come on, come on. One more. Invader vanished. Let's actually go, what can I afford to work with? Stone? No, not stone. Actually, no. I don't really need Coranthi for anything. Okay. That's just homeward back. Cool. Eight now, I believe. That sounds about right. <laughs> okay. So the bonfire. It's an effigy. That said, I was going to say that we're running kind of low, and we are, but at the very same time. Aside from Chasm of Old, which, well, that's for a lot later, once I have more lightning. Aside from having to spend... <sighs> having to spend human effigies to get into a certain area, I don't really need him for anything else other than, I guess, summoning Benhart a few times, but that won't really be an issue. Get more from other places now too. Should be fine. So rats should hopefully stop showing showing up soon. Hi. Oh goodness. One more. One more. Another rat. Oh please. Okay. So let's just flame weapon. Flame weapon. Flame weapon. Now we should be able to kill him with impunity. And now you're down here. Hi. Hi. Let's just hit you another time. Oh, goodness. What are you doing? Okay, that was short range enough that I could deal with you pretty easily. Why is this not doing as much damage? It's weird. Hi, die. Die, die. What? Oh, I guess that had some startup points. Interesting. Okay, nice. One more. Goodbye, Roy. Dropped another Austin. No. Leggings of Oris. Okay. Fine. But it's the invisible Oris set, which I don't exactly need all that much. By the way, eventually the rats will all be gone permanently, and I won't have to deal with them again. And to rest, we get our spell uses back. Yeah, this this won't take all that long. Not as much as trying and failing to get to and kill a sinner did. Not as much as the same did with Rotten on higher difficulty. Okay, cool. Die. Die. Explode, and... Wait, how did it just disappear? That's insane. Okay, we got poise. Should explode. There we go. Cool. Flame weapon. Okay. Is he back? Is he back? He should be. Does he only spawn a few times? Okay, no. I just didn't get to the right... To the right spot, I guess. Weird. Okay, ladder. Ladder again. Got enough. What do I need for another? I'll be able to level a few more times eventually. 
Might like that just for a bit of extra, bit of extra fire damage. It would scale this a little. That's, that is true. Honestly, given that I've got a couple of Twinkling Titanites, I might like to level this up just to use it as a better beat stick. So there's also, there is also, of course, Black Knight Ultra, but still. Oh, plus five Showtel. Okay. Cool. Can't complain. How many Twinkling Titanites do I have, though? Because I need... Take two to get it a plus two. Inventory. I've got... Okay. Level it up once. Eh, I'll do it once the rats are all gone. That'll be my cue. How many Austin's do I have again? Austin... Is it in here? Yep, it is. Victor Stone, heavy for its size. Fallen War is condensed once part of the same hole. And you can't use it for anything, so it can't just vanish. That's good. We have 10 out of the 50 we need to get our... Get our incredibly silly... Punching ring. Okay. Cool. Hello. And... Wait, how did it just disappear? That's insane. Okay. Do it. Do it. Yeah, how did- what? Does it just disappear on ground contact or something? Wow, it can- Yeah, that- That was strange. Shouldn't do that. Okay. Hmm. All right, all right. That's what my life is like now. Just need to try this again. Not lose that blood stain. Go back, kill a. You've got to be kidding me. Should be showing up soon, but still. Maybe locking on will do it. Okay, yeah, that range was really, really good too. Okay, so Roy should show up around now, around here. I have to run back to this entrance to do it. Okay, now he's showing up. Yeah. Twinkling Tide Knight to take this weapon. Two plus two, I would say. Should be good. I mean, plus one, plus one. We've only got two Twinkling Tide Knights, so it wouldn't be enough for actual plus two. It'd be for plus one, and that would be a meaningful damage increase. Frankly, the stat increase from a bit more would honestly be more significant. Probably. God knows. So actually, we got him in movement frames, and that increased the damage we did significantly. There we go. Okay, cool. Get another awesome. Come on, come on. Come on. Okay. 11 out of 50. And see how long it takes to go through Seldora. So I do think we could... Seldora is just one area after Shaded Woods, and Shaded Woods isn't all that big. We could hopefully do Seldora today. Kill another great one. Alright. Then I gotta put everything back in online mode. That is true. And just like that, explode. Explode. Nice, we got it. Where we'll be up here, and they should stop showing up soon. I think this will have been the tenth time we killed them. Oh, but right, I'm stupid. Right, because we're in Company of Champions. They're not going to stop showing up. That's the entire thing with Company of Champions. Okay, never mind. Never mind. Okay. Two, three. One more three hit combo should maybe do it. Actually, let's see if we can. One, two, and okay. Oh, so actually maybe going for. Keep forgetting to actually combo my light attacks into a strong attack if I'm using up all my stamina anyway. And I can true combo by keeping them stun locked. There's no reason not to go for the strong. Okay. 
Let's so actually go back to Majula, spend these souls. This should be enough for just a couple more levels. Let's see what my AR on this is right now. Right now, this is 186. Oh, minus 51 because I'm not holding it in two hands. 186 plus 49, plus 42. Let's just see. Right hand weapon is 327. Let's just upgrade this real quick. I'd be worried, reinforce, and this would take. It would get a decent amount more damage. Something like 10% more. That's fine. If you make it back. Okay. I'll go up real quick. See, less. Level up and. Get a bit of attunement. No more slots, but we can get more strength and dex for a tiny amount more of. Okay, so it does scale better with physical than our fire bonus. Oh, because we would need to actually get both Intelligence and Faith up. Because if I only did... Wait. Huh? No, no. It's the average. Is that how dark is the less lesser of... In Faith. And Pyro is... It's either the greater one? No, it's the combination. The combination. I think the, it was only purely the greater one in DS... DS3, maybe. Okay. Well, eventually we'll be able to level up even more. And DP. Okay. Alright. At least my rolls are getting better. That's not bad. Down, keep on farming all stones. This is what my life has become. Okay. Okay. Come on, come on. Just... There we go, and explode! There we go, we got it. This is flame weapon. Should be nice. And this is Poison Moss and Hold of Radiant. When will Roy show up? When will Roy show up? Your time is now. Maybe. Come on, come on. Come on. Got to be kidding me. Okay. Oh. Okay, there he is. So I guess I need to go back to that other little entrance to make him show up. Uh, sword does look really, really cool on fire. I will say that. It's something I'd ever complain about. One, two, what? Huh? Weird. And just... That was pretty good. Oh, but it buffered enough to make me go for another strong attack. Weird. What? What? Huh? You can poise lock me too? Okay. Weird. Alright. Alright. Not that way. That's where... The rat boss used to be. Don't need to deal with that right now. Shame for the ones down below or the ones up above. Probably the ones down below. Hi, Bloodstain. Just go like that and... There we go. Cool. Blow up, blow up. And we, we did not get them all. Okay, cool. Whatever. And just... A single strong attack would probably do it, honestly. Just go over here and rat to oh oh they do drop rat tails that's right two and that wasn't much better okay come on come on come on and what okay weird come on you gonna you gonna knife me I guess you are and the damage on that is actually kind of crazy I'm gonna switch and two and I like that ending pose that worked well. To vanish again. Okay. So every few kills, we do get another level up. Do have enough to 
Okay, so if I had homeworded back immediately after killing him, but I still have gotten the Awestone, that's the question. So I did get one that time, but I'm wondering how how soon I can afford a homeward back, because that would severely increase farming speed if I could just immediately homeward back and still collect the Awestone. I guess it depends on whether Homeward counts as a real reset or not. Because if it doesn't, then... If it isn't a real reset... Given that it doesn't heal me or anything, it would make sense for it to still give me that Awestone drop. But if it doesn't... If it isn't a real reset... I mean, if it is a real reset... Then I probably wouldn't get the Awestone. Hmm. So now he's here. Find a way to get him on the ladder. Attack him as he's climbing down, because he doesn't just drop down. He would if he was smart. Fortunately, he's not smart. Well, unfortunately for him, and fortunately for us. Two, and... Yeah, that worked okay. And the strong attack actually doesn't work all that well over there, then, it seems. Two, and... That actually... Oh, the strong attack isn't really stronger, it's just got better frames, I guess. Oh, I should have rolled. Well, whatever the answer to that question is, it'll take another kill on him for me to find that out. Yeah. As cool as the hammer is, I do feel like once we get Vanquisher's Seal, it'll be better. Depends on the poise damage, though. So how good it is at actually stun-locking enemies. Well, either way, we'll be much stronger after all this, one way or the other. Come on, come on. Oh, okay. That felt good. Bloodstain, retrieval. X, X, X. Get my two-handed flaming greatsword. Come on, Roy the Explorer. Come on, come on. All I want is to fight you. When it's still got the red glow on me, actually. Interesting. Well, okay. Maybe I'll just find you here. Maybe I will. Hi. Hi. Get over here. And just one, two, and... Yeah, that doesn't deal more damage. It's just... A vertical swing rather than or a horizontal swing rather than a vertical one and the rat killed me okay so I really do need to lure him down because that rat takes it's merry time showing up and if I went up it would be there when it hadn't been before and that would present some issues to say the least okay back out of my hand out of my hand. Just need to not, not overplay my hand. Okay. Cool, boom, boom. So now he's here. He actually, actually showed up. Okay. Come on, come on. Just, I want to minimize the chances of a situation where I get really close to killing him. Basically one tiny sliver of health away and don't get it. Okay, cool. Hit, hit, hit. Okay. Come on, come on. This is good. Can't hit me with throwing knives through the wall, which is good. And one more. That's just one way back. Okay, pick up and another awesome. Let's see. Let's see. Back already. I'll get an awesome when I. Wait. Okay, so it did actually automatically give me the 15th one. It did automatically put a ride in my inventory. So once we make sure he doesn't drop any items, any additional items, we can just TP back pretty freely. Okay, cool. Oh, and we're actually over equip load. Eh, that, that doesn't really matter. I guess if we wanted to, we could get rid of it and be exactly at 50. But oh, you need to be under 50 for it to do anything, so no difference is made. Why? 
And are you waiting for me or not? Go down there, go down. Please, 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 please. Okay, there we go. That, oh, the other one is still there. Oh, please. Flame weapon. There we go, okay. Did manage to get that one. I, oh, wasn't paying attention. Bad. Oh, please, please, please. Gotta be kidding me. They hit. Did trade, but wasn't a bad trade. You want to come out on top of this situation. There we go. Now, as soon as we can make sure you didn't drop anything, and you didn't drop anything. 16. This again. Eventually, when I get enough for three level ups, I'll go back and get more intelligence and faith, and that will make my pyros and the sword damage a bit better. So, yeah. Interestingly enough, if I recall correctly, higher fire damage bonus. Well, actually, it would, because it's fire damage bonus. The most direct effect on the spell itself is increasing the length duration. Okay, well, should be coming down here soon enough. Hi. Hi. Two. Three. Okay. Well, the second strike did not seem to hit. Hi. Okay. So, I really need to take advantage of the reach. So I can hit him from pretty far away. As long as I can... Make sure I start my swing before he starts his. I'm pretty good to go. Nothing that time. Cool. 17. <sighs> Never bought anything from the Company of Champions. I don't even know what they sell. I don't have any Sublime Bonash, and call correctly, flasks go up to specifically f plus 5? Think. So we're about we're at a good spot in terms of flask capacity. And boom. If you can actually get in the right situation, that spell is so good. You can actually just have a bunch of relatively weak enemies clustered up and blast them all. Honestly, I'd say that spell is about as close to a D&D &D fireball as you can get. Okay. He really, really took a sweet time. Okay. So if he drops a few more extras. Can't really count on it, though. Mm. Hello, hello. Hello. And another one. Cool. Going, going, and... Yep, you roll, that you lose. You roll, you get hit. Hi. Oh, okay. Interesting. That was smart. Didn't approach because I was actively striking. Oh, wow. You're not dumb, actually. Hit. 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 Okay. My startup is good, and... My reach is good. It's not like a poke. A poke might honestly be even better, but... It's a matter of what I can actually reliably deal with it with. So I can change my spell while oh, I'm still at the bonfire, but I can't change my equipped weapon. I guess that makes some sense. Okay, so it would be about 82, 85. I can reliably get all of the level ups I need. Hi! Okay. Boom. 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 We got it. Let's do this. Okay. Okay. Showing up again soon. Should be showing up again soon. Gotta be kidding me. Oh. Please. Here he is. He's coming back. He's coming back now. Hmm. To wonder. I'm having some contact issues, and I'm wondering if it's. Something about my eye shape changing, maybe? 
is, I don't feel like my vision's gotten worse. The contacts are just as much about shape of your eyes as it is other factors, so... That trade should not have been a trade. Hit, 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 and one more, one more. There we go, banish. That was cutting it very close. Heavy crossbow plus five. Huh. Why well, crossbows like, oh, he wasn't shooting knives, throwing knives. He was shooting bolts. Oh, okay. That explains some things. Sword back out. Honestly, if I had killed a few more of those undead aberrations, maybe I would have gotten a third Titanite and been able to get it to plus two. That said, I don't think it would really make much of a difference. It's... Yeah, we're all good. And was that a third? I guess. Come on. Okay, hit. Hit. Okay. Or I should show up soonish? Should. Should. Once I get to 85, I'll go back and level and probably take a quick bathroom break, too. Maybe about halfway to our Austin target. Maybe nine more or so. We'll see. And the more that he drops, the more easier it will be for me to get to that goal. And, okay, so when he's at the very bottom, I can actually hit him with all three. Even though he does have that wall bounce. All right, all right. How many more? How many more? Okay, good. Oh, did not expect that. Do not use your crossbow, you coward. Do not, do not use your crossbow. Stop! Stop running! Okay. Did you drop anything? You did not drop anything. Okay, so... Hit more so at most, and we will be it. Halfway to our Austin target. Rats. Rats. Where are the rats? Something, 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 something. Where are the rats? I'm the giant rat who makes all the rules. See what kind of trouble we can get ourselves into. Okay, got all of them. All the silly little rats. Okay. Come on, come on, come on. You gotta be kidding me. Show up again, show up again, Roy. That's what I want out of you. Could at least be convenient and obedient. I'm going to such great rent great lengths just to kill you. Could at least be cooperative. Come on down, come on down. For what it's worth, this Black Knight Greatsword does not look much like its equivalent. The Dark Souls one, the Black Knight Sword. Oh, he was trying to hit something, but it didn't work. Oh, but I actually knocked him off, which I'm not sure I would have wanted, because he wasn't hittable during that time. Not like I could have parried him during that time anyway, so... Mm -hmm. One more, one more. There we go, okay. Steinlocking is, in fact, the solution. Seven more, seven more. That word is rude. It's a very, very rude word. Okay. Let's see again. Yeah, we're at 16, so... Wait, am I? Wait. 16. Am I not getting those? Oh, maybe the issue is... You have to... I'm your homeward use very specifically. Otherwise, you have to make sure the message shows up. Okay. So if the message doesn't show up, then you didn't get the awestone. Well, you know, experiment complete. One way or the other. A uh, couple more hits. A couple more hits should do it. One, two, okay, cool. One more, two, three. Should do it. Okay. So we can still interact with it. Even while we're teleporting. 
even while we're teleporting, but the message actually does have to show up. Okay, that clears up some things. It would have been nice to figure out figure that out a slightly nicer way than losing some awe stones we otherwise would have gotten, but the mystery has been solved. Kind of. Okay. Ooh, and what did you drop this time? You dropped a poison moss. Yeah, that I didn't really comment on it, but there that is well documented, that glitch where after using flame weapon you do this weird little float walk. She isn't really walking at all. Get over here, get over here. Okay. So maybe running all the way to that gate reliably does it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Alright. What are you doing? What are you doing? Okay, get down here. Get down here. Okay. Cool, cool. What? What? Okay. Weird. That was... Didn't work. I couldn't actually hit you. Strange. Okay. Utterly bizarre. Utterly bizarre. Luckily, that rolling attack was not that strong. Two, three, eight, one, one, eight, one, two, and how much is this gonna. It's close enough. Okay. Pick up the item, gauntlets of ores, and an awe stone. Okay. Cool. There we go. And that's the invisible aura set, which is invisible armor that would make me look, look like I wasn't wearing armor. Which I don't want to wear, I guess. We'll see. We'll see. Because what I have on right now is the visible aura set. The invisible aura set is a lot lighter and actually de increases your maximum equip load. Allows you to carry some slightly heavier things. But. The visible aura set has better defenses, in addition to just not making me naked. So that's what I've gone with. Come on, Roy. Come on, Roy. We're getting a few more rat tails, so if I wanted to do some rat covenant stuff, I guess that could be nice. Okay, one more, one more. Okay. That knocked down a good amount of his health while he's still on there. Actually attacking with... Alternating R1, you know, just standard R1s with a bit of a pause, so it does the first attack in the sequence again, instead of the upward swing that just gets me caught on the floor, it might actually be what I want to do. We'll see. Come on, come on. Two, three, four, five. And we should get our awe stone. There we go. Just to make sure I don't lose out on items I would have otherwise gotten. Now we've got... Got 20. 30 more of those stupid things and I will be able to punch everything to death. I'll have a ring that allows me to fight barehanded. Well, to be fair, I could already fight barehanded. But the ring would allow me to do it and actually deal damage. There is the rub. And interestingly enough, the fists... Bare fists are buffed by effects that increase the damage of bare knuckles. I mean... That increases the damage of melee weapons. Physical damage. All physical damage increase effects also buff their fists. At least with Vanquisher's Seal. I'm not sure you'd be able to do that normally. Why did that bounce there? Okay, cool. What? Oh, goodness. Don't like that trade. Come on, come on. Let's just stop while you're... Nice, nice, and... Hit. Oh, my goodness. Get over here, get over here. And swing, swing. Uh, bad, bad, bad. Bad. Heal, heal, heal. Jump, maybe jump. Oh, oh, my lord. Ah. Giving me more trouble than I expected. I know this is technically New Game Plus, and I am in the silly difficulty covenant, but... This is almost as bad as the one NPC invader who killed me... 20 or so times on day two of this game. Oh my goodness. You're kidding me. Die, die, die. There we go. Okay. That was dangerous. One, two, three, four, five. Thanks. There we go. Awesome. That's about 
as early as we can do it without running the risk of just making the Austin disappear entirely. Four more, and I can go back level up a few times with the souls I've gotten while farming other things. Make the sword a little stronger, which would be nice. And also take a quick little bathroom break. Cool. Come on, come on. Come on. Okay, there we go. One weapon. Okay. Get over here, get over here. Rat tails, rat tails, rat tails. Hi. Okay, that, that was good. Should get a few hits on him initially without really having a trade or anything. Okay, there we go. And how did he poise that up? Weird. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Might even get a bit more stamina, which would also mean maybe even a, maybe even being able to get off a fourth hit in the string. That might be a bit much to ask for. It's a definitely a bit much to ask for, because let's just see. One, two, three. Well, we'll see. It would be the ideal, getting a fourth hit to carry by having enough stamina. That would take a lot of endurance, though. Boom, boom, and... Oh, you hung back. Not good. Die, die, die. Okay, cool. Let's grab you. Another rat tail. Hi. One. Unless it bounces off the wall. Unless it bounces off the wall. Okay. Die, die. What? What? That's nonsense. Okay, cool. Whatever. Heal. Heal. And hit. 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 Okay. Actually can actually get a fourth hit in if I trade, but that isn't exactly the ideal way to do it, is it? It's not. Come on, come on. Hit, hit. Hit. There we go. And we're gonna homeward back. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Ah. Ah. Two more runs. Go back to Majua real quick. Wrong way again, wrong way. Sit has me face the boss arena of a boss that I beat. Some time ago. It is interesting, honestly, that they have a second bonfire just right outside the boss arena. It's not as if it's a particularly difficult boss. It doesn't really need that kind of help. It's still appreciated, but let's see. Boom, boom, we got you. There we go, there we go. Jamming. Okay. And pick that up. Poison moss that I don't need. Hi! Enjoy death. Please, please. Get over here, come out. Come on out, come on out. Oh, uh, we traded, didn't want to trade. Okay. Come on, come on. Hit! Ugh! 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 Okay. Only a few more. Actually, I can just go like that. There we go, there we go, there we go. Two, three, they're banished. I drop anything, you are not dropping anything this time. One more run, and I go back to the jewel. Oh, right, I can't cast powers with this chime. One more, one more. One more. We got, we got, yep, we got 24 all stones, 25, and halfway to our goal. That would mean. Something around four level ups from this. Like getting everything to 23 would already be more. More stats than I had when I finished Dark Souls 1. And that's with Souls and Dark Souls 2 starting at a lower level and also just... <sighs> starting at a lower level and having nine stats to upgrade instead of eight. Pick up, pick up. Pick up. 
There's a Moss again, and now you're down here. Hi! Come on out, come on out, let me kill you. Okay. Cool, we actually hit with that. Okay. Couple of good hits. Get in here, get in here. Oh, goodness. Not like that roll attack. Come on, come on, come on. And... Let's see. Okay, roll attack, roll attack. Okay, yeah, the range on that allows us to hit you from a little farther back than I would otherwise expect. And, of course, we can interrupt your jump attack. Cool. Three, four, five. Get a 25th Austin. Go back to Major real quick. Level up with these souls to get a bit more damage. And go to the bathroom because I drank a lot of water. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Hello, Emerald Herald. Name heretofore unrevealed. Herald, seek seek less. Okay. Time to bow down. You aren't even looking at me. That's mean. One and a bit more vigor. A bit more HP. Not a huge difference, but... Stamina wouldn't make a little difference either, but... Yeah, look! Our sword is getting very slightly stronger. I mean, actually, let's cancel this level up and two-hand this and see if it makes a difference in terms of the stat screen. Yeah, it should. Level up. It's two-handed and right, 355. Then 356. It's still not really a difference, but get a bit more vigor. Level 146, guys. So exciting. Okay. In that case, maybe I'll try one more run to see if makes any difference, but yeah, I really do need to empty the tank, so to speak. Hope that isn't too crass. So I will kill Roy at most 25 more times, unless I mess up by teleporting back to the bonfire too early, and then I'll be able to get my punching ring. Cool. Should actually do a little bit more damage, too. Yeah, that was a bit more damage off of... <sighs> Lingering Flame as well, it seems. Just a little. Just a little. Now you're here. Hi! Hello. Yeah, that, that was... That was more damage. It wasn't crazy, but it was more damage. Come on, come on, come on, and just out of the way. You up with a bit of Estus, and there we go. Traded, but good stuff. Okay. You drop anything, you did not drop anything, even with my Serpent Rings. I'm gonna go back to the bonfire and... Take a short little break. Cool.
Welcome back either way. It seems that the internet situation has been resolved. Either way, uh, guess we could discuss the Chiodi situation a bit more if we wanted. Because, thank you, thank you. But, like I was saying, as I was saying, the thing with Albedo and Chiori is that the changes that Chiori has been receiving in beta were, I would say, are pretty clearly to make or not power creep Albedo was hard. But the thing about it is that Albedo is not all that strong, and it was never all that strong. To the point where, to make Chiori not power creep Albedo, they'd have to make her kind of trash, which is sadly kind of what they did. Okay, thank you. I'll keep that in mind. I can just go back and check logs, but... Well. My... My username is just the same as the one I use on here, so... You could actually shoot a request if you wanted to. Thank you, thank you. Just, same to you. But, like I was saying... One thing I don't really like as much about Mahoyo's approach to balance and buffing is that the only time they've ever actually directly changed a character's multipliers or talents or likewise for the sake of balancing was Zhongli in response to fan backlash. And that was a unique situation which will almost certainly never happen again because it was a matter of patriotic outcry back in their native China because they didn't think that they thought that Zhongli being weak was somewhat unpatriotic, given that he was the god of fantasy China. And honestly, there's some, legitimacy, there's some legitimacy to that. But I will say, I will say, that i played other games, like, say, FGO before, and they have, for lack of a better term, and to greatly understate it, some flaws and issues of various sorts, not just game balance related, but... They are very, very, very willing, or at least they used to be. Now the studio's gotten lazy and it actually changed studios. It's a whole thing. But they used to straight up go into characters' kits and change them to make them better. They would replace their skills with better ones. And in one case, and this was entirely unique, there was one character whose upgrade was literally just increasing their special game multiplier, their super's multiplier. So effectively, the FGO equivalent of energy recharge. One of the upgrades, and they never did anything like this again, was just basically giving him more straight-up energy recharge. And that's just not something Genshin does. That's not part of their design and balancing philosophy. And frankly, I think that's a huge missed opportunity. Okay, okay. Well, thanks for popping back in either way. Say if you can or if you can't. And, yep, that wall bounce screwed me. But, yeah, I'll make sure to try to contact you. Okay, okay. Take your time, take your time. Good luck with it. Could be a bandwidth thing, I'm not sure. It's really not my area of expertise. Okay. Either way, let's not screw that up. We have 27, we need 23 more. And then we will go punch things. Well, things that are weak to bludgeoning will punch. Punch things that I can punch. Okay. And the blood stain is back there. Make sure to get that so I don't lose more souls. Okay, okay. Come on, come on. You're right here. And I missed. And I whiffed. Gotta be kidding me. Okay, one... Can I? Oh, I don't think I could. Do not think I could actually backstab you. Because I can't parry a whip anyway. I can't parry whips. Mm. Just like this. Uh, you're kidding me. Come on, come on. Get in closer, get in closer. Get in closer. Okay. Come on, and as soon as you're done rolling, we hit you. 
Nice. And one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Cool. Ah. Uh, hmm. And let's just rest again and do this one more time. Okay. Okay. Uh, one more time. Somewhere around 19 to 20 more times, depending on how many Austrian, extra Austrian drops we get. It seem to happen around 1 in 10 times. Something like that. Hi. Boom. Big explosion. Big explosion. Okay. I do wonder, because I might actually want to try farming some Pharaoh's Log Stones from some of the rats in Pharaoh's. It's gonna be Shaded Woods, Doors of Pharaohs. Then. Oh my goodness! Wasn't able to actually stop the jump. Weird. Yeah. Doors of Pharaohs is gonna need a lot of Pharaoh's Lock Stones. Then. Especially if I wanna get Santiers, which I do. Be by far my best weapon, weapon option with. And the stats or lack of stats I do have. Probably. At least at low levels. I do feel like eventually some kind of good dark damage or fire damage weapon will be my best option when I go back on my own time and get to NG plus 50 or something. At least plus 15, I think. We'll see. I think it would be 15. Do 15 runs to get sort of true 100%, which to me would be literally maximum possible uses on every single spell, because the maximum amount of spell equip slots you can get is 14 with Witch's Hood and a Ritual Band plus 2. I forget whether it's Northern or Southern. But either way, that's the maximum cast you can get of a single spell. 14 times whatever its base is. Where is... is there another rat coming now? Everyone pacing. I don't think they can come down the ladder still. But Roy... But if I wanted to go through... Actually, it'd be New Game Plus 14, because New Game Plus 15 would be a 16th time through the game. New Game Plus 14 would be 15th time. So... Going... Because there are some spells which are covenant related, which you can get once, but you can also get them more times by. Oh my goodness. Buying them from Wellager. A few covenant spells specifically. Blue Sentinels 1. You can get. Buying from him on New Game Plus 2 or higher. Then. You can buy that a bunch more times and. It's got a stupid amount of uses of that. Okay. 20 more, 20 more. 20 more and I get my punch ring. If I really wanted to be fair, I could agape, equip the agape ring or agape ring. It's definitely agape, not agape. But and then I wouldn't actually be getting any souls out of this, and that would be a bit more fair. But I don't know. Less of a challenge at this point, more of an attempt to show off everything in the game. At least things that don't require maxing out blue sentinels or Brotherhood of Blood, because I do not want to do those many duels. Okay. That many? Those many? Who knows? Here we go, another kill. Gonna drop anything this time? Nope. Okay. Cool. We only need 19 more Austrians. It's not really that bad of a grind, quite frankly. Well, actually, that was a bit self-imposed for all those other than dragon fa dragon scales, because I did not actually check the wiki and assume that I would need more sunlight medals and more souvenirs of reprisal than I actually did, but. Dragon Seal grind still took a crazy amount of time. It's not that bad a grind, though. Okay. At least being able to 
Guarantee stuff from Roy makes it a lot easier. Not having to do real multiplayer definitely helps. So there's not as much of a chance of actual failure. If I could just mess things up by dying to a player, there's a real skill issue. Especially given that anyone still playing DS2 these days is going to be a total sweat. I don't know. There was that one dragon guy who I beat up pretty handily, but still. Dragon Covenant guy. And one more, one more. There we go, roll catch. And... One, two, three, four, five, six. Should be good, and... Nice. Eighteen more rocks. Eighteen more silly rocks. And that. The great dead ones. And that's the Milfinito dress. Hmm. Okay. Well. Time to keep going. To wonder what level we'll be at the end of this grind. Of this Austone grind. Then I never have to engage. I never have to engage with Company of Champions ever again. It's so nice. Okay, so we'd be able to get a bit more endurance, but. Even so, doubt, like, doubt that would really make much of a difference at this point. Get out here, get out here. Oh my goodness! Okay. 1232 damage. Combo sort of artificially extended by taking that damage and trading. Okay, cool. Roll, roll. Still going up pretty high due to fact that the S is keep stealing, or we can just... That works too. Run away, why don't you? Run away, why don't you? Okay. It'd be really nice if we'd gotten an additional drop from that, unfortunately. Okay. Concept of self, only to sing, continue singing to the main do so no longer. A dead one. Which is interesting, because it implies that Nito has some remaining presence, despite having been obliterated in Dark Souls 1. That said, given that he does administer all death, according to the description of his soul in Dark Souls 1, it's not unreasonable to think that he could have survived somehow. There was something illusory about the nature of his death. Okay. So we got to 15... More remaining, maybe I'll go back and see if more stamina might do something. I don't know. Probably just keep going so we don't have to play around too much. Because we need 17 more awe stones, and then we'll be jamming. Come on, come on, get down here. Get down here. Hit you. No, we're not, we're not. That kind of worked, actually. Oh, so... Well, that only really makes a difference by the ladder actually waiting enough to make it sort of stop a little. Okay, get close, get close. And just one, two. Simple, simple. Okay. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. Need 16 more. Okay. Ah. <sighs> All right. Rest. Try it again. Sixty more stones, and we can get a vanquishers. You know, if I were selling something, I would be murdered. I would be burned at the stake for falsehood and advertising. It's been almost three hours in, I haven't gone to Shaded Woods yet, because I was killing Sinner a second time and grinding awe stones, but this should be for the last time something like this happens. I would like to go kill Iron King again a second time eventually, same with Freya, so we can do stuff with uh, the Great One Souls, but still, come on, come on, get over here, get over here. And a crossbow, or what? I can corner you. That's nice. Come on, come on. Bro is wearing no clothes. That is indecent. 
And you guys drop anything? I guess not. Cool. Another all stone, and we need should be fifteen more. Yeah. Rest fifteen. Okay. Turn around every now and then. I get a little bit lonely. Wait. Okay. Yeah, but we should be able to get a few more stats. We've already got what we need to one hand to sand tears, so it's nothing really to worry about at this point, but still. Okay, okay. Let's set our weapon on fire. Not had to worry about actually getting petrified. Though that would be instant death. I do find it interesting that Curse came back and Basilisk still apply it. But the effect isn't the same. It just basically gives you a level of hollowing. Decreases your max health, but... The instant death effect of Curse is still in here as Petrify, and given that Curse in DS1 actually did Petrify you. It's kind of funny. Oh, but you fall down on the ladder and it actually... Oh! That stunned me. Interesting. Come on, come on. Catch, catch. Well, catch should not work. You instead just managed to whip me. Okay. There we go now. Come on, come on, and that did not exactly work. I need another extra awesome drop. It would really make my day. Okay, cool. Rest. I could have done that while moving. I should have done that while moving. Gotta be efficient with my time. All right. In that case, we done this way, pull up the rats again, only a tiny amount of souls, but only 14 more kills on Roy needed at maximum anyway. I do wonder, I do need to come back here, and there's a spell I can get with that fair of stone, but still. When are you going to show up? Only shows up in awful line, invented amounts of time, but only awful line. Nice and fast. Okay, get down here. Get down here. Maybe I could actually do this without locking on. Maybe. Okay. Did manage to get a couple of extra hits in, so... Is that a running attack? Was that why he had a little bit of extra poise, or...? Weird. Twinkling Tide Knight also needed for the Aura's armor, but... Eh. Eh. It's alright. Three, four. Cool. Okay, okay. Mm -mm. Rest. It's lingering again. Go around. We need 13 more Awestones. We put out the monument. We switch back to Blue Sentinels or something. Or at least don't literally anything other than literally anything other than Company of Champions, because there is no reward other than this. Once it's done, all you get is more pain. Okay. I should show up again soon, hopefully. Come on, come on. <sighs> okay. Okay. You gotta be kidding me. Why is he not showing up? Why is he not showing up? You have yet to be kidding me. And I know it's not that I hit some appearance limit. Because it would have probably been about been 10 like the others. It's just... Maybe it's some random amount of time or some random location. This is strange. Well, let's actually recast Flame Weapon, because it probably would have disappeared soon. Hi. One and one. Okay. Oh, oh okay. Okay. That's just up. This is up. Hi. Oh, my goodness. Rats? Oh, because since I went to the start of the area, 
And may the rats from the start of the area come chase me. Oh. Okay. Uh, uh, uh. Okay. All right. All right. Hmm. Let's try not to make that mistake again. So basically, don't fall down. Don't cross that threshold. That's the big thing to keep in mind. Hello. Hello. Explode! Get literally detonated. And you are... There's a moss. Alright. Tree of all, yeah. Imagine if I'd lost all those souls. That would have probably been the single biggest bloodstain I've lost this run. Just levels at once I've lost. What are you doing? Show up again. Need 15 more awe stones and I'll be good. The other rat's gonna show up now, or is it a time thing, or it's just kinda silly. Okay, now he does it. Now he does it. Okay. Suit yourself, I guess. So it's burning. It is interesting that in addition to just putting a fire effect on the weapon, it also puts the puts a fire color glow, pyro color glow on the weapon as well. It is interesting, especially given that and that totally missed. Okay. Please. A lot of other weapons also a lot of other weapon buffs just do a little color change without any additional particle effect, such as basic magic weapon. But I'm pretty sure that when you add something like pine resin to a weapon, it doesn't make it glow, it just makes it burn. Which I suppose reflects different nature of the buff. Let's actually check real quickly. Because I'm not going to use the resin for anything else, so... Charcoal Pine Resin, Fire Damage, Undead or Beast, Right Hand, oh, but, right, I can buff it with Flame Weapon, but I can't actually buff it with Normal Pine Resin, and that's part of why actual Magic Weapon buffs are better, that's right, because they're a lot more general purpose, okay. It's actually just flame weapon it up, and Roy's here. But it interrupted the animation, but it didn't actually make the buff go away. Didn't actually make the buff fail to proc, which is nice. Hi! And that missed. Okay. Cool. And just one, two, three. As many as I can get in right now. Come on, come on. One, two, oh. Three, three. Okay. And one, one. Oh my goodness. I should actually. I should actually apogee up. I need to be human again for this. <sighs> okay. Well, I need more health. That will give me back about 50% more health. It's not insignificant. Okay. Try that again, not mess it up. We need 12 more. Then we go to Shaded Woods, Zorza Pharaoh, Saldora. Get the spear, which is the weapon I wanted. Okay. The weapon I've been recommended. This, pick up. Oh, and it's stuck inside that bit of geometry, too. Right, imagine, imagine if I had forgotten that bloodstain and died again. Very much could have happened. Oh, crossbow, crossbow, don't like that. Crossbow actually seemed to do more damage than the whip, which is insane. Aw. Get close, get close. Close and... What? Oh, okay, cool. Alright. And just one, one... Two, three. Now you're dead, and can I drop anything? No. 
Okay. Do you wonder if you know, being human doesn't have anything to do with item discovery in this one? Because it does in DS1. I'm almost certain it has nothing to do with that here. And in fact, there are some benefits to being hollowed sometimes because of particular Navon's quest line requires being hollowed to start. Assassinations. Hi. And we did manage to get all of you because that AoE is honestly kind of insane. Okay. Okay, so we go back. We try to make sure that who shows up one way or the other. Where are you? I don't see you. Maybe if I go back here, you'll actually show up. Okay, now he shows up. Okay. Cool. Huh. And are more rats gonna show up? Probably, maybe. Oh, please. Okay, wait, this is actually really close to the bonfire, so... And, well, okay. Come on, come on. Are those more rats I hear? They might be. Might be. I don't see any rats coming, though. That's good. Uh, okay, now I see him. Now I see him. So we have to be fast about this. We gotta be smart about this, or... There's a good chance we just get screwed. By these rats. Two, three, and that's not enough. One more, one more. There we go, banished. So the rats are down there, but they don't see me. That's good. I'm gonna use bonfire until... Now I can use it. Good. So how many more stones? We need ten more, and we'll be Gucci. We'll get my punching ring, which, to be fair, there aren't exactly that many more bludgeoning weak enemies or bosses in the game. The only thing that really comes to mind is actually working the last night, which... And depending on what the players who show up, who get summoned for that fight, because that is the gimmick of the fight, are weak to. Might not end up being that good in the first place, but we'll see. We'll see. And we can get that. A couple of free hits in, and... Hello, Roy! And we actually did manage to interrupt the jump attack that time. Good stuff. Okay, cool. Nice. Interrupt it again. Just keep on doing that. So the strong attack's bit of extra damage actually is significant at times. It can at least help me avoid narrowly not killing. Cool. And most nine more runs and I can actually get to the good stuff. No, not that way, not that way. I'm getting all turned around in this goofy underground rat, rat labyrinth. To be fair, that is kind of its purpose. I am an intruder. Not supposed to be here. And boom, I got him. It does raise the question of whether Roy is actually supposed to be part of the Rat Covenant. Because he does invade, but even though he's getting rid of us, even though we're not in the Covenant, it depends on whether he invades if we're still in the Covenant. Because when you're in the Rat Covenant, you can get other people summoned to your world to fight you. You basically defend the Rat King's turf. In your own world, which... It's different. It's different. But at the very same time... This is the question of whether Roy is affiliated one way or another, if he's just an opportunist coming in here to fight for treasure or something. Okay, yep, and if I had gone for a strong attack, that would have killed him. I need to be better about that. So, eight or so more, and we can... Leave this annoying covenant that makes enemies infinitely respawn than they normally do. Oh, okay. So, doing that item prompt while we're teleporting back makes it appear in brighter colors than it otherwise would. Huh. Cool. Doesn't really mean all that much, but... Okay. Go down here, we take Lingering Flame, we blow up the rats again, we blow up Roy again, and pray to whoever will listen that 
get some extras, and quit ourselves of this awful cavernous place before my brain melts, rots, and flows out of my skull. Uh, get up on the ladder, get him on the ladder. Not the former, the ladder. So we hit him, hit him again, and let's run out of the way. Get you over here, and one! Okay, none of them actually. Thanks for rolling. One! One, two, and what? Okay. Weird. Okay, so SS, of course, does not require stamina. We'll just SS up all you, your thing, and... There we go. I bet that would not have actually killed if we hadn't gone for the strong attack. Seven more stones. Okay. 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 This is what my life has become. We're here and roll back. Well, back away. He's in, he invaded on the earlier side this time, so... Oh, but we we don't have homeward. Got to rest. Okay. Another cast of warmth, at least. Not that I use it for anything. Hi. Hi, Roy. And get out of your way while you do that, so... If I had been a bit more enthusiastic, I probably could have gotten a... Backstab, maybe. We'll see. And, oh, well. That didn't make a difference. Die and what? Okay. Okay. Get over here. Get over here. Please. There we go. Six more, six more, six more. Okay. Right, we don't have homeward. That's right. That's right. At least there was precisely zero chance of me messing up and missing my Austin that way. Let's go back here, go back to the bonfire, and get this party started again. <sighs> Nothing like grinding in a Souls game. It's not cheating. It is. If it's in the game, it's intended. If they didn't patch it out, it's intended. Ignite my weapon, and hope Roy shows up. That glitch walk will always be funny. It's not like the Dark Souls 1 poop walk glitch, but... Okay, so I guess he'll show up on the upper level. Maybe it really is just a random duration thing. I'm trying to figure out locations, like some cargo cult member. Hi. Okay, now you're here. Out of my way, and one, two. Okay, that dealt a little bit of extra damage, but the big thing was the movement frames are like they're up. And one. Oh my goodness. Gotta be kidding me. Let's hope you don't kill me. Well, alright. It's more health than we had before, at least. Rats are coming. Rats are coming. Okay. Gotta be kidding me. Come on. Come on. Ah. Uh, circling. Pointlessly. Making no sense. Ah. Uh, luckily, the range on that whip is utterly negligible. But still. Still. Okay, die. Die. Die, die. One more hit will do it. Just don't get greedy. Thank you. Okay. It's not like we need homeward because the bonfire is right here. That would be... How many more? Oh, soon. Five more. Five more and... Subete galata. Okay. Everything will be over. At least for this awful, awful place. I guess I will need to go back and try one lockstone eventually to... Get the spell on the other side, which... I don't think it's acid. I don't think it's acid surge, it's... Some hex, if I recall correctly. Get around here. I was mistaking the glow of my own blade for the glow of that dark spirit. Hello, hello, hello. Hit again. 
Get over here. Get over here. Get in close. Hi, thanks. Two. And... Oh, that miss? What? Okay. So the distance of... What? What? Okay. It's the distance... on a strong attack is also inferior. Wasn't expecting that. In that case, well... Plenty of opportunities to undo my shame. Through here, we got more bats. Okay, cool. Come on, come on. Okay, there we go, and... Swim weapon. Got a rat tail. When are you showing up? When are you showing up? Okay. Okay. Invaded by Roy. We can do this. We can do this. Get over here. Five more kills than most if we get lucky with. Bonus drops. Might be fewer. Probably won't. Probably won't. Hi. Okay. So if we actually bait a couple, that's good. Nine, nine, eight. Even close, and well, okay. Come on, and. Pretty good, pretty good. Move in, move in. Cool. There we go. How many more? How many more? You didn't drop anything. You only got two bonus awesome drops. It's kind of silly. Only four more. Okay. And we're hollow and therefore gray and ugly again, but only a little bit of health is missing. Can't say that's usually gonna make the difference make a difference one way or another. Okay. Come on, come on. Okay. Not that. I'll drop one thing again. Oh, a life gem. Okay. In that case, we just advance a bit, go back up top, probably, yeah. I am totally a member of a cargo cult. Okay. Okay. Over here, and Roy's over here now. We can just beat you up like this. Nice and close. There's your crossbow, and two. There we go. So that's about the difference. That 50 or so damage difference. It's not nothing. Just one more three hit combo should do it, hopefully. Okay, cool. One, two. There we go. This rat kills me. I will miss out on some rewards, but. Oh my goodness, what? What? Oh no. Oh no. It'd be really funny if I missed out on that awesome because a rat killed me. But it didn't happen. And that's good. Three more. Three more. Three more and I get to actually go to a new area. I get to actually go to Shaded Woods. Use the Unveil to show the location of invisible mannequins and everything will be right with the world. Three more awesome. Three more awesome. I guess I'd like to try out Power Stance Fists on the Majula Boars. See how much damage that does. So you immediately just... No, you aren't immediately shooting the crossbow. Oh, that's good, actually. And go for another, and you are... Oh, goodness. That's bad, that's bad. Rats are here now. Rats are actually here now. Ah, oh, you're kidding me. One, two, and oh, good lord. Heal, heal? Okay, cool. I actually got ganked. Hi. Hello. Hello. Get... Oh. Oh, goodness. Do not kill me. Do not kill me. One, two. And the roll catch actually did the trick. Still on the spire last me, though. Two, and boom. Three more, three more. 
few more or so. A stone and okay, no, just two more. In that case, we will lingering flame it up. Still swing that. Okay. And just boil up more rats. It's getting kind of therapeutic. And that was the amount of time it took for it to, the buff to disappear. Okay. Mm -hmm -hmm. When are you going to come back? Some of those, I'm sure, if I recall correctly, can actually have water douse the wall torches. But that, that's what does it. Okay. Hi. Hello. Let's kill these rats. So, more will show up, so, hi, I hear him chuckle, like Knuckles, actually Knuckles doesn't chuckle, that's the whole point, hi, and you again, okay, stamina needs to come back, please, please, and just one, two, three, oh, rats are coming, rats are coming, bad, bad, bad. One, two, three. Okay. You dropped a bonus awe stone. That would be really nice. Not expecting it, but it would be really nice. We got a okay, repair powder. Awe stone. All right. May as well kill this rat. And gone, gone, gone. Okay, cool. One more go at it. And we'll be gone from it. Take that. Okay. Last one. And a ridiculous grind is finally over. Okay. Okay. Go for it. One more lingering flame and... Oh, and he, he showed up. He showed up nice and fast. It'd be really funny if... On the final kill, where it wouldn't make any difference, he dropped an extra awe stone. Giving us an extra awe stone we never needed for anything. Okay. Come on, come on, get over here. And we managed to block that. Okay, a couple more. Those combos. Hi. Two, strong. Nice, there we go. Okay, it didn't happen. It's actually good. Oh, and a strong attack without it actually jingles the bells. Okay. Well, we're done here. I'm gonna go home to Majula. <sighs> and then we will. Oh, up a will. Hi. Okay. And how many times can we level up now? We can get a bit more stamina, a bit more vitality. Equipment's always good. More slots, more strength, and a bit more. Okay, so that will actually increase sword's damage pretty well. Okay. There we have it. Agility, not a lot much. There we go. Okay. Go to the monument. All right. What is our 80.3? That said, a better Royal Soldier's Ring he is possible once we get to Drink Lake Castle. That will be nice to have. I want to try the UGS too. For Austin, and how many? How many? Do we have to do these? It's deepened. Let's see, actually. Do we get anything? You have to do these one by one. Oh, please. And there's the punchline. Uh. 
one by one. Well, at least it'll tell me when I actually get the rewards. It's funny that they're telling me that my devotion is deepened when normally they only tell you that if you actually get a reward. Whatever. Okay. And we should get the first dragon ring from that, which it's not bad. Deepen have gained a ring. Oh, great magical weapon. That's not bad. I don't think I'll be able to use crystal magic weapon, but great magic should be good. Frankly, that would have been really good for fighting Sinner, but we don't need to do that anymore. Mm. Right, I... I legitimately forgot I had magic weapon. If I had done that, I could have put it on the hammer. It wouldn't have been even better. Eh, it's whatever. It's whatever at this point. Because once I used the hammer, it worked out. No matter what, just spamming spells isn't going to because of how dodgy she is. Come on. Don't need... Don't need this garbage. Well, either way... Once we're done with the Victor Stone, we don't need any more here. Okay. Cool. Cool. And... Okay, so it's gonna be 25 where we gain another rank, and then 50 for the final one with the Vanquisher Seal. I think. Should be. Sounds like 20... I think this is 22. I mean, when I count. Okay. And 24. This is so enthralling. Most exciting thing in the world. Okay. And game of rank, yep. Oh, first dragon ring. That said, I'm pretty sure that that one is... The third dragon ring is the best. It'll be some time until I can get that. Third dragon ring. Dragon ring. How do I get that one? Signet. First. Oh, dragon shrine. So it's still a new game plus. I mean, it's still a standard new game. So first, it does not do much. Actually, royal soldier's ring. How much does that increase maximum load by? Arc or killing Dukester Freya. Because that's 10%. So first, Dragon Ring is actually going to be... No, second will be equivalent. Be equivalent. We'll get that later today, actually. You can switch out Royal Soldiers and it'll be a flat upgrade. Third might be... Best thing to use because of all the things it gives. It's health and stamina too, but eh, I don't know. It's also quite fragile. Lost count, it's somewhere around 30 now. Once I get the ring, I'll be done. No more of this garbage. <sighs> okay. Come on, come on. 17 more. Roughly. 24. Why do they do this to me? 35. It would be funny if I had ended up farming more than I needed like I did in DS1. But... In the very least, it's not as if any of this time is truly wasted. Where are my soul is at right now? I should check that. Okay, 39. Either way, I can actually... I can leave offline mode now. I'll do that. Make sure I don't forget. Okay.
46. Seven. Forty-eight and forty-nine and fifty, I think. I'm finally free. All right then, let's test this out. The Anguisher Seal is right there. Oh, and it's got the emblem too, Covenant Ring for Champions. Increases attack power with our hands, salute those who scoff at danger and bravely seek the harder path. Strengthens the enemies within your world. Let's actually equip that. See, okay. Interesting, and I can't. Power stance, bare hands. Let me see. This kind of is... That's a pyro flame. So I actually need to empty my hands in order to power stance those, I think. Well, I can power stance hands now. Not like that. There we go. Punch, punch. Like this. Oh, baby. This is going to be nice. It's a three-hit combo, too. Insane. I do want to see how much damage it'll deal the pigs. Like this. Either way, we're armored up and ready to punch. There we go. So cool. Pigs, pigs, pigs. Pigs. Come on. Punch, 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 punch. It's doing good amount of. Uh, what's that? So, so the hits did not connect. All connect reliably. Do wonder without champion, without company of champions, how much damage they'd be taking. Let's go back. I feel like blue sentinels might be best bet right now. I really wanted to, I could cheese things actually by going to Rat King for Doors of Pharaoh so nothing there attacks me, but frankly that's no fun. Let's go back to Cathedral Blue. Go back to Sentinels. Leave this garbage covenant. Okay. Don't need that in my life. Actually, you know what? Well... It's a gimmick fighting style. It's not actually good. Hi. You are, do you respect? Yes, sure. Cool. What's the? And Thanks. No listening, really. If I actually a shield on, could I still power stance this? Let's actually see if I could. Oh, no, you can't. They both really do have to be empty. But I can't duel here, it seems. Do I not have a token of fidelity? Should I won? I do have a token of fidelity. Okay. So I should be able to duel. Weird. Oh, whatever. Oh, it's probably because I'm an offline. Whatever. Okay. In that case, I have to re-enable online. Before that, I am going to punch it with it. So I can punch these pigs. And, oh, the big pigs here. Okay, whatever. Hi. Goodbye. That was nice. Three cracked red eye orbs, and I think I don't think it responds anymore. By the way, I am going to relaunch in online mode. Okay. Okay. Now 
Able to play on online, not connected to Steam. Okay. Let's just go back online then. Go online. There we go. Okay. You recommend this game to other players? Yes. Well, oh, pfft. I'll do that later. And it, maybe because of the offline stuff, made it look like I got the same achievement twice. Hmm. Mm -hmm. I do want to maybe try a bit of Blue Sentinels in. I am in Blue Sentinels right now, so let's try one duel and then go into Shaded Woods. Need to change around my spells and the like to ensure. Actually, Flame Weapon with the Great Sword would probably actually be my best bet. By the way, I want to see if that boar respawns, and if it does, I'll kill it again. If it doesn't, I won't. But either way, I'll go back to Cathedral Boo real quick to try and duel. You know, a pretty crazy, ridiculous amount to get. We send the rewards, and yet the pig does not come back. Okay, suit yourself. Hmm. If I do like this. Like this. Oh, okay. So there are no kicks, just spinning punches. Okay. It is cool, but it's more of a gimmick than anything else. Get rid of Vanquisher's seal then and put on a real weapon. I mean, a real ring. We have giants on. We have giants in stone. Actually. Giants and blades, maybe? Sure. There's enough physical AR here. And we're still at pretty high equip load. Go back to blue. Okay. Let's see if we can duel. Do we have a token of fidelity and it will use it up? Let's just see. Ah, uh, yep. Okay, we can join the sparring match. Arena ahead. Okay. Bigger ahead. Guts required ahead. Okay, actually, let's see. Let's try the leftmost one. Let's see how it works. Kidding sparring partner. Let's see if there's anyone here. What is my. Oh, but I'm stuck until I find one. Hmm. Yeah, okay. Still my token, but my soul memory is somewhere around two million. Okay, I think six million is kind of quote unquote meta in terms of getting people to actually show up. Let's wait a little bit and see if something happens. Ha. Huh. Hmm. All right. Let's try a different one. Let's try center. See if that works. Hmm. Honestly, just keep Sentinel Ring on. Oh, but you have to be human to be summoned, right? Sentinel Ring. Sentinel Ring of Guardian Seal. Guardian Seal. Okay, and you have to, you have to be human. Oh, come on. Well, you know what? Nah, uh, uh, maybe, eh, we'll see. In that case, I'll go back to Shaded Woods. Actually, I'll go all the way through to Shaded. It's gonna take, it's Nachka week two again. Nachka is week two. Scorpius Najka. Scorpius Najka is weak too. Weak to thrust and fire damage, so actually, this weapon will be pretty good. So we are just gonna go back through. Mm, let me see. What should I use? Shaded Woods. 
don't really need homeward. What I do definitely need is Veil. And I guess I could take a number of fireballs or something. Then maybe Flame Swave. Sure, that'll work. Okay. But I need a... I do have my shine, that's good. This Unveil will allow me to locate invisible enemies here in Shaded Woods. Oh, pff, I'm dumb. That's actually... I forgot to... I got rid of Flame Weapon. That said, actually, depending where the bonfires are... Oh, it 100% does. And... This Vi Hunter is a bit bigger, and I have used it. This one's good too, but... It actually doesn't have that much in the way of damage. It's not that amazing because... It's a boss weapon, so... Boss weapons start at a lower damage level and get more from upgrading. Welcome back, by the way. Hope the internet situation has solved itself. But this Vi Hunter... It's pretty okay damage-wise, but... Let me see, actually. Oh, but... You do two, so that's 262, and... Yeah. This weapon actually deals more damage. Because it's a Twinkling Titanite weapon, so they scale a bit less with upgrading and start at a bit of a higher level. Yeah, Zvi... Yeah, Smelter is interesting, too, because it's also got a really cool strong attack that just lights it on fire, makes a big fire explosion. But it consumes a lot of durability on the weapon, so you can't just do it with impunity. We are just going to, in short, impossible. Would be Rat and maybe Prowling Magus. Oh, okay. Body figured it out. That makes sense. That would definitely do it. Let's get these guys and... I fought these guys really early on too, actually. I opened this up because... Have you played Xenoblade Chronicles? Have you played Xenoblade with the English dub? Because Fiora's voice actor is also the voice actor actress is the voice actress for the pyromancy teacher in this game, Rosabeth of Melthia, Melthia, who starts here petrified. So I unpetrified her so I can get some pyromancies early on, or at least try to. It did not exactly work as intended. Also, because these guys were very strong for very early on. But it's all good now. Just finding them again just to see how much more damage I can deal. Hello, hello. Yeah, yeah. It's really, really funny. Because the resemblance is really nearly impossible to not notice. It's kind of hilarious, honestly. But either way, we are going... So I actually access Shaded Woods really, really early on. Which, it's one of the later areas in the first half of the game, I'd say. But, it is what it is. Hi, hi. Burn, burn, burn. And you can actually break wooden doors if you want to. Don't particularly want to. Oh, longsword? Weird. Hello, and... Oh, the Gurm is actually here. Hi. And out of the... Oh. How did I manage to avoid that? And these guys are basically dwarves. There are some of them that are actually quite big. Non-dwarf dwarf. Dire dwarf. Maybe the others are just pygmy dwarves. I'm going insane. Either way, the dumb grinding is done, so... I got... Actually, I should show it off real quick. I got a ring that allows me to very effectively fight barefisted. And that said, it's all bludgeoning damage, which I don't really need that much right now. Oh, nice! What have you found? I ran into a really weird glitch in Abyss some time ago. That was good. That was good. You didn't- I didn't really get a good camera angle on that. So I might actually- nah, nah. It died fast, that's what matters. Eventually we'll run into Looking Glass Knight, who's a boss that summons other players to fight you, but the most important thing there is that he's very, very weak to bludgeoning damage, since he's an armored enemy. Let's just rest at the bonfire, come back out, okay, cool. There we go, there we go, okay. Then we can get this back, and also you can dual wield fists, or more specifically power stance, which is essentially a sort of special synchronized dual wielding stance. 
in Dark Souls 2, and also in Elden Ring. Message about left. Where are you? Message. Message about right. I like those messages. Where are you? Message. We're all for message. Message if it had therefore try message. I'm following the pack. Hint ahead. Let me see. Wary of sniper. Wary of message. Do I have any fragrant branches right now? I do have one. There is someone I need to unpetrify in here. An enemy, and behind the enemy there'll be some more, but there are invisible enemies in here, so. I'm gonna have to use unveil to locate them. Wary of message. Let's not get backstabbed and the like. Hi! Hello. Hello. Let's backstab you. There we go. Good damage. Oh my goodness. Gross. Pick up, get another longsword, which we won't use for anything, but okay. So where is the part where I actually need to start using my enemy locator spell? Hi! Throwing gun paws at me, you might be. Hello, hold on. Is that a sniper? That might just be a New Game Plus thing. I don't know. Oh, but that was a one tap because I got you in counter frames, actually. Okay. Mm. Okay. By the way, they're not dropping much of anything. Hmm. So over here is. Oh, a Pharaoh's Lockstone. That's nice to get. Especially if we go to Doors of Pharaoh soon. I will need at least one of those to get. The really good spear I mentioned earlier. Oh my goodness, you are just crazy. Okay, that did not actually untap them. Weird. Okay, and we're out of the way. We're out of the way. Gotta be kidding. Hit. And one more. Okay. What were they feasting on? It's here. Soul of the Proud Knight and... Oh, they were attracted by the human effigy, it seems. Can we, we can see Drangle Castle over there now. We're getting close. Chi Chi and water. Oh, the new Viet. Keeping his charged attack effect one. Oh, because of the dash she does at the end of her E. Where is that spot? Was this. I don't think this would be Shrine of Winter, right? I don't think so. Okay, so we've got a bit forward. Gone a bit forward. Meeting a sadness. Going ahead and short try luring it out. What does that mean? Quite something ahead. Try down. Oh, it gets all foggy. Hi. Not here. We're off for light, but chance. Wait. So what's over here then? Is Tark gonna be over this way? Or the man scorpion eventually. Oh, these are the falconers! Ah, hello. Here's thing. Said not the oh, they drop sunlight metals? Okay. Just gotta make sure that we can hit them a couple times before they Okay, and the poise break allows us to continue hitting them. Visions of misfortune. Hmm. Are there any illusory walls I should be aware of? It says not here. What's the Chi Chi and Water one? I haven't heard of that. That's new to me. Hi. And Sniper, let's just... Oh, multiple? Multiple? 4.1. Statues. Statues. Statues? So actually, we should probably use Hammer. Should use a one-handed weapon so we can actually keep the shield up. Maybe. We'll see. Statue... Wait, so... Fortress of Meripede, or... Oh, we got more Twinkling Tide Knights. Probably just gonna use that for armor, actually. Maybe we could use that for Black Knight Ultra. That would be a pretty good fire weapon, but still. Is so this... Where is this actually going to lead me? Let's see. Where we have Ghost. Illusion Monster. Wait. Is this the way to... Let's see. Is this gonna make the mannequin show up or here? Wait. Dragon Slayer's Crescent Axe and Golden Falcon Shield. Oh, those. They're not actually invisible, invisible. They just 
Oh, okay, now I see, now I see. Hi, die, die, die. Oh my goodness, you are crazy. Okay, now I see. So the deal isn't that they're invisible, it's that you can't lock on to them. Oh, now I, that is actually very interesting. Either way, this was Elden Ring, we could just platform, but this is Dark Souls 2, where you can't platform on things. Dragon Slayers, Crescent Axe. Shows Lothian and Ferosa, so he's the one who used the Stone Ring and the Giant's Ring I was using before. Rosa retired from the battlefield, never heard from again, for else human flows. Off to slay the legendary dragon. Oh, and it's actually got a bit of lightning damage on it, but it's not that much. So it isn't actually all that good of an anti-dragon weapon. Hmm. Yeah, because when you say 4.1 areas, I think of Fortress of Meripede and also Fontaine Connecticut Research Institute. There aren't really any others that immediately come to mind. Let's go up. There's the fog over there. Hmm. Let's see, and you are... What are you? Is this a dog? You got some kind of weird dog. It's bizarre. I assume you're gonna worm me somewhere and I'll attack me once. Tough enemy, try poison. Oh, there's another ogre. Hi. What is your weakness? Fall over. Fall over. On to. Oh my goodness. You are strong. Oh, please. Not gonna fall over this time, I guess. Actually, you know what? We could just... Flame Swave you or something. Yeah. But that did not work all that well. What? What? Okay. Weird. Let's just fireball you down. Maybe you'll respawn, maybe you won't. You are weak to lightning, but I don't... Actually, I could. That's right. There is something I could do here. There is something I could do here. Now that I've got... There's a bonfire here. I can leave. I can leave safely. I've got 22 now, which means I can actually buy and use Lightning Spear. Well, I can use Lightning Spear. I can always buy Lightning Spear, but... I can use Lightning Spear. Shaded Woods, yep. Yeah. Back to Majula. Talk to Alicia of Lindell. Buy Lightning Spear. Start tossing the lightning. And there we go. She is a bit out of the way. But luckily it's not like I actually have to pay her to move. Pay her to move the mechanism again, because I never need to go back to hides. At least not any way that wouldn't just be teleportable. But she... She's actually evil. The mechanism does not actually rely on souls. Yeah, she's greedy for souls. It's not actually relying on miracles, which she says, to make you have to pay her. To move it, it actually just relies on a lockstone, which she drops if you kill her. Spear Lightning, Ancient Clan, revered as Goddess Sun, lost her time, incandescence of her magnificent father shall never wane. Cool. There we go. May the power of miracles be with you. Thanks. So the Flame Slave does not do all that well. Oh, it's the Elenos one. So what's special about the Barrel Region Statue of the Seven, then? Is it just a matter of how its geometry is positioned in relation to the land beneath it? I don't doubt you, I'm just wondering why it specifically would be one where you could clip and launch, because... If it's about clipping... I would think maybe it might be similar to the Kutching Yeet that got patched multiple years ago. Because it was a matter of instant force movement with really high velocity, but you change the vector and make it not hit its stopping point, I think. Okay, so it's slope-oriented. Interesting. Okay. We do also have Heavenly Thunder, but frankly it sucks. We literally only have three Lightning Spear casts. Actually, let's... I'm just killing that ogre. 
Let's actually get heavenly, heavenly lightning too. I want to try actually and see if emit force, because I don't think emit force deals lightning damage. Might be worth checking. We'll see. Either way, it's a pretty garbage spell. Unless you're actually trying to knock enemies down. But, okay. Huh. Damage was pretty good. That'd be fair to those dogs, but it died to anything. Can't imagine they had particularly high resistances. And that... Oh no, that's good. That is pretty good. Hmm. Let's just see how much Lightning Spear deals. Okay, it's actually not that much different. Huh. Weird. It's fast, too. Fall down, fall down. And just like that. Come on, come on. That was good. Oh, you can wall quip like that? Okay, that makes sense. Because I tried using a small character to try to maybe quip into... That's not poison miller. That's good. Let's see. Red tear stone ring. That's okay, but it's not as good as it was in DS1. Because if you remember, you've been inside the Book of Revealing in Barrel Regent. You get there inside Elanas. But... Oh, there's a King's Ring door here. Hi. Can I parry you? Let's see. Oh, and they're actually using the same sword as me. Swing. There we go. We actually managed it. Produce a symbol of the king. Well, we don't have it. Okay. Let's try that again. But there's a little area that clearly exists. A little room that you can't access that I tried clipping into the small character and just never worked. Okay, so this should be Aldi's keep if I recall correctly. I'll need King's Ring from Undead Crypt to go back here. So there was really no point in going here. Okay. <laughs> Just got to test out Lightning Spear damage. It was pretty good, but Mid Force actually did more than I was expecting. I guess it's because... Oh, and these dog corpses are still glowing, even though I've already killed the dog. Javanel, Fatty, Head, Kluck, Ray of Miscreant. And I thought there might be a treasure there. I thought it might be unlocked when more stuff came out related to the Book of Revealing. There's more stuff in the Book of Revealing came out in 4.2. Oh, a hidden room where? In the Book of Revealing? Was that the one in the library that looks like the Enconomy Library? Because if so... Oh, okay. So what hidden room then? I'm curious. Then let's just get this, put flame weapon back on, and... Empty twisting hallway. Huh. But how do you get there? Where was it? That's very interesting. Come on, come on, despair, therefore tears ahead. Torch and then be wary of ghosts. Not for hiding place. Edge of the barriers. Oh, okay. Huh. I can kinda see him. The torch would be good. Yeah, the torch would be good. Which means we need the hammer back. Hammer back. Oh, okay. So, what do you mean up north where the sort of Fontaine Research Institute branch office ended up being? Where that guy Desnos is? Because I know that there was kind of a... that broke By that broken Aquabus track? Maybe. I don't know. Come on, come on. Rajka, Royal Rat, maybe Prowling Magus. Just gotta make sure they don't... Can I lock onto them? I can't lock onto them either way. Weird. That sucks. Come on. Luckily, I can actually just keep slapping them. There's no... Limit to how much I can really swing. Doesn't cost very much in the way of stamina. Oh, near flooded to. Oh, okay. So that would have been the branch office, I think. Sounds about right to me. 
I really, really liked. Have you done the Archeum Foundry exploration deal? Get all the Archeum pieces. It makes the char makes the charge. You turn it into the Illuminator. Get to the room. I really, really liked that just because of how long the objective was, honestly. I had to do pretty much everything in the two new areas to find it. It was a cool long-term objective, especially since I actually found everything there early on. Like a dream. What if I hit this? Is it going to release Curse or something? Just made noise. Okay. How many mannequins are here? Many of the invisible mannequins are here. Try attacking. Okay. Really wonder what's up with those weird moaning trees. Fair, fair. It is a bit of a time commitment. Where are all those mannequins? Proud Knight, another human effigy. Is this the way out? I think this is actually the way out. Might be. Let's keep poking around a little more, find a few more of those dudes. And yep, we've got our torch. Got an hour of torch time, but still. It's actually a very small area. Just feels big because of how confusing it is. Or bigger. That's how confusing it is. Let's try to not get backstabbed. Huh. Safe zone ahead. So actually, maybe it's not where I was supposed to go. Or actually, maybe it was. Dark Spirit Wolf. Okay. Where are you, though? Let's actually put my real sword back on. And then just try to knock him down, see if he finds me. This is an awful place to get invaded, I'll say that much. You gonna find me? Gonna find me? So I can't really do much until I see you. Don't want to get unpleasantly surprised. It's down there. Where, where, where are they? Where's the invader? Ah, oh, so annoying. Gotta be kidding me. There's a special place in hell for people who invade in Shaded Woods, honestly. But it's just... I don't even know where the invader is, and I'm certain that they don't know where I am either. What are either of us going to get out of this? Okay. It's not like I can just quit and make them disappear, because that would get me to lose a bone of order. I would have to burn a bone of order to make things work again. This looks maybe illusory wall related. Uh, as if Shaded Woods wasn't bad enough already. And I can't use that bonfire. for jumping. That would be really cool. That would be really cool. Can I at least light this bonfire? Okay, I can light it, I just can't rest at it. Okay. Yep, cannot use bonfire, but I can teleport back at least. Wait, did I see... did I see... them just take damage, or... Where did they... Oh, hi! Hello! Go for your swing, and... Let's just... Roll... You're not bad. Oh, yep. Yeah. There we go. What? Oh, cool. Yeah, I... As long as I don't get greedy. Oh, that was laggy. That was really laggy. Fair. Yeah, it's not bad, and... To be fair, she honestly has a number of upsides over... Nahida in the sense that... She can do multi-wave. And... Yao Yao honestly really can't. Come on, come on. Hit, and can we go for one more? There we go, we banished him. That was really, really close. That cut it really close. Okay. Come on, come on, let's just hit you. Yeah. Because as much as I like Nihita, she would be a lot better. And because of this, I'm sure that it was a deliberate choice they made. If her burst had an occasional Dendro Pulse or something. Because if you use her with a character like Sino, it, 
if you wipe out a wave and another wave spawns in something like Abyss, you're not getting any more Dentro unless you put Nihita back on. Unless you've got some like Baiju, but even then his application isn't all that good, so you're not getting... the full extent of the Redentro application, and therefore Sino might stop getting quickens or balloons or something like that. It's it's a whole thing. But ghosts okay, there you are, there you are. But if you run him with the Alyo, which is why I've tried using him with the Alyo in the past, you don't have to put up with that. At least ideally. Where are Okay, now you're here. Don't And of course they kill me. Of course they kill me. Oh, wow. So how many of you lost? I hope that at least means you've got good constellation levels in some of the standard five stars, then. Let me see. Okay, Shaded Ruins. It's a decent spot to be in. It's actually just... Okay, what we could do... Flame Weapon on the Hammer. Then we light our torch. There we go. And we've still got our enchantment. Fire hammer, fire hammer. Glowy fire hammer. Okay. Either way, that sucks. I'm sorry to hear that. Even if there were standard five stars you wanted, you know, they're never the ones you're aiming for. And. Okay, still needs one more. What the. Okay, please. We got it, we got it. Good. And good luck, good luck, fatty. Oh, that's mean. Say that because your model can't fit through. Fit through the side there. How many more? How many more? See anyone coming? I don't see anyone coming. Well, that's kind of the issue. I don't see them. Let's grab this, see what's inside here. Come on, come on. Come on. Got... Oh, Corinthy Ring plus one. That's pretty good. And it seems like... The enchantment might wear off soon, actually. Maybe. Oh, hi. Where are you? Where are you? I can kind of see you. Just kind of. Just kind of. Hit. Uh. You go for a bit more of a swing with the... Okay. Swing and... Okay, so three strongs will work. Lost six times, none early. Oh, wow. So how far did he have to go into pity, then? A wretch ahead. Oh, hi. Hello. And it's gone, actually, but that's, uh, it's actually at least grab this. You're hitting me. Hitting me. Oh, wow. That is, I'm sorry to hear that. That really sucks. Because I don't want to brag, but I've had good luck real good luck occasionally. So I hope it rebounds your way. Oh wait, okay. Old Sun Ring explodes at damage threshold. Hard as explodes, unscathed. So that's kind of like Karmic Justice in DS1. But I hope it doesn't disappear at least. So I forgot to actually put Ring of Giants back on, but let's see. Actually, no, not Stone Ring. What was I using? Oh right, Ring of Blades. That's good. And the enchantment has worn off. It wore off a pretty long time ago, frankly. Uh, got a few more of you. A few more invisible dudes lurking in the... Not the shadows. In the mists. It's not dark. It's just obscured. For shaded woods, there honestly isn't that much shade. Oh, wow. So have you been playing since the start? Because I started playing... When Eula's first banner was on. That was when I started playing. So that was a little before Kui actually got her rerun. But I never got Kui. Honestly, I feel like, even though I would like to get every single character eventually, Kui is definitely kind of last priority. That said, she would work a bit better with Furina now, I'd say. But even so, is this... Leave me. Oh, this is Vengarl. Out of Vengarl. Why leave me be? This is Sabi here. Vengarl in Star State. Well, his gun is pleasant. His body is still fighting. Defend the kingdom. Killed me, so I thought. Something like this. Not so bad, really. 
Just more room from war. Oh, okay, but you went for Klee. You went until now. Dainta S, prepare burden, don't we all? Stay my distance, my body. Head was raging without me. My sword sword forged only to kill. Do you think stay far away? This is every day, never won in battle. Joy of conversation. Do you speak up? Oh, gesture, decapitate gesture. Oh my goodness. Oh, can you have the guts great sword? Eh, eh, eh. It's cool when it's big, but still break damage. Destroy equipment, head on, better armor, grind them down from afar. Lightning urn, Melvia, magic environment, see what's potency, burn any ex inexperienced. Oh, that, that's brutal. I'm sorry about that. I will say, that's a mirror. I'm tired of my silence. Nuviet and Alhaven are probably the two best on fielders, at least at C0 right now. Come of the kingdom, hard hand, death in the eye together. I am afraid, knew not what we fought for. Ferosa, distant east, on conflict with our neighbors, fell and our people scattered, no sword ever since. No other way to live, fool I was. Peaceful days, only in the human now, so confounding. Heard of my ramblings, no use for them. Oh, we got his helm. Presumer's journey, reflections on disembodiment. Oh my goodness. Okay. Yeah, I... Oh, we can actually level up my Pyroflint now. I like Rithesli, he's fun. But I got him knowing that he wasn't going to be particularly good, and I didn't have particularly high expectations for him. He actually did a bit better than I expected him to because of that. In particular, I had Shenha for a while, because I had rolled her in hopes of eventually making a good Ayaka team. I still don't have Ayaka or Kokomi. Just have Kaza and... Wait. I just have Kazuha and Shenha. And I got him in part so I could have someone actually make use of Shenha. And he did a pre pretty decent job at it, but... I don't know. It's silly. Let's go through and see if we find anyone else again. Oh, that... That would have killed me. I would have accepted death at that point. Come on. Got that. My goodness. There go. Oh, there's actually another chest over there. One more of you, one more of you. Get back. Get back. Oh, and I got backstabbed. You've got to be kidding me. Let's just see if we can go for one more. There we go. At least so I got that. Okay. Did they not drop any souls? What? Someone is... Someone's still accosting me? Someone is still accosting me. We're rolling around so much. Hit these things so much. What? What? The, what? Okay. Two. Three. Goodbye. Enjoy death. There's another one over there. It doesn't seem like it. That's good. Yeah. Hopefully, Fruina should get a rerun soon in 4.6 given the sort of pattern they do with Archons, but still. That's brutal. The only use I really have for Mona anymore is a Morgana team, and even then, I don't use it that much anymore. There aren't that many situations that really lend themselves to using it. Yeah, because every Archon gets run six, four or so patches after their initial release, if I recall correctly, so she should get rerun relatively soon. Same patches, people are saying Arlequino. Okay. So there was another chest, but I missed it. Where was it? Is it over here? It was a metal chest. Kind of in the middle of these trees. Would have been something inside, and I hope it would have been... There it is, there it is. Is that a mimic? Let me see. What? What? Oh, come on! What the... What in the... Okay, well, let's heal up real quickly before it hits me again. Okay. What are you doing? Oh, but it's actually hitting the tree, too. Come on, come on. Die. You've got to be kidding me. So glad I have armor. And is this a mimic? It's not a mimic. None of the metal chests are mimics. Even if they do have latches. 
So that's how you can tell Mimic Chess in this game, Latches. Oh, Queer Bluestone Ring plus one. That, that's really, really good. That increases casting speed by a pretty significant amount. That should hopefully be a big help. I'm just going to keep going. But yeah. And of course, as I'm sure you know, Nuviet and Furino work together really, really well, which, beyond just being lore compliant, is also just cute. But that's me. That's me. Let's actually go back, use the Fire Seed, and actually level up. Oh, wow. Now, I personally don't go for weapons. I'm a character collector. But Nuviet's weapon is so much better than anything other than the battle pa new Battle Pass Catalyst. And the new Battle Pass Catalyst is much better than any other weapon in general. Even other 5-star options. So Tome is by far his best option, as I'm sure you know. Let's see. Let's see if I can upgrade my Pyroflame. I got a Fire Seed. Again, reinforce, and I need a few more souls for that. That'd be decent. Be safe. Be safe. Thanks. You too. And let's see, it was a standard. Soul of the Lost Undead. Not a thousand more. 600 more, so that, that's good. Oh, yeah, exactly. Hello. Now that, now that I, now that you bring it back, I did kind of feel tempted to roll on that banner. Just because I might be able to get Homa. Because... I got a C1 Hutao through sheer dumb luck long ago. And Homa would be a really good upgrade for her. That said, I did already get her. Okay, I can just use the sword again now. I don't need the torch anymore. But... Homa would be a really good upgrade for her, even though I already had Ballad at that point. The new Battle Pass Porn. And nice, we got E down. And then we jump. I hear someone chuckling. I don't like that. We're jumping. Let's see. It's over there. Let's see. And oh, we can actually make that. Whoa, therefore look carefully. Find it and then left. Let's see. Carefully. Okay, nothing. Just a river. Either that was a pointless message or they were actually trying to mess with me. Oh, and there's a bug up there. Let's just fireball that. We will get... Should get a silky stone, I think. What have we got? Thank you, Twilight Herb. So this actually... Get another branch after this. Using the branch to unpetrify this lion guy. Hello, hello. Let's wait until we can hit you. Wait until we can hit you. Oh, baby. I don't like that. Oh. Your health isn't as much as I expected, but you... Okay, I can't poise break you and your damage is high. Oh, and you, you look like curse too. Oh, my goodness. That said, going through here will give us some more stuff. There's a cyanide here too. It's actually... Let's parry you. I can parry you. There we go. Not bad at all. And plunge. Oh my goodness. With the fire buff on, that was a one shot. And the buff's gone. Yeah, I did. I actually used him to a 36 star abyss a couple weeks ago. The team, oh, Sublime Bone Dust. That's really good. That'll upgrade our flask healing capacity. But I used him with Sean Yoon, Fiorina, and Bennett. C6 Bennett, of course, so I get more. Pyro bonus and also Pyro Feast Plunges. He was honestly about as good as the Zhao team I'll be running in Abyss tomorrow. Though to be fair, a lot of that is because his best weapon by far is... That's not a hidden path. That is not a hidden path. Is by far... R5 Serpent Spine, which I had and could use with him. But Zhao's best weapon is... Primordial Jade Wing Spear, which I don't have at any refinement level. So he was a lot closer to peak performance. And oh, this is Head of Vengarl. Hi. Oh, and I can backstab you. Nice. Okay. Oh, he's big. Ursuan. 
Yeah, that, that's real. He's actually very backstabbable. Why is I'm not slow with it? Come on, come on in. Backstab you again. There we go. And a standard one should finish it off. And we beat Head of End Girl. Actually, go back to. Got his armor, gloves, and boots now. Yeah. His weapon, definitely. It's good for damage. But his C1 is really good for quality of life and for damage. But honestly, mostly for quality of life because of the. Well, the additional stack of his drag draconic authority is real too. At the very same time. This takes another? Takes another? Oh, you're kidding me. Uh, I don't have another branch to use. I hear Twinkling Tide Knight. Yeah, exactly. I usually pair him with Jean Lee. Or at least another shooter like Baiju. Just because. Otherwise, he's way too easily interrupted, given that he's a catalyst and all. Oh, we can get another chest. Nice. Send the man behind them. Oh, Black Knight Halberd. That's a good weapon, too. Oh, you actually have to jump out here. Jump. And... Wait, where is this? Where is this? Weird. And there's a curse spot over there. And a... Another statue? Yeah. Let's try to get more reactions via freeze. That's real. It's legitimate. It's, uh, okay, so we could go back to the other Vengarl now. It's a tree, but not a tree I can really use all that well. Let's actually use a fireball to break that curse pot. Did that work? Oh, I am too high. Oh, interesting. I guess I can't actually aim fireballs all that much. Well, you know, whatever. Okay, we broke the pot. It's in there. That's not a bonfire, I don't think. Over here we can get a soul and a firebomb. Well, whatever. Oh, and could I push that tree down? Well, we'll see. Either way, I run back, I talk to Vengarl again, and get some reward for having dispatched his body, I think. Can I give me his weapon, maybe? Let's see. Vengarl's... Helm. And go for Rosa, not unlike a mad beast on the battlefield. The girl's armor, deadly warrior, lion knights, motley crew of rapid fighters kept him at arm's length. Let's rest real quick. And go back. Now, I use Diona on my Morgana team. That's about all I use her for, especially since. And it does make things take a little longer, and the positioning is a bit awkward. Venti can actually benefit pretty well from the EM buff that Diona gives at C6. If you have her C6. Let's just, let's just book it. Oh, and there's another item there. Okay. Still the name of Soldier. Hi. Come on, come on. Let's just see. Gonna engage, you're gonna engage. Okay. Oh, Hajime Masenshi, long time no see. Are exams done? Oh, so you have a... Uh, do you have a Euro account and a American account, or...? Well, I killed a lot of enemies and did some grinding. That's good. Welcome back to the land of the living, I guess. Then girl should be over here. We killed his body. Decapitated guy. Pleasant surprise. Talk. Vanquish my body. Thanks. Interesting. Why is that particular? It happens to it. Known for good obedience. See you fight by your side. Oh, okay. Okay, so that's the only real reward. Medic. Oh, okay, so medical tests. Well, I guess that's better than something you can fail, maybe. We'll see. Either way. Happy for you. If nothing else, you can watch me again. That's not that's not all of it. That's that's not all of it. Yeah. Exactly, exactly. Quid pro quo. But I might be getting a bank tower job soon, which, for better or worse, is money. Which could mean maybe a model upgrade. We'll see. Who knows? Yeah, you get to see your you get to see your boy Zhao. The only thing that keeps you going. So see, hit this guy. Anakin. Wait, what? How did that? Okay. Come on, come on. Through here, dodge that, and hit, hit. 
A little too well, maybe. Yeah. Well, for what it's worth, for what it's worth, they've gotten a bit shorter in the sense that I've gotten a lot stronger in a number of ways to the point where there isn't as much frustration, which is good because there are other things I want to do tomorrow, like bounties, requests, the new TCG stuff, the PvP event, and the PvP PvE event. So it's good that it won't take forever. Yeah. And it is honestly more fun for me, because as gratifying, gratif, grati, as gratifying as it is for you to see me die, I don't want to slip up and swear. <laughs> Help out with TCG. You could do some player TCG matches. That could be fun. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Don't psych anyone out. Don't think you will, but yeah. Okay, and the curse pot is getting me from above. That is more than a little strange. Okay, let's not get cursed. We need to light our weapon on fire again, I think. Either way, thank you. Our new friend, I, I'm not sure whether it's K or Kel specifically, but they suggested a fan cord. And I would be fine with that, but I'm not sure I'd be able to administer it, so... There were offerings of assistance. A fan cord. A fan discord. See, so yeah, and okay, flame butterfly torch. Where can I get more fragrant branches? Where and when can I get more fragrant branches? Okay, more curse pots. So does it have to be when you're looking at me, or... Is it when you look at me, when I'm in the direction of the mouth, or in the direction of the... It's in the vicinity. You've got to be kidding me. Oh, come on, come on. Break, break, break. I suppose. I wouldn't hate it. And we just lose a bit more health, but whatever. I can afford to do that. How many more? Okay, okay, that was a shade. They're so easy to confuse with the player ones. Come on, come on. Okay, well, there we go. Alright. Here we go. If people, and I think... People... Refers to two people who are currently here would be willing to help with things like moderation. I'd be happy to let people do that. We're even attacking... Oh, it's Man Scorpion Tark. Should be around here then. Wait, I hear a... Do I hear a... Twinkling... You're a crystal wizard? I think I do. I think I do. Well, alright. In that case, I'm just gonna... I can't get through there. It's gonna be another fatty message, right? It's gotta be. Yeah! <laughs> Should've known. Okay, curse pot. And let's just see. Oh, another... Oh, was that the one mentioned before? The one that gives you more when you... Yeah, probably. Whatever. Gives you another branch in the chest. Oh my goodness. It was! Well, I don't think it should be too difficult. It's self-explanatory. If nothing else, other people involved could help. Let's keep going. So it's on the other side. I really hope that I get another fragrant branch out of this somewhere. Because I know there is... You gotta prioritize the ones in the Shaded Woods. Because if you don't prioritize the ones in the Shaded Woods, it's actually possible to not get everything. It's actually possible to lose out on a lot of... on one specific pet unpetrifiable statue, because there's one... there were exactly enough for every statue. And one statue lets you get another behind it. Okay, KL. Oh, that's cool. Oh, okay, KL. Okay. What sounds complicated? Moderation? Okay, good, good. It's way too early for infighting. Again? Again? Okay, so, is this, like, is this guy gold? Interesting. Lion Man. Okay, he is a bit more durable, it seems. It's gonna take four hits to go down. Okay. 
Cool. Okay. You were, you have talked about being a mom friend before. It's basically the same thing. I wouldn't say identical identical, but there, there are meaningful similarities. More statues. What really actually blocking my way though? Oh. Let's go up in these ruins. See what happens. Yeah. Me too. Don't worry, it really isn't that bad. More or less, yeah. Oh, what? Okay. Hello. That was interesting. Unexpected. Oh, that's... That's acid. That's gonna erode my equipment. Okay, one more, one more. I was not expecting the wall to fall through. I mean, the floor to drop. Open that, and it's locked. Of course it is. How many more? Who's in here? We got... Oh, Twinkling Tide Knight. Not bad. How do I get th th through, though? This way, maybe. Any illusory walls, or... At least I didn't die. At least it wasn't a pitfall that just kills you. That would have sucked. Either way, we found our way into some new location. Okay, I saw this from the other side, actually. I was wondering how I'd get in here eventually, but... Who's that up there in the wheelchair? Hello. And actually... Huh. Oh, I just have to keep going. Yeah. We will... We will forget about that. Thank you very much. By the way, I don't want to respawn anyone right now, so I'm not going to rest at the bonfire. My Estus is a decent supply for now. Don't worry about it. I'm, I'm not actually offended. Don't worry. Just being silly about it. Ah. If I really cared about looking like an idiot, I wouldn't be playing Dark Souls. I may be stupid, but I'm not that stupid. Okay. Let's keep on going, keep on going. Honestly, I feel like I found my niche of playing Genshin and Souls Likes. It's not a bad niche. Exactly. I'm going out of my way to make it even more difficult for myself. If I cared, then I would be someone who cared and was stupid. Which actually is true, but I would be even more stupid. So. Come on, come on. Oh my goodness, don't kill me. Oh my, what? Oh, that was almost a backstab. That would have, that would have taken me out. You know, that's the gimmick of the area that the enemies are partially invisible, I would say. That makes them pretty annoying. Okay. And what's really funny is the fact that they look very similar to... Oh, nice. Did you like it? Did you cry at the end again? Say you, cry you said that you cry after every story quest. Oh, wow. What about it specifically? The final cutscene or just the other bird? Let's see. What's in here? You're up here. Yeah, they... They're not the kind of thing you rush for their own sake. They're the kind of thing you do in order to enjoy them. Yeah. Well, exactly. That's what I was asking. I wanted to see if you'd broken your streak one way or the other. Pull everything? What do you mean by that? The whole quest? There's another branch bank there. I have to do that to break those curse pots. When am I going to get another fragrant branch? So many fragrant branches that I need to get. Okay. Well, those are basically kind of Archon Quests, too, if you're referring to the Ayaka one, the Yoimiya one, and the Amber and Lisa ones. I know, I, I'm pretty sure the Amber one is just required, if I recall correctly. And you are... Can I talk to you, or... Yes, you dirty rat. I remember you. Oh, it's Crichton the Wanderer. I thought you were him. Must have amnesia. Forgot that I'm him. Down the way. Saw the score. No one insults me like that. Emotions. Oh, okay. I really liked how. Is it good? Hold my own honor. Live another day. 
I really liked how the kid from the Cloud Retainer story quest actually showed up again in the Lantern Rite quest. Pretty good. An honor. Okay. So next time I see him, they're going to get into a fight. Where are you rolling? We have Warrior Skeptic Spice. No issue. No real issue. Fair. Yeah, I... When Nuvia baptized all of Fontaine, I cried a little. I'll admit to that. I'm not ashamed of it. But... Also, just everything with Fiorina. That hit me hard, too. You know, once she got on trial, and when she almost died, it got crazy. Oh my goodness. So, do I need to summon Tark? But I do need to talk to him, I think. Wenashka should be back here. Same in what way? Formerly connected to gods and now just chilling and working for a different one? I don't know. We don't entirely know that. It's too little information for a complete assessment, in my opinion. Hi, hello. Let's just get you. And how much did we get? We got Titanite Shard, Titanite Shunk, and Boltstone. Okay, so nothing really special. Well, she could have ordered someone's execution. I feel like that is within the realm of possibility. Maybe. Oh, okay, abandoned, yeah. That's real. A dark side, is that a normal side with dark on it, or is it a side that is especially dark? Let's see. That is... I'll keep her bow. Come on, come on, dark side. Where, where is it? Oh, it is just a side, but with dark. Okay. So that guy over there is actually an ally. He's a friend. His name is Manscorpion Tark. Yeah, it's really interesting whether... Stay calm. Yep. He's a friend. Hi. Wait. He need a ring. What ring do I need for that? Yeah. It... It's interesting because they started with Aranyaka, how there were thematic resonances between the first set of main world quests as well as the Archon quests in general. Because in Aranyaka... Arama sacrificing himself at the end is very similar to Ruka Devada sacrificing herself and erasing herself from Irminsul. And the whole deal with a lot of the Fontaine Archon quests have to do with supernatural parent-child relationships. Yeah, I need to look at how to talk to him. And that's basically what Furina's whole deal ended up being too. Mm -hmm. And Scorpion Tark. Yeah, I really, really hope that Mountain Shaper and Moon Carver eventually get playable. Think of Whispers. Oh, that's from Sweet Shalquar. It's actually, if I talk to Tark, be summoned. Okay, actually. If you just talk to him, you don't need to talk to him beforehand. I just need the Ring of Whispers. Second Dragon Ring, Freya, Scholar of... Where does he move to? Move over to Freya, Master Never Dies, Aldia. Yeah. Well, because at least for now, they're just NPCs. They were really intended to be playable. Wait, what? King away. Tough enemy. Fatty. Wait, did I... How do I get another Fragrant Branch? I screw that up. Where do I get another one? Where do I go? Oh, this is insane. I didn't soft lock myself, but I think I need to leave and actually go buy one from someone in Iron Keep. Who do you think you're going to use it for, then? I assume Arlecchino, maybe? It sounds like your style. I would... If you like Jean Yoon, if you just want to make your Zhao stronger, I would do it. 
I wouldn't say it was I wouldn't say it'd be a bad use. Okay, okay. People call Erlikino father and mother. It's gotten so confusing at this point. Yeah, I need to see if I can. I'll be real. There isn't a single Zhao constellation that does anything meaningful other than his C6. All the others are basically useless. Especially his C2 and C4. But, that's sad. It's true. You don't need extra energy recharge while off field on a character who doesn't have energy issues if you're running him in a proper team. You don't need extra defense that only shows up when he's below half health if you've got healing for him or a shielder. Three skills? As in the plus three to his talents. That, that is legitimate. Yeah, I feel that. I'm not sure I'd ever go for a C6 five star because like I said, I want to get everyone eventually. And I don't think those goals are really all that compatible. That is fair. And his C6 is really good. That said, it doesn't work all that well with Xion Yun. Come and visit. Buy item. Does he have a... He doesn't have a Fragrant Branch, so how am I going to do this? Darkstorm's not bad, though. Dark Flame. Okay. Because I need another branch to actually get through the woods. Looks like he's got a Room of Whispers, but he's not going to give me another... He's not going to give me another branch until I actually kill Nachka, and I need a branch to actually go do that. Who's that? I'm sorry, I don't entirely follow. Oh, right, you mentioned the K-pop guy. There was a K-pop guy who did that. Okay. But... Okay, so I need to buy Ring of Whispers at least. Oh, is that, is that Staff of Wisdom or something? I think that's Staff of Wisdom. I didn't know it spun like that. That's really cool. The Ring of Whispers, and where am I going to get more Fragrant Branches? I'm going crazy. Fragrant Branch of Yore. Assumable. Petrified Chest after defeating Lost Sinner. Got that. Got that. Black Gulch. Jumping down from... Should have gotten that. One Magirold. Smith Ornifex after you've defeated. So how am I gonna <sighs> That can't be right. I can't have soft locked myself. Right? Oh my goodness. Yeah, 17 branches and 17 statues to be dissolved per <sighs> Go, oh, I could open these. Dark Diver Garandal. Yeah, I'm lost. I'm going insane. Wait, do I have to go in the chasm? Do those link up? Let's see. Yeah, it's a little sad. But maybe what I need to do is try to find a way to go back to Black Gulch. Maybe. We'll see. I do have the key now. Either way, I can actually upgrade my flask again. Strength and the Estus flask, how nice. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. It's Prelling Magus, Dukes to Freya. I guess, I suppose for Ben Hart. Cause I did, I grabbed a bunch of multiplayer items so I could get a ring that allowed me to fight barehanded. And I also, Struggle to fight an enemy on sort of a local New Game Plus. Okay, we need to buy Ring of Whispers to talk to him. Grave, no whispers. This is a photo. A few other things as well. Satisfied? Satisfied? Sure. Okay, so we're going back to Black Gulch quickly and hopefully finding something of note. We'll see. This is... I don't think you saw it. Either of you saw it, but it's... The funny poison statue place. In chamber, we should be able to find Dark Diver Grandad. Well, Grandal. 
Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's go back. We can drop down. Also, this is at a higher bonfire intensity to level two, if I recall correctly. Let's just drop down here, I think. Yeah, this should be good. Did that do it? That did not do it. I went too far. I guess maybe a torch would be nice. Maybe. Actually, what I need to do is take the cage. No, I can't take the cage elevator because it drops down a ledge and... Okay. I wouldn't actually be able to access it from the other side. It wouldn't be a workable way back. Okay, cool. Drop down here. Drop down again. And this should be... Let's see. Prudence. Wait. You know what? I messed it up, but we've got a billion flame butterflies. Let's just use one. Come on, come on. Where is the dark chasm of old? Dark chasm of old. Look up. Black Gulch. Black Gulch. This bonfire is summoned something for Lucatil. Pilgrim. Dark. Dark. That would be. The giants are in there, but how do I get to. Which way? Down. There? There's gotta be a door. Yeah, I suppose. Want to know what? Sure, sure. What is it? Shouldn't be back. It wouldn't have respawned, but how am I going to get... Oh, the giants respawn? I didn't know that. That's not fun. I am. I am getting more confused. By the minute. How am I going to get to... There's supposed to be a door. Supposed to be a door. Uh, whatever. Just run past you, go back in the cage elevator, hopefully. So this is this is the right way. Okay, goodbye. Goodbye. Where do I need to go? And the poison statues can't hit me in there. Good. Okay. That giant oh, because that hole over there, they're thinking it looks like a giant face. Oh, which one? How'd that happen? By the way, I'm happy to hear that. Mm. Agency's organization. What's what's that class like? What's it about? Can I actually... Pilgrims of Dark might be over. It's not over here. How do you find your way to Chasm? I'm going insane. Theros... Ten. Ten? Point over. It's reaching down and over from... How do you access a dark chasm of old? Dark chasm of old. Chasm of old. Yeah, I, I love D&D. It's been a long time since I've played it, but... Okay. Well, good that it's over. Yeah, I was a 5e e guy most of the time. How do I get there? How do I get there? Get them from Shaded Woods, but... Well, little Deadeye. Shaded Ruins, Black Gulch, and Drangolite Castle. Each respective. Around the crag slippers, directly below, enter the cave and find the man himself. What? I'm going insane. Down. Oh, it's a different one? Okay, it's a different one. It's farther up. Okay. Hmm. Okay, so it's... It would be somewhat business related then, maybe? Okay. Well, agencies, organization. I guess it wouldn't have to be purely for business, but that's what comes to mind for me. 400, 542 pages. Can't believe they could have that much on that. Sounds like a ripoff. Uh, I need some dark chocolate. Hmm. 
Fair. I guess a lot of it would be very psychological. More bug. No. This should... Is this the one? Okay, this should be the one. I think I find the rock cave. Oh, but I need to... I need to light everything back up again. I need more torchlight. Okay. Mm. Now I think I know. Now I think I know. 100% cacao. 100% cacao. Okay. Mm. <clears throat> oh, so it's... For lack of a better term, kind of a human resources kind of thing. Okay, so we can get inside. Okay. Mm. Hello, hello. Oh, so this was the guy we saw before. Fit undead. Like a shadow for a deeper dark. Have no future. Talking amongst myself. True or dark meet again we shall. Mm. So Mason, let the dark shine your way. Mm. But I can't actually go inside from here. Oh my goodness. So how am I actually going to get through shaded woods without any branches left to use? What am I even going to do? Huh. This is just driving me insane. Well, I need to find him in the other locations to get access to other stuff, so... Gower's Ring. Guess I'll go back to shaded ruins and try my luck again. Try to figure out what I can find there. Come on. Ugh. You gotta be kidding me. Shaded ruins. Najka. Shaded woods. How do I get through there? Pass, cyan, king ring. Miss, through the miss. Corn these good. Branch of your Lion clan fanky. Oh, you need orn effects for that. Fallen tree. Curse urn. I basically went to the wrong place. Boss fight, bench, but what am I going to land on it? Oh, so I didn't need to use that branch, I guess. Petrified, petrified, horn effects. Oh my goodness. I don't think I could have soft elect myself. I hope not. But it is possible. That would be a hilariously anticlimactic end to everything here. I spend the session grinding for a silly joke item that lets me fight with my face, and it doesn't matter one way or another because I get soft locked. I can see it. I can see it. It would be just my luck. It would be, for lack of a better term, very in character. Is there a way for me to get in there then? Let's see. I guess I... When I googled where the, was the location of the branches I could use to unpetrify things, that isn't... Well, actually... Should be maybe something over here. Let's see. Okay, I missed this. I missed it. Let's check this out. Come on, come on, come on. One more, one more. Okay. What's in here? What's in here? Is this gonna be it? Is this gonna be it? This is. It's a Titanite truck and a petrified dragon bone. Oh, okay. Let's keep on going until we hopefully find something we can actually use. Right, Stone Cove, Seldora. It's going to be after this. Huh. It's just there should be. It's not as if the Petrified Dragon Bone is bad. That's actually really nice to have, but... It's not what I really needed and not what I really wanted. This over here is... Can't open this chest until that guy goes away. Oh, nice! Who'd you get? Who was it? I know that right now people are rolling for... Black Swan, if I recall correctly. Is that who you were rolling for? Oh, nice. Is she good? 
Oh, huge. Well, I guess something good came out of it. What can I say? Keep me around as a good luck charm. In a very perverse sort of sense. Oh, I think... I may have soft-locked myself. Because I jumped off that ledge to get over to the other side instead of oh no oh no You've gotta be kidding me actually I could probably just break down this door I'll have to check I need to try breaking down this door actually if I can break down this door and there's something on the other side I'll have freed myself but if I can't break the door down, I may be in a hilariously bad position. This looks like a breakable door. Let's see. As long as I can actually thump it instead of... Oh, no. If I could aggro an enemy on the other side, I might be able to make it work. Let's see. Hmm. Somebody on the other side who might take notice of me. Let's see. Very clearly there's somebody there. What will you do? What will you do? <sighs> Weirdly enough, fire doesn't seem to affect wood all that much. Maybe what could work is... Flame Lap and a bunch of fireballs and fire orb. If I aggroed an enemy on the other side somehow by using a spell like Firestorm, I could hopefully get it to take notice of me. Literally. I'm going insane. So that message that told me to try jumping may have may have inadvertently screwed me. That's actually what Oh no, there's something down here. Never mind. Shins of door right. Is this illusory or illusory? What is here? What? Let's see. Why is this even... Oh, this is a way to jump down into here. Well, I am... I am at an utter loss. Am I gonna... Yeah, it... honestly, I was giving them the benefit of the doubt. But it was probably intentional. They were probably trying to get people softlocked. And maybe, if I'm really lucky, I could use Chaos Storm to aggro them. Yeah. Epic softlock moment. Die. And that didn't kill, so actually the big fire sword is better. We may be softlocked, but we have a cool sword. Jump, jump, jump. Oh no, that didn't work. What were we going to... So Dark Chasm is over there. We could maybe talk to Grandal. In what sense? Quality of life or game design or... Because there are a lot of ways you can mean that and I would agree with you. Fair. And that is legitimate. I think there's a lot of incorrect assumptions in terms of what game is prioritized, why and how. Because a big reason that they're a lot more generous with rewards in HSR is that HSR is a very power creep heavy game. And you really do need new characters in order to do much anything at all. And being turn based is a big part of that, frankly. But, you know, with Genshin, there's a lot more ability to use mechanical skill to compensate for worse modifiers and the like. And from my impression, kits are more... Synergistic might be the wrong term, but... Oh, no. Oh, no. What am I gonna do? Yeah, I might have... <sighs> Fragrant branch of your soft lock. Of your... Soft lock. 
Can you get one of the gutter? Gutter? Fire longsword. Wait. Platform over the cave entrance. Wait, so how am I gonna jump or run off? So there's one in forest? Varka. I would say... Wait. Oh, and these guys were petrified too. Apparently there's one in forest. Yeah, I think my ideal... There's a boss in this Dark Souls game specifically named Fume Knight. Who fights with a greatsword in one hand and a longsword in the other. And there are... In the weapon description, the weapon war for Favonius Greatsword, they talk about Arundelin, the Lion Knight. Well, the Lion of Light, the old Grandmaster of Favonius, fighting with a longsword in one hand and a greatsword in the other. And it seems to be, at least in part, a reference to Fume Knight, I would say. At the very least, I don't know any other. Fictional characters of note who fight like that. Okay, so apparently there's one over there. I'm wondering, how am I going to do that jump? This is an insane jump. I need to... I might need to take off my clothes. Let's try this. Silver cat ring. Silver cat ring. I have to! I don't think there's any other way to do it. It's actually down there. There's yeah, so Silver Cat should actually do this. You can get over to that area, that platform over there. Should be good. Let's see. Come on, come on, come on. Just jump and jump. Oh no! How are you supposed to do that? Oh, 4 one. I'm not too familiar with SAO. I just... How do you do that jump? Maybe I need... A true 0% equip load. Maybe. Force of Fallen Giants jump. Let's just see how much I deal barehanded to this guy. Come on. It's nothing, basically. I don't blame you. Oh, but I'm just actually two-handed, two-handed fists smacking with both fists. Okay, there we go. There we go. Oh, please, you gotta be kidding me. You got to be kidding me. Oh my goodness, maybe I just need to be as lined up as possible, basically. I could see that. Jump, jump, and we were close. I think I just got the angle. Slightly wrong. That's legitimately really funny. She wanted to do a re she wanted to do a rewatch and was the first to quit. That reminds me of I watched the movie La La Land about a year ago and really really liked it. But the only reason I watched it is because somebody else I was at. The choir house for a little get-together. Oh my goodness. And there was one guy who was living at the house who wasn't actually in the choir. And he put on La La Land and left. And nobody else wanted to turn it off. I was sort of, we'll play a game or something, and they were just sort of, oh, leave it on. So we did, and I ended up watching the entirety of La La Land. It was a good movie. It was a really, really good movie. I just hadn't had any plan to watch it. So, down here maybe? How am I going to make that jump? Let me look this up. Forest of Fallen Giants jump. You like it that much? Interesting. Okay, I... I actually have not watched many things. I'm more of a read and play things guy, but... The Fallen Giants... Fallen Giants jump. How do you do that? Need the... 
Butterfly set. Branch. Oh, do you need King's Ring? I'm gonna have to pull off a crazy jump. Let's see. Enemy boost? Oh, you... You can't do any jump like that there. I'm just gonna... I'm gonna check this. Oh, you can... Oh. Yeah. Okay, now I see. Now I see. Okay, I understand. This is gonna be crazy. And this is what happens when a message betrays you. You soft lock yourself and have to exploit the game to get out of it. You can get... Jump up here. Hi. Come on, come on. Pummeled, pummeled to death. Let's actually, you know what? Let's put on Vanquishers until we get done so we can deal with the other guy. Oh, so much. Usually they were trying to help. They gave me no reason to distrust, distrust them. Oh, that was good. Can I backstab with this? Probably. Let's see. Well, I couldn't that time. To go back through. Through this drop off. I can at least fight Nashka. I can at least fight Nashka. Definitely not getting afraid today, but that's fine. Oh my goodness, that is. That's actually really good. Don't really have much in the way of poise, but. The damage of fists. Yeah, you meant gullible. I know. <laughs> Grab the item and hollow. Exams ended, and you can be nicer to me. You can be nicer to me. Effectively. Okay. So what we need to do is we need to do a jump to get up on this ledge. Jump attack. Okay. How am I gonna do this? Jump. Oh no. Oh no. Just, can we? Ha. Huh. Giant ahead, therefore try jumping off. Okay. And to do this, I need to find a way to manage the jump attack, which, oh no. Okay, so we could, hmm. let's try this again. <sighs> Sucks. How do I, do I have to hold it down maybe? Either way, I've got all the tries I need for this. You're welcome, you're welcome. Sometimes, sometimes. How do I? Is it up here? Is it up here? I need to find a way to get on top of this. I need to review that video I just watched. I'll be right back. Fragrant branch of your soft lock. Soft lock with fragrant branch of your. Okay. Find a video. Video jump. Force to fall in giants jump. They are hurting me. They're hurting me. Oh, why do, why do I have to deal with this? Why do I have to deal with this? Oh, you have to do it from behind, actually. Okay. To reverse direction. Interesting. Okay. Now I see. I have to angle it just right. Hmm. This is pain. It's suffering. Uh... Over here, maybe? Let's see. Uh, did they patch it? They can't have patched it. It's literally the only way out of a soft lock. They should not have patched it. Let's see where they... But... I wish. But... But no. I'm stuck. Uh, so I guess I need to get... On the... Hill back here. So much up I can, how far up I can get, and this is max up my elevation. Maybe this is insane. There might be one I missed in the gutter, or either in the gutter or Black Gulch. I don't think so. I do. Re I think I remember getting some. It's still, still. 
branches and log stones are cool conceptually, but it's gone so frustrating. I can't get the king's ring. I can't get much of anything like this. What was their starting location? Starting location was camera angle does not show it all that well. Sort of that angle. This should be more or less where I need to go. Oh my goodness, I look hideous right now. Awful. Did they add a new invisible wall to make that jump impossible in Scholar? They could have. I really hope they didn't, but they could have. Uh, this is my life now. But just reliably getting the jump attack in the first place is honestly the worst part. I wish I had a back row for this. Huh. Should we be doing it from the tip of the... Maybe. No, no, no. But it's just... What is even going on here? I'm not actually managing to... And when they did it, they had... They were two-handing their bare fists. Do I just need a randomly clip or something? I could see that, but... So dumb. So dumb. There's no way to... I know you're joking, but there's actually no way to find a specific person who made a message anyway. So I'm getting better at jump attacks. <sighs> kind of. You know what? I'm just gonna go look in Black Gulch again and pray to God that there was a branch I missed. Because... <sighs> this is... Honestly ludicrous. Let's armor up again. I... I've been defeated. They won. They struck me down. Uh, uh, I am... On my last... Bit of sanity. Favorite branch of your... Where are they? Branch of your. Where are they? How do I get them? Poison jars. Corpse hanging from a plank. Start jumping down from the gutter. Let's see. Fragrant branch of your. Cave to the left and a bonfire. You know, you know. This is clippable. This is clippable. I can't complain. I can turn this into quality entertainment. Uh, why me? Why, why does it have to be me? Okay, shield. Black knight. Okay. Hi. Yes and no. The big thing is that I decided to name all the VOD uploads for Dark Souls 2 after Stone Temple of pa Stone Temple Pilot songs, and I realized that I'm actually kind of running out of Stone Temple Pilot songs that I know and like. Just you praise the sun, well, come on. Don't actually need to break these, and while my torch is out. Okay. Oh, actually I can light this sconce. Light it on that sconce. It's just liar ahead. Weapon ahead. The fall damage is the weapon. Wait. So maybe I should just go to the end of the gutter and see if... Who tell Yahoo noise? Jumping off, falling to my death. You wish. You wish. Okay. Let's actually go to the end of the gutter. But where... Where was the branch in the gutter? Gutter. Let's see. Should be. There was supposed to be a fragrant branch. Fragrant branch is. Notated. Oh, and they have black gulch there too. 
Fragrant branch of yore, 26. More than silky stone. Where is... Wait. 26. Number 26 is... Huh? What? There's an item number 26 on the map I'm looking at that isn't actually shown. What on God's green earth is going on here? I feel like they're playing with me. I am going to lose my mind. Grave of Giants? Oh, Grave of Saints, but misspelled it as Gates. Is on the map, and it skips 26, or does it? Wait, wait. Wait. Six, Twinkling Tide Knight. Down there. And that's actually very close to the first first one. Let's let's go looking. Let's try this again. That's over. And there's a ladder over there. I'm gonna have to check that one more time. If I really wanted to, maybe I could actually use I might have to use a fragrant branch to respawn it. So there is actually a way out. It's just not pleasant. It's supposed to be another fragrant branch somewhere. Fragrant branch, fragrant branch, 24. Did I miss that? I might have. I think I did. Let's see. What did you do that broke it? I'm scared now. Trouble back to... Top of the gutter. Firewall's resting place. No, that's Grave of Saints. It's the new Star Rail area. Travel to the gutter. Oh my goodness. How? Bonfire aesthetics. Fire aesthetics. Aesthetics respawn, branches, branches. Enemies that have been unpetrified do not need to. Items on the ground or on corpses, farming certain items, certain items. Depends on what bonfire that's connected to. Let's see, I guess, could be. Well, I think it was down there, maybe. Let's see. Oh, but it'll it'll get rid of all the torches, won't it? Oh no, that's bad. Yeah, legitimately. If I actually got soft locked, I will probably consume somebody's flesh. Ah. So I've gotten all the ones, I'm pretty sure I've gotten all the ones I could get. It's just, what's left? What's left? I bought the branch from Melentia. Really what it tells me is that doing the one in Things Betwixt was a trap. Getting the branch at the start of the game was a trap. And, well, that works too. Oh. Lord. Yeah. It it was a trap. It was intended to get me screwed. To screw me up. And now I literally cannot fight a boss. It's just I jump down there maybe. 100%. They're playing with me. They're messing with me. I am 100% God's plaything. Let's just go back. At least open up this door before we maybe try respawning something. And that should be at the end of this. We got this other door with funny things behind it. Use the forgotten key. And oh my goodness. More statues. You've got to be kidding me. Whatever. I don't care about you. 
I will just heal off the poison at the end. Ambushed by statues. Honestly, this is like portal. These are just turrets. Sentries. We got a Havel set, not that we really had much need for it, but okay. It's probably gonna be way too heavy for us. Alright. And just... For the sake of catharsis, I will decapitate all of these statues. It's just like Vengarl. Either way, we're out of here. And I'm poisoned. Okay. Not really my problem anymore. Uh -huh. Why does this always happen to me? Well, maybe, maybe I just need to break some other pots in here. Maybe. I don't know. I could see that. Come on, come on. Not you, and... So these acid pots... Acid pots... Take... Make acid come out, and that will maybe break weapons. Maybe. Oh, hi. I'm not ready to cry. I'm ready to... I don't know, eat a person, maybe? Cannibalism for pleasure. I feel like it might be inside one of these pots. I don't even know. Actually, the best way to break these acid pots would be to just unequip literally everything and roll through them. I think I might do that. That said, I think... Do I have... I really do think... I should have all this stuff. Oh, oh. Huh. Let's see. Raw for exchange. Let's see. Oh, it was these corpses. These corpses. So in that case, I really will need to go back and try to respawn things. Okay. I don't know. I haven't actually tried it yet. Time to use one of my remaining bonfire aesthetics to try to get a fragrant branch. Yeah, at this point, I don't really care. I, I've given up all hope. All is lost. Last bonfire reset it, guys. This is better. This is better work. What is done cannot be undone. Oh, but things are back. Things are back. Okay. Let's light some torches. Should be pretty nice. If it respawned that fragrant branch, it might be back in business. Okay. It's just... Oh, but right, that, that also happened. Let's just jump out here. Hello, hello. I one of these before this hollow try getting me. Let's switch now. Okay, cool. Just like that. If I really wanted to, I could actually double my havels. But, again, you can just do that on a real new game plus. I'm here for a fragrant branch and a fragrant branch alone. That said, next time I play this game, the gutter will be even more difficult. Maybe I don't want that. Well, no choice now, because what is done cannot be undone. Come on, come on. Oh, well, there's something here. Hello, dark flame and rotten pine. Alright, that's fine. Hi! Hi, doggy. Okay. Go up here. It's literally the message. It's what it says when I use a bonfire aesthetic. It says, what is done cannot be undone. Okay, so we are going to avoid these annoying hollows and see if... Did we get a branch? Did we get a branch? Twinkling Tide Knight. I'm an effigy. It's been the Silky Stone in that... It didn't respawn the fragrant branch. Good God! I... I might really be screwed now. I might be really screwed. 
Oh. Oh. Well. Well. That's one wasted bonfire set it. So the name of soldier. It's just shaded woods. It would be really funny if this was just at the end and I either had to restart the playthrough probably just on my own until I get to the same progress point or just give up. So that is outright insane. Chest in the house with poison jars. Okay, I got that. I'm dead certain I got that. Tower with Covetous Silver Serpent. I got Covetous Silver Serpent, so I have that. From a plane, got the start jumping down. Okay. I'll try that again. I'll try Black Gulch again, but I'm dead certain I've got that too. It's just... I'm gonna find a way to find out who made that message so I can hunt them down and kill them. Because that may have been literally run ending. Frankly, the fact that you need a branch in the first place, 100% need a branch to progress. Beyond just shaded woods, but the other ones too, is just... That's fundamentally silly. But... Oh my goodness. Oh, okay. okay! Explode, why don't you? You can do that, I guess. Okay. Oh. Alright, poison ahead, therefore try a projectile. Well, actually, let's just chaos... Oh, but we don't have a power of flame on hand. Let's just put this through. How much health do I have left? Come on, come on. Come on, Chaos Storm, Chaos Storm, and... Burn, 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 and did that hit? I hit one of them. I actually did pretty well. That broke enough. Did not actually break enough pots. Come on, come on. Okay, but interestingly enough, it seems like in this game, there's a forward bias to the positions of the pillars, which is actually normally good, unless you're like me and you're running away. Let's just fireball some of these pots. don't know if these are acid pots or poison pots, and I don't particularly want to find out. Let's see. Okay, did I get the branch here? Did I get the branch here? Let's check. Nothing down there. Nothing down there. Yep, I'm just back where I was before, which means... I guess I could keep checking, but... There was another fragrant branch that I know I got. I could try another another one. It's just... It's just containing the Lion Mage set, but... I can't rescue anyone. I'm stuck. Well, uh, let me, let me try, let me try. Cave in the first poison pit. I wish they at least tell you how many you've gotten in total. It's just, it's insane. I've gotten two, three, four, Five, six. Spawns the body of Van Girl. Seven. Eight. Eight. Hmm. What? Eight. I've used eight. And I've gotten eight. In that case, one, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. It really does seem to 
Through the bonfire, extra branch, hard to get without the branch. Wait towards the boss. Let me see. We'll try this again, but I'm gonna go back to Shaded Woods and check some things out. I might I need to I'm gonna try going back to the area I jumped down to originally and see if I find something more there. But it if things don't work out, I will quite literally need to figure out how to make that weird jump, or I'm soft locked. If I can't make that jump, I'm screwed. This file is done for. And, you know, it's it's a matter of time. I would probably do it off camera, probably record it as a clip or something, but it's just this to happen is so demoralizing. Lion man, lion man, lion man. And okay, cool. Thought that might have stunned you. Lion warrior skirt. That down there is not really a way back. Not really a way to anywhere. This is... Huh. Oh, yeah. I heard about that. I do find it interesting because it's... I know there was some discussion about... Possible controversy about them changing character names from... Korean names to Japanese games names because I've heard about Japanese studios doing that when they adapt manhwa and webtoons. We'll see. I I don't know what's gonna happen yet. It's just through here. Can I? I can't get through there though. And this this was a trap. They tricked me and I fell for it. I... I'm going utterly insane. Oh, wait, it started out as a light novel? Okay, I actually didn't know that. That's interesting. Appreciate it. So I kill, killed head of Vengarl. I assume this will kill me. At this point, I don't care. Actually, I don't need to go down there anyway. There's nothing I could even theoretically get out of that. Let's actually go back through here. And we got nothing. Victory ahead. It's just, how am I gonna... How would I... get the enemy on the other side to maybe... take notice of me and... let me through? If nothing else, I could at least talk to Tark now. But I'm not going to be able to actually get... through. I think. Maybe I'm just blind, but I'm pretty sure that I had to use a branch to get through to Nashka. It would be really funny if I was just misreading the situation and I, it was open to me the entire time. At that point, that would actually be the best option because I wouldn't have to go for a silly jump or replay the entire game up to this point. But my hope is dangerously low. I'm losing my mind, my soul. What happens when you go about in the countryside? You have to worry about goats. All we have to worry about is our chickens and feral animals trying to kill our chickens. Let's see. Nothing there. Nothing there. Okay. Short, be wary of attacking. How am I going to get through to Nashka? Scorpionus Nashka. Oh wait, is it actually? I might have just been looking in the wrong place. Assuming. Let's see, Ringo whispers, whispers. I can talk to you now. Human, are we? He's got a nice voice. This is no place for you. Be gone. Okay. Fair. Not afraid of me. Do you have you had to fight goats? You Head buddy, come I'm here. Those who do. See me or making a temple of life are different. We once had Master Kratos, that would have been Aldia, Fatal Four. Uh, what do you like? Mired in hatred. Proven self mad, madness, conjure up strange creatures like these scorpions. Tragically lonely soul, solitude eroded his very reason, never understood. Truly lacked. Nobody knows when we were born. 
Under the board, monster is gone. The only one to even speak mm -hmm. human tongue might Self and better half, that would be Najka. Kill my betrothed. Things went awry, violent and raging. She came after me. How can you verify that combat ever since? Tragic stencil, never lethal. The wounds we exchange are never lethal. I will be sure. A curse. Assist you in return. Okay. The path. Distant farm. My name was Tark. All that I remember. The path. Okay. My name was Tark. And I could actually summon him from the boss fight, despite the fact that he's a giant. Both feral. Okay. Okay, so this is just the other side. It can't be Najka. I think that might have actually saved me a branch. Maybe? Possibly? Who knows? Well, whatever. Well, confidence and foolhardiness can be uncomfortably close to the same thing at times. I will say that much. I will. Fair enough. Commissions or any particular objective or a normal goat. Okay. Maybe. All I'm saying is there's no way to okay, makes sense. There's no way to know for sure unless you actually fight one. Going ahead. Okay, I think this is actually hopefully the way through. Is this I'm stupid. I'm stupid. I was just so preoccupied going through those towers that... Here we are. Okay. Woman. Chest. Oh my goodness. Well, here we are. Fair. Let's do this. Scorpion is Najka. See, she's buried from the waist down. Oh, she's actually magicking. Okay. Hi. Hi. Wait, do I have to get closer? Is she actually taking damage at this point? Does she have any damage on her already? Oh, baby. Okay. Oh, little. Not that much. Hi. Interesting. Okay, you're not bad. Interesting. Let's just toss it again and... Please. Okay. Yeah, this is not bad. You can actually... If you're smart, you can actually... Oh, my goodness. Your damage is not that good. Nice. And... Oh, please. Don't kill me, don't kill me, don't kill me. Heal, heal, heal. And... What? Okay, good. Then we'll have to switch to flame weapon eventually and... Oh, good, good. Couple more. I guess I could try Chaos Storm on you. Well, I actually poise broke you. Interesting. So let's just try this. Not soft locked. Finally. Oh my. That was pretty good. That hit me anyway. Weird. Now she's underground. You can see her move. Just run out of the way before she tries to hit me when she resurfaces. I was foolish. My spatial memory failed me, as it often does. You can actually get up on her back and get behind her. If you want to be silly. Magic. Someone is at me. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, oh, okay. Well, all right. Let's just this down and Chaos Storm. Channel, channel, channel. Up. That should do it. What? We were close. At least we know where to go. Okay, but. Mm -hmm. So it seems, it seems that Storm is not going to work all that well. That makes sense. She is big, but she's not. I can't really get close enough to hit her with multiple pillars all that easily. Literally. I didn't know you were a giant, giant humanoid scorpion. How, how is that working out for you? Raises some questions. Combustion's good. You'll try flame weapon, though. That said, I'll probably need to switch around the powers I'm using. It does! Hopefully. I... Okay. So hopefully I can make a clip out of this 
tragical farce. Thinking I was softlocked, but not being softlocked. But maybe wishing I was softlocked because it was embarrassing. Okay. Oh, this... Oh, this is how you get there. Oh. That's cool. Homing soul mass. And we have to, we can talk to you again. Hi. Hi there. Don't let this curse weigh upon you. Second time, we'll yet traverse the dark. The dark surely meet again. Somewhere, sometime. Okay. Fair. Leg and then jog. Oh my goodness! His weakness is that he can't walk! That's horrible! Oh my goodness. Okay, so that's actually curse. No, was that curse or was it acid? Okay. Actually, let me... I'll just use an effigy. I'll effigy up. There we go. If we wanted to, we could actually summon him. Well, depends on the person. Takes a certain kind of certain kind of strength. Let's just put on Ring of Boids plus one again and try this one more time. Uh, okay, barely, just barely did it. If I'd gone for the strong attack, it would have been more certain. We're gonna go back, we're gonna kill Najka. Talk to Tark, he'll give us another branch, and then I can do more things. The strong is that Italian? I've never heard that term before. Okay, and oh, those were wooden boards. Trab ahead. No, that's something good ahead. Geography. Secret area. Hidden path ahead. Hidden path ahead. No, 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 no. No, no. Hidden path. Hidden path ahead. Geography. Hidden path. Okay, there we go. Let's slow walk. I have to kill Captain America. <laughs> Wait, so who did that? Was that... Oh, Bradley the old guy. I don't want that. Not a monster. I thought you said you were a goblin. Are goblins not monsters anymore? Well, actually, there was another... Another bug up there. Hi. Hello. Let's just see if we can actually get you with a fireball. Oh, just barely. Did we get it? We did! Okay. And you got a... Just an old rating life gem. Little rascals. Goblin mother. Does that make your mother a goblin too? We could actually summon him. Okay, let's see. I'll probably dismiss him because I prefer fighting solo. It's harder that way, but... See? Got the whole guy. Got the whole guy. Actually, actually, you know what? You know what? Let's play with a friend. Why not? I've already summoned. It's not like I'm... breaking some oath. Is being a goblin really so bad? Okay, yep, yeah, we can get on her back. No, we can't. Okay. Alright. Big guy. So he's actually only attacking with his spear, it seems. It's kind of a surprise to me. Actually, interesting. Huh. Oh, okay. Oh my goodness. At least that only hit me so many times. Come on. Don't kill me. So flame weapon is actually not what I want. Let's keep fireballing you. Keep pyromancing you. Oh my goodness. So if I'm behind, you'll actually... Okay, so hitting the torso, the humanoid part, is unsurprisingly going to do a lot more damage. He's been a really good help, though. That is true. Okay, that was just a 90. Oh wow, that was... Very long range attack. Honestly, I'll say... Having him on our side is actually making things a bit harder, because when... 
we can make sure that she's not going to try to hit us with that tail sweep. Her attacks are actually easier to dodge and a lot more predictable. But like this, there's actually a bit more to deal with. Huh. So it might not just be the torso, but the torso specifically from the front. Maybe. Let's see if I can let him survive, hopefully. Hi, hi. And is that it? That is it. There we go. Managed to help him kill his fiance. His betrothed. Scorpionus Najka's soul, and that would be. Let's check out the description over there. Najka. It's actually before Rotten, then. So, yeah, you are supposed to kind of go to Soldora first. The steeds of an ancient being, frail soul from the beginning that soon to some to madness. Let's see if I can get this up here. Do I have to. Where are we, a fatty? Weapon ahead. Can I knock this down, maybe? What does that even mean? Cannot mean anything good. Well, maybe I have to try to get up on the side and then... Let's see. How am I going to get up there and get that weapon? That item down? Is there... Can I drop down, or...? This is... Uh... Figure it out eventually. Wait, maybe I... Oh, I think I might have actually had to have her tail sweep that to break it. I think that might be possible. But either way, I'm going to talk to him again real quickly. And then get the branch from him, then there's a chest and another fragrant branch, and then everything will work out. Then I won't have to worry about anything anymore. I hope. It's that chest over there that I think will do it. I think. Actually did get Van Garl, and I think that did save us a branch. Either way, we jump down. Don't actually jump down, but... Yeah, I am curious about what was specifically in the arena. So that would make a bit of difference. I hope it's not something I actually care about missing. So if so, I'd probably end up having to use another ascetic to ensure I get it. Okay. Let's go back through, talk to the guy again. Okay. Oh, but you're still here. Hi. Two and strong attack. And I'm cursed anyway. Alright. Okay. Hello, Turk. You've defeated my better half. In fact. This is my thanks. Take it. Thanks. Got a friggin' branch and... I have no gods to pray Oh, to, wow. But still, I pray that your journey will be safe. Thank you. Just your warm-up. I have no god, but still... Hmm. I have... Okay. Still... So I will just actually... I'll, I'll use a bone. Don't have much else to use him for. Then there's that chest over there with... Oh! Did he... Was it incompletely removed from the Starburst? What flavor Starburst is it, at least? Hope, was, hope it was at least a good flavor. Might make it somewhat worth it. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Oh, wow. Why? Fiber? Or do you eat them and then spit out the wrapper? Like a peanut or something. That... That's insane, but I respect it. You know... I... Cannot claim superiority. Because multiple times I have eaten... The fortunes inside fortune cookies as a gag. Should be one inside the chest. Shouldn't really matter either way. Okay, cool. Hi, Lion Warrior. And just, well, whatever. Come on. Roll. Well, alright. Don't kill me. Cool. I should have honestly just waited. 
for them to do a different attack and just baited it, but... Pure human effigy bleeding serum. What? Okay. What? Huh? That was... I guess that wasn't it. I may have made a fatal miscalculation. Uh, okay. Wrong statue. Because okay. it's... This one over here that... Yep. Is that Ornifex? Yeah, that's gotta be. Is that Ornit? Maybe. I am going insane. Oh... This is my life now. This is my life now. Okay, cool. Oh, die. Die. Well, I guess I may as well proceed to the next area. Lion Great Axe. <sighs> Lion Clan Warriors get smoothly much more than vulgar beasts. Lovely. But it does seem like the one through here, this, this was the one I needed to go to, but I didn't do that. Now it'll be a billion years until I can free one effects, maybe? Oh, nice! That's the pyro reaction one, right? I think I'll be doing that maybe next Wednesday, possibly? We'll see. Depends on what times work for people. Because I am in... <sighs> Got some people from Europe, some people from America. Scorpionus Nashka Arena item. Destructible tree item on it. Oh, it's literally just a flame butterfly. Okay. And the only way to destroy it would be... I assume having Nashka break it down. Yeah, yeah. I'm really excited for that one. But yeah, I don't have any way to break that down myself. And I think this will be Doors of Pharaohs. So I'll do that next time. Cool. Doors of Pharaohs. Got a few lock stones, that's good. It's repair, getting repair will be nice though, especially if I want to eventually use smelters, which I do. One fire pass here. Let's check these walls. Check these walls and, oh goodness. I guess these are the titular doors. If they don't really open on to anything in particular right now. Come on, come on, come on. I'm going mad. I'm going mad. Oh, please. Okay, oh! Well, these stones look really cool too. But, got some primal knights in here. What do we got? What do we got? Hopefully another bonfire. Hi. Mastodon. Okay, interesting. So their charge is really slow. Oh. Oh my goodness. And their range is crazy. Oh no. I don't like this at all. It's a lure out of the water at least. Okay, but fire is actually good against you. That's good. And one more, one more. Once you're out of the water, fire's good. Ah, huh. well, hi. So actually, if I could use flame weapon. Dispatch you. Let's at least get to the bonfire. I don't think... You know, I could keep going, actually. If people are willing to watch, I'm willing to keep going. At least for a little bit. Because I wanted to actually ideally get past here. Ideally, I wanted to fight another boss. That's obviously not happening, but... Maybe at least find sent tears. First, actually, Gurm's Respite. Back to my jewel level up one time. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, okay. I just, I don't want to tire anyone out. You're trying to scare me? I guess. <laughs> a little, a little. While I sleep. So that won't do much. A little bit of magic bonus. Again, not much. 
Doors of Pharaoh shouldn't be that much. Let's go back then. Yeah, I totally wasted Bonfire Aesthetic too. <laughs> it is kind of funny that Grave of Saints is technically light later on the list than Doors of Pharaohs, given that it is an easier area, I would say. But let's actually flame weapon this. Primal Knight should be a good way to dispatch them. I do like having flame weapon. It's fun. Right, and then a raw for bonfire. Oh no, these are Gurm. Okay. Hi. The warriors. And one more, one more. There we go. I thought that might have had to be a trade, but it didn't. That's nice. Man, visions of a ring. What does that mean? Does it only show up on New Game Plus or something? Who knows? Either way, there are lots of places to go in here. Poison statues, or head again and then treasure? What does that mean? Life gem? Again, clearly nothing good, but... Hmm. Okay. Battery message, visions of despair. Well, we decapitated all those statues, but for what, I guess? Bloody expensive. So who... Is there somebody up here? I hear somebody or something. Wait, rolling and then stabbing in the back. Gurn, maybe? Projectile mana head. Oh, that... Oh, the, those axes! They have homing? That's insane. Is it just a range thing? Hi. Hi. Oh, okay, interesting. Can we, we can stab you in the back. And that's a one-tap. Grim warrior boots. Friend but enemy, right? Because that's basically evil Gavon. Okay. Primal Knights. Same tears. I think I might want to try to get that bug ahead, therefore be wary of front. Because then... Oh, because of the... Titanite Wizard. What? Okay. What are you... What are you doing? Oh. Did it spawn its materials? Is it going to come back, or... Who are you? Who are you? There we go. Well, it doesn't matter who you are. You're dead now. Okay. Pick up, and... Okay, watch time that shard. Now this place is... Okay, I can't go there. It's not even fatty. Maybe shorty would look better, but... It's really not a fat thing. That's not the issue here. And we can go for another... Another one, and even with the additional... Where'd that come from? Additional mundane stone? Okay. That gives you scaling on all stats, but... It's actually not all that good, except on crossbows, which I don't use. Because I hate crossbows. I'm mean. So there are rats. Is there going to be another bonfire somewhere, or... My SOL. Nothing here. There. Am I going to get ganked? See anything on the sides? Ha. Huh. Well, this is like I've emerged somewhere. Okay, I can't actually go through there. What is this? Radiant Life Gem. Might be Seldora. Possibly. Oh, it is Seldora. Okay. Well, I can light that bonfire, but this is not where I want to be right now. My goal was wholly and entirely to... Well, this hurt me. It won't. Okay. There's another rat boss in here. Other things I'd also like to get. Such as a spear, which might be my best option. Period. I think I have a raw stone or two. That would allow me to give it a really good upgrade that doesn't rely on scaling. I do! Unusually hard. Lower strength and dexterity bonuses, but if it doesn't have any strength and dexterity bonuses to begin with, what's the difference? There is no difference. Okay, well, they stayed dead. They didn't respawn even though we actually went to a different area. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. Hmm. Let's keep on going. Find our way to the rat. To the Royal Rat Authority. Who is a giant rat. By the way, not here. 
Oh. <laughs> yeah. Okay, well, should be a lot of box sense to use somewhere else. Hi. It's just... And we can backstab you, just like that. Oh well. Goodbye. Let's not break this chest. What's inside here? A dragon charm. Well, I actually already got those as a drop from, of all things, a pyromancer. Okay, so to actually go through the actual, the real area, go from the bonfire. Okay, that's good news. Come on, and, and, actually, that was good. And you can't backstab him, which isn't really surprising. Kind of big for that. Macedon Knight. Okay. Another. Okay. Let's rest real quick. See if anyone actually tries to reverse invade us in here, which is something that does and can happen. More Primal Knights. But what I really want is Santier Spear. Oh, more rats! Rats in the water. Water rats. Oceanic. Well, not oceanic, but. Not seafaring either, but. Aquatic. Aquatic rats. My mind is now with me. Okay, another Primal Knight down. Can we drop anything? No, it doesn't seem like it. So we keep on running. Weapon ahead, therefore, try below. Then ahead. For oh, it's. Wait. So you open up. Right, it's this one. It's a tripartite door. But. But. If you open the bottom one, you can actually still get through by rolling. The Primal Knights will still be there, so actually I'll probably. See if I can. Fire orb them. Cool. Hi. Do your thing. Don't keep your shield up. Don't keep your shield up. Okay, good, 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 and you're dead, and we can... Are there any more on the other side? Let's see. Either way... Oh, Mastodon Hellbird. Let's see. That's pretty. Defend Rangwai Castle, Brutish and Mighty, Featherbot Twig, Shorter Heart Even Hold Up, Only With Great Weight. To the manor, thought to be Lord Eldia. Should be. Well, it's... I'm taking advantage of their elemental weaknesses and also taking advantage of the terrain to make them easier to fight. And also trying to get the drop on them as much as I can. Either way, thank you. I really do appreciate it. So the weapon we just got, Santir's Spear. It's going to be our best weapon, period. By far. It's pretty heavy. And as you can see, it's got a big rock on it. And right now it's basically just a hammer. But it's going to get really, really good when I break the rock on top. And you do that by just... And it's got a silly amount of durability. Okay, let me see. I could use it on the Primal Knights. Actually, you know, that's exactly what I'll do. The best way to break it is to join the Rat King Covenant. Or, no, no, no. What I'll do is... First, I'm gonna travel. I'm gonna see if I can upgrade it all in this state. I'm gonna go back to the Blacksmith's Workshop, use some Dragon Bones on it. Because at plus five, this thing is crazy. Got some, it doesn't have any scaling. It doesn't need any scaling. Your status, right hand weapon 233 with, let me see, right now, the sword, the sword held in two hands would be, first let's two hand it. Okay, 357. It's already close, even though the whole gimmick with Santier's spear is, and bonfires will repair it, so you need a good way to break it. Once you break the rock on the end... Oh, that's not bad. It's actually a pretty good place pretty good place to break it. I'll just do it here. 
Let's see if I can upgrade it all. New Ember, Deer Flame, Green Force. Santiers takes Twinkling. No, Santiers takes Twinkling? I thought it took Dragonbone. Wait, actually, actually, let me see. It might take Dragonbone after I break the head. Because this is not its original form. So in Statue, Walking Statue, Vary Spear. I remember Spear swing it around Smite goes about, about the head. Okay, actually, the best way to do it, I would honestly say just C6 Bennett. Because the only real reason you wouldn't want to is if you use physical cutching, which the joke writes itself, or if you use Yule without Mika. Because there are a lot of characters who get a lot out of Bennett's Pyro Bonus and Pyro Infusion in particular. If you want to make Gomming good, Gomming is by far best with C6 Bennett on your sag. I stand by that statement. It's actually, what we, do, what we can do is get enemy corpses piled up in one place, can hit multiple corpses with a single strike, and then, after what he said, is you just pile up a couple of enemies, and you just use the two-handed strong attack. Fair. Do you have Yula? Because, like I said, the one thing you would want Bennett for would be I mean, to not C6 Bennett for... Yeah, then just C6 him. It's actually really, really good if you're using him with Pyro characters, and pretty much every other character, it's not relevant one way or the other. But, like I said, using Gomming... <sighs> Let's see how much that breaks. Oh, I need to actually be able to hit it, though. So can I... Wait. Let's see. One-handed, but it's not... Oh, it's not actually colliding with the enemy corpses. That's weird. Because I was told that the best way to break the spearhead, break the rock, would be... Actually, you know what? Uh, it's time to commit a crime. Gonna go back to the bird's nest and hit the bird's nest. Oh, wait, actually, actually... Apparently hitting the cell door tents works well. In what sense? On the same team? Well, I... I don't think you would really run into that issue. Because... How much is that going to take? It's actually pretty, pretty good. And... Okay, the tents actually... Go pretty well. Okay, we just got to make sure it bounces, kind of... Actually, two-handed. Okay, bounces, and if you go to a bonfire at all, respawns. Okay, that 497. So what do I need to specifically clang off of this? Oh, good lord. Uh, okay, yeah, I I'm committing a crime. I'm going back to the bird's nest and hitting the bird's nest with the spear. Yeah, because if if you were using Chong Hyun, if you were trying to use someone as an on fielder with the Chong Hyun infusion, in that case you would almost certainly be using Blizzard Strayer, at which point you would be freezing them. There wouldn't really be any space for Bennett and the team with some with someone for Vivi Shred and Hydro. Chong Hyun in your main DPS. Okay, they don't seem to actually be harmed one way or the other. Okay. Well, time to... Oh, wow, that actually really, really... Because they're invincible NPCs. How much is it going to work if we just... Like that. Okay, that's good. Fair. Well, you know, if you'd like advice, I'm happy to provide. It does sound like it's maybe hitting something. But not something that can actually be damaged one way or the other. Okay, we've already got one-fifth of the durability down. That's good. 381. The wiki's wrong. It takes Twinkling. I'm gonna go insane. Hyper Room Nuviet. Well, the Hyper Room Nuviet team I use is... 
Fiorina, Shinobu, and Baiju. Yeah, I would honestly say Baiju. Because, especially if you're using Fiorina. A big reason I use Baiju in particular is because of Fiorina. I would say Baiju might be a little bit better because of the fact that Nuviet is oriented towards wave combat, combat in general. Well, you'll come back one day. It's not a forever thing. But as I was saying, he'll be back eventually and you can use him. Or you could use Nahida or maybe someone like Yaya. The big thing is just that besides giving a shield, which is really more just interruption resistance because it's kind of a garbage shield anyway, he does team-wide healing with his skill. And you can easily weave him in and out in between Nuviet charge attacks without any real time loss. And... As a result, negate the T-Mod HP drain that Furina does. Probably Yao Yao or Nihira. It'd work. Okay, 166. We're almost done. I might actually pop out a little after this. We'll see. I don't know. Got nothing else should take nearly as long as... All that garbage does, c did, because none of the other boss runs are nearly as bad as that last Sinner one, and I'm not going to have to grind, and I'm not going to grind all stones like that again. And now that I know I'm not soft locked, I don't have anything to really worry about. <sighs> okay. But. Oh, and there's the tassel on that rock, too. It's actually moving statue. Oh, that's a. I never actually looked at it, but that's literally a statue head. It pierced through the back of the head of the statue and came out the mouth. That is grisly. Yeah, Nahida could work if you have Nahida. But any other dendro would work too. I would say, if you had to choose, probably Yao Yao. This is a healing stand here, spirit risk. At risk of become at risk of becoming awesome, I think. Let's get rid of the statue head. Okay. Because once you break it. It does not repair, becomes fundamentally unbreakable, stand to your spear broken. Yeah. Good. There we go. That's still 233. It's a halberd, not a spear. 33, but it's got a good moveset. Got a really good moveset. Far as on the right in and Xing Chao. Oh, so you're trying to spread Electro Charge too? Oh, baby. And that's insane. Those, those twin blade spins are just out of this world. Okay. So, so you're balling. You're balling. On that team, I... I use Yunjin and... I guess maybe Yalon could actually work too. I use Yunjin and Bennett there, in addition to Farzan as well. Okay, so there are stabby attacks on this. And a slashy attack. And if I... Okay, it repeats the swing, but... What you really want are the... Swings like that. So let's go back to McDuff and see if I can upgrade it now, and if so... If it'll upgrade differently. Because if so, if it still uses Twinkling, then the wiki is wrong. C6, C2, Shinjo is good. All Shinjo is good. Well, it would be an HP Sands, weapon with a bit of an HP bonus like the Battle Pass 1 Sacrificial Jade. Can it reinforce? Is it gonna be a different one now? It's still twinkling. Weird. Okay. Let's reinforce. Okay, 279. Don't have any more. Actually. Did I get any more smooth and silky stones? Might have. Either way, this weapon's good. It's fast, it's strong, good range. Poking and sorts of other things. What do I have to trade right now? Okay, I have some things to trade. Just chiseled from the Victor Stones, honoring their lives. Let's just go back to Dose of Pharos. We're jamming, we're balling. Oh, but actually, right. Raw stone, raw phone. 
Yeah, Proto Amber is good. It helps with his energy issues too. But if you run him double Hydro, the energy issues often go away, and Sacrificial Jade becomes much better than, even better than it already was. Stops being competition. But HP Sands, you can also run him with an HP Goblet sometimes, especially with Furina, because he's already overstacking on damage bonus from Furina, kinda. If you have a really good HP Circlet, you can actually do a Circlet 2. He already has a good amount of crit stats from his own Ascension weapon in Martial Say. Infuse, let's get Santiers with a Raw Stone. Poison, Poison, Magic, Bleed, Raw, Raw. We'll get a good amount of damage out of that, too. 2,000 souls, there we go. Your Sands, HP Goblet. Yeah, that... The big thing would just be HP Sands and prioritizing Energy Recharge substats on all the other pieces, especially Feather and Flower, because you can afford to go kind of off the wall with those. Let's go back to Pharos. Okay. Crit damage. Crit damage can be good, but he's got crit damage ascension already, right? Anything that works, but... Hmm. Let's see how much this does against the Problemites. Let's see. That's good. Well, okay. Come on. Let's see, and one, two, one, two. Oh, baby. That's disgusting. And, oh. Well, if I get killed by that Gurm. I do find it interesting that despite being named Santir Spear, it's literally a hell word. Yeah, that's a good way to prioritize it. I'm very neurotic, so I always level up all of my characters' talents perfectly evenly. But if you're being serious, you always want to prioritize his normals. Because almost all of his damage is coming from charged. The only thing his skill and burst are really needed for is, you know getting more uses on his normal. Okay, being in the water is not such a good idea, I guess. So Colin will give me more once I get King's Ring. Don't really want to farm Twinkling Tide Knight. A6. Oh, Final Ascension. Okay. That's a good thing to prioritize, too. Just since since he does scale off of HP, and HP goes up a lot more with ascensions than other stats do, it's good to actually... Oh, that one tapped. Oh, crazy. Since HP goes up a lot more with ascension than attack does, yeah, ascend him and level him all the way. That's a good move. Please. Okay. And just... Oh, but the strong attack actually doesn't deal as much damage as the light attack. As long as you can get the full light attack string off. Well, the strong attack... It's a little faster, actually, which is interesting. Okay. You also can't cancel with a roll or anything. So the light attack is honestly kind of the real heavy attack. It's kind of funny. Let's try for a weapon on this. That should. So this deals against, does against these silly Primal Knights. Hi! Hi, and out of my way. Let's just try this. That, some of it has got to be being in the water, but. Out of my way, out of my, that roll timing is hard, okay. Come on, come on. Okay, that... I wouldn't say that we've found the only weapon we need anymore, period. But it sure feels like that way sometimes. I'm glad I kept going to at least get this since before hopping out. But yeah, this... This is good. Gurmax, Torch... Yeah, there, those are things I really need right now, but... Okay. Lots and lots of fast melee fire damage. I did, yeah. I got them for Nuviet because they looked good on him. 
And that is why I couldn't afford Ganyu's outfit and Shenha's outfit, and had to decide to get one or the other. <laughs> yeah. Let's keep on going. But yeah, I had to make a drastic decision. It was hard. But, to be fair, I like Shenha's outfit a bit better, so... Yeah. I... I don't even have Kui or Ayaka, but I bought their outfits under the impression that, you know, I'll get them eventually. And when I get them, I'd like to have the costumes. It... Maybe I could have used the... Okay, so this is actually a ladder. Okay. Good thing I checked. I wouldn't even call it foresight. Frankly, that's too nice to myself. Twisted barricade. What's a backstab on this Grum guy gonna be like? Hi. Oh, that was fast. That axe came down really quickly. And out of my way, and... Well, whatever. Die, die. And how much is... Oh my goodness! That was a brutal impalement. Oh, I think part of it was because I was one hand instead of two handing it. And out of my way, out of my way, and just... Can we... Well, cannot... Maybe I can't backstab them while it's two-handed. Maybe. Is that, that's not an illusory wall. It's this, though. Well, I know that some, some of those are traps. So before I actually light any of them up, I should check what they actually do. Trap ahead. And be wary of poison. There's a germ over here. Hi. And, okay. Even two-handed, it's still a complete impalement. Attacking required ahead. Oh, that pushes it in, but pointless ahead. What did that do? Oh, poison. So this is one of those poison drop chests that's raw out of the way. Goodbye, goodbye. Poison mist. Titanite chunk and a petrified dragon bone. Oh, hi. Interesting. Let's see. What was down there, though? Treasure ahead and... Wait. Treasure ahead. There was his lockstone, large soul, and a soldier. What's through here? There was more stuff down there. This area is actually surprisingly big. Huh. So I think that actually disabled the spike traps. So, okay, so there's another Pharos thing over here. Guess I'll come back when I have a few more lockstones to actually clear out a bit more of this stuff. Either way, we'll see. But, like I said before, since hopefully I'll have something resembling a real income soon, can I light this on fire? Let's see. Let's use a flame butterfly. I am thinking about possible model upgrades. Oh, nice! Who do you need it for, in particular? What animal character are you trying to level right now? Oh, nice. Gene for... Who in particular? Maybe for the Nuviet team? I know that some people use Jean and Nuviet together because of the healing team light plus the Animo Shred. I mean, plus the Hydro Shred via Animo. Huh. Oh, right, I can just carry this in one hand. Nice. So how many... There was a Crystal Wizard I needed to find, too. Visions of Door. Okay. Oh, another... Another bonfire. Oh, so that's got to be... It's got to be the rat. Ordeal's end. Okay. Yep, rat king's behind there. Beast ahead and then visions of something. Mm -hmm. Visions of regret. Okay, let's just get you. And, okay, we were still able to kill you. Attack HP. Oh, nice. Yeah, Eeyore's good for her. Attack for damage. Yeah. Is that Govlon? Is that Govlon? I think that's Govlon. Let me see. It is! No, those are statues. Never mind. Yeah, but I... I use Jean with Aminoma. That's a good option on her because it... Helps solve energy issues without having to build energy recharge. And also gives her more attack since her healing's attack based. It's a nice way to do it, I think. But there's no one right way. 
And another one hit kill. Nice. And just out of... There we go. And can we... Well, whatever. We can just... We don't even need to actually backstab you. A normal attack is more than enough to poise break. So let's just go kill that rat. And actually, I think I could get to Prowling Magus. It wouldn't take all that long. Famous last words, maybe. Wait, what? Hi. Wait, wait, what? Oh, no, I just went around the wrong way. The Kerm outfit, I believe, is actually the best physical resist armor in the game, if I recall correctly. Maybe. Don't quote me on that. Let's just go flame weapon on... If I wanted to, I could actually farm Ferris Lockstones here. Or I could farm them from other enemies. The other rats. Yeah, okay. So we'll just... Little rats here. Hi. Oh, that's ornate. We'll just view ahead and... Weakness stomach, but be wary of a lesser foe. Hi. Swirl, swirl, spin, spin. There we go. Rat's gone. Will rat authority. Hi. Hello. Silly attack its legs. Lots of... Oh, goodness. Don't stop me. EM Wanderer. Oh, you're a lunatic. Just because... It could work. But a lot of it is just... He doesn't really focus on AoE. You know, any character whose animo can be run EM. And technically... If, have you seen the... Have you seen the Google Doc that people usually use? The team building Google Doc? It does suggest running Wanderer VV. If you really need someone with VV and don't have anyone else. Okay. I will send a link once I've killed this rat. Die! That was... kind of pathetic. <laughs> there we go! A rat authority soul and a rat tail. I did it! Me too. Me too. Let's check that soul and... Let's go rat authority. Shoot, shoots to serve the rat king, must have the courage to face his challenges. Okay. Did it. And it's the door on the side over here, and that should also let me get down to Soldora. Okay. Just... Okay, well... And it's... Oh, we dropped down here, I think, and... Hi, Rat King! Returns. Kind of, by the way, the audience shall be there. Serve me true? Not yet. Concert no longer. We did see him again in another rat-related area, so that's why he claims familiarity. So I am just going to go back to Sildora. Probably find Prowling Magus and Congregation, hopefully. Fight them, be done with it. Cool. And just out of my way. Die. 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 Oh, but, right. That barely didn't kill. Okay, hold my Dane Stone again. Nothing I need. It's actually... Okay, so I actually have that still. Let's poke you. Poke, poke, poke. What? Okay, interesting, interesting, and... Oh, you're kidding me. Okay, well, all right. Hi. And just... That is an unlucky number. If, I get, if that gives me more twinkling, that's going to be another upgrade. I said I might have to actually... No, I don't think magic would work all that well, though. Eh. Okay. This is actually not what I should have gone. I should have gone back to Ordeal's End. Well, I will just go back real quick, but... What happened? Did you get another good artifact? So actually, maybe chasing it back the other way should make it less apt to fall into a hole. Oh, wow! So is that going to go on Jean, or...? Oh, for Nouviette. Were you farming Marchasse? Oh, nice. Yeah, that's really, really nice. Glad to hear it. I... Personally, and this is just... 
talking about myself. The build I have on Nuviet, he actually has a crit damage circlet, but that's because he's running Sacrificial Jade and therefore already has a lot of other crit spats. How are you gonna... Let's see if we can... Oh, well. Alright. I couldn't run fast enough. No way. Let's actually... Can we boom back? You know what? I'm going to attune homeward. So that if... Boom back. So I don't have to boom back. Let's rest. Tune spells and... Put that on homeward. Okay. Cool. I'm gonna go back again. We are going to try our darndest to not... Lose that stuff. Oh, just a second, actually. Let's turn the light on my in the room. That's really, really good. I will say, eventually, it might be a good idea to try to... If you're willing to spend on Battle Pass, getting Sacrificial Jade for Nuviat, because it is insanely good for him. And then you can run a crit... Damage Circuit pretty handily. But it's... It's ultimately up to you. It's not something you really need to worry about at this moment. Ah. And just... Can I... Oh no. Oh no. Come on, come on. And now you're disappearing. Please. Please. Well... Poise breaks really well. Oh no, I did unveil again. How did I get an unveil instead of... Stupid, stupid, stupid. Oh, whatever. One more of these. I want... I want that final. I want that crystal wizard. Honestly, honestly, I should just... Let's see. Take Dark Orb or something. Cool. Put a staff back on. Shoot it. Been a while since I had my stuff properly equipped. Bone staff, bone staff. That, it's better for dark, worse for magic. But it's not upgraded like the other one is, so it's not good anyway. And if I wanted a good dark staff, I'd be using... Could I use sunset? Could I use sunset? Do I have sunset? I do. That's 179. 60, it's... Good dark scaling, but... That's actually 138, so that's 198. Sit on. Oh, it's actually still doing more damage because it's not upgraded. Uh, okay. Well, whatever. That was nice to consider. But dark magic is, is its own type of magic in this game. Separate from other kinds of magic, but it uses other types of magics casting tools to cast. It's kind of parasitic in that sense. Let's just see how much dark damage I'll deal with. Dark Orb. Oh, nice! Is it attack, EM? Because I know you could run him EM if you want. As long as you're reliably vaporizing. Goodbye. Okay. Good warrior. Great helm. Okay. They're basically interchangeable. And for me, I don't always actually reliably get vaporizes on him, so it's not as clear cut. Come on, come on. Let's see if I could... It disappeared again. You've got to be kidding me. And I'm all out of bones because I... I thought it would work this time. Let's actually equip the binoculars. Okay. We can... You know what? If this fall kills me, it's the fastest way back. Cool. Hate my life. Okay. So, okay. Okay. I'm gonna go back. I'm going to equip my binoculars. I'm going to try sniping the crystal wizard with a dark orb. If it works, I'll be happy. If it doesn't, I may do unspeakable things. I've got three bosses. I'd like to ideally get a fourth. But that said... This is Brightstone Ghost Aurora. I am in an entirely new area now. It's a decent 
stopping point. Depends on how far I can get in the time I have. Let's see. Middle, middle. Come on, come on. That didn't... The range on that is not so good. Let's see, and just... Little to the left. What? Come on. Is that not hitting? Okay, well, whatever. Oh, weird. Did that... Huh. Some other door I need to get into, then. Uh, okay. Fast weapon with a poke. Fast weapon with a poke. My soul. Soul is in agony. Once so I'm done, I may poke in a little bit more, but... Ha. Huh. It's just... What's the running attack like on two-handed? That's... That might be good. If I can hit it... If I can hit it with that, it's good. Just went for the poke when I probably shouldn't have. I'm trying to run through water. Okay. Come on, come on. Here we go, another impairment. Nice. And let's see. Let's keep on running. Chase you down. And chase you. Keep chasing you. Oh, goodness. And it's just... There's no way to do this. There's no good way to do it. Uh, find another way to conclusively kill it, maybe. But it's just so... Probably, actually, it's going to have to be Dark Orbs from up close. I just can't afford to snipe it. I need to... Actually, two Great Heavy Soul Arrows should kill. I can't believe I'm putting this much effort into this. Two Great Heavy Soul Arrow. Can I use... I can't use Homing Soul Arrow yet. Okay. Good to know. I will cease to overestimate my capabilities. Hopefully. Hopefully. Part of death and attack for who? For Gami? Or... Oh, well, it's not bad. It's got Hydro and... Oh, boy, the attack is scary. But Heart Adept's not bad, considering that he has almost all of his damage coming from Hydro. I mean, from charge attacks. Okay. Knock you down, and run in. Kill that crystal wizard. Just get lock on distance. Nice, 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 nice. One more time, one more time. Is that going to do it? It's not going to... What? Oh, you're kidding me. Ah. Uh, so I need to get as close as possible, and then when it starts running away, I start shooting it. Okay. Oh, that... That's sad. Do you mean 6k per tick of the charge attack, or 6k for the entire sequence? Either way, that... I'm sorry. Ah. Mm, probably Magus and Congregation. They do have a soul. And it can't be much. It's gonna give me something. Mm. Oh, nice. So you doubled it already. That's really good. And another impalement. Pick up item. It's not intending to farm you. Not intending to farm you. But it'll do. As close as possible, as close as possible. So you start running away and... Start running away, start running away. And... Did we get you? Did we get you? We got you! Okay. Orch Time Knights are raw stone, so actually no twinkling. That's okay. It's... A matter of external buffs and really good artifacts, good weapons, leveling. Usually constellations on him or his supports or refinements on five-star weapons. Anytime you see someone doing really crazy damage. Oh, and sometimes if it's an overworld, there'd be food buffs too. When you see someone doing really ludicrous damage, that's usually it. So... Time to go through Seldor with our truly ludicrous weapon. I wonder when Curling Magus will show up. Hmm. 
tune some spells. Maybe homeward, I don't know. One hit ult. So something like your. That is yours whole deal. Damage per screenshot. Oh, Huto. I not really a burst focus when I use Huto. Her burst is good, but it can be hard to reliably vape it if you're using her with Xing Chao. If you're already trying to max out your the number of charges you're performing. Time my chunk. Name a soldier. A soldier. A lot of people died. All right. Knock this down, and what did we get? We got lacerating arrow. Huh. But more pigs. Oh, come on. You are leaving with weird. Okay. What's in here? There's someone summonable. Hi. Oh, of course you plunged me. You absolute moron. Unfair. Come on, come on. Come on, and one more. Oh my goodness. I feel evil. So the name of soldier. The damage I'm putting out is outright unfair. Why are you moving like that? Okay. Okay, but all I have to do is just spin like a tornado and everything dies. Uh, straight up Ninjago flashbacks. Okay, well, tense over here. If I can kill. Growing Magus and Congregation. I'll feel like I got a good amount done today. I've killed four bosses, which is the goal I usually try to set for myself. Even if one of them was a joke and one of them was refunding a boss on a higher difficulty. Tight Night Shard. Okay. Come on, come on. Let's just actually keep the shield up for now. Then do your thing and we will just preempt you by spinning our spear around. So it's actually got more of a twin blade moveset. Twin blade's one of the, it's a double-ended weapon. Do I have one in my inventory? I think I got rid of it. I think I put it in the box. Let's see. Yeah, it's definitely in the box. But this kind of spinning Darth Maul attack, <clears throat> that's usually a twin blade thing. But it's also on this specific halberd because they said, you know what? It's not good enough already. And also it's completely unbreakable. Because you have to break it to make it work. Oh, Ben Hardy Yugo's here. Okay. So clearly Prowling Magus is soon, and I'll be able to quit and feel accomplished about quitting. But he, he has a quest line just like the gal from before, Wukatil. We need to summon him for three boss fights, and then he... Oh, those are the Bright Zones in the Bright Zone Cold Seldora. Okay. So they weren't lying. Seldora Cove wasn't lying. Those stones really are bright. How do I get in here? The jumper. Head but be wary of monster. How do I get inside here? To break this? Can't do that. Oh, it's you crawl up from underground. Is the Do I go in the well or? Yep, you do. You have to go down in the well. Oh, that's really cool. Guys, it's Conda Village, Genshin Impact. Everything is Genshin Impact. Jumping by Wary of Beast. Let's see if I can roll. No, I do have to jump. Wary of Beast. Probably gonna be another pig, maybe. I loved Sacred Soccer Cleansing Ritual. It was honestly the first real underground underground area. Because... Can I break this? Okay, no, I just have to be really precise. I could break the wooden canopy, I could sort of fall down inside, but... Because the cavern in Dragonspine was cool too, but okay, no, it does break. The cavern in Dragonspine was cool too, but it was so open. I liked how the well was a little claustrophobic, kind of confusing. That's what a real underground area should be like. In other words, I loved Samara. I love Sumeru Desert. Sumeru Underground in general, especially Sumeru Desert. 
to do. Spam my R1. Hurry of chest. Okay. And there we go. We got... No, no, not like that. Oh, and then you climb on the rocks to come out. Enemy ahead. Enemy be wary of monster. Oh, the pig down there. And is this... Oh, it is a mimic! It's a mimic! Oh! Oh! Thought they meant the pig. Thought they meant the pig. Well, okay. All right. I'm gonna apogee again. Just like this. I have a lot to burn, and I need to find that heart. If I want to kill Prowling Magus and Congregation, well, they're easy to kill. But if I want to progress this quest line, I need to do that. Hi. And just like that. One more, one more. Oh, goodness. Now, I depleted my stamina like an idiot. How many more? We got falconers over here. We got pigs over here. Uh, you down here. You over here. You up here. Hi. Die. And nicely enough. Oh, not unless that happens, I guess. Come on, come on. So for our falconers, and let's see. Let's see, can we... Okay, that works. That, that works. That works. Oh, I'm getting hedged in. I'm getting hedged in. Get over here. Let me kill you. Let me kill you. Oh, please. Get here. Okay, we are very close to death. I acted like an idiot, but we're free. Should be good now. Did you go in there and not die to that mimic? And we'll be good. And, of course, enemy... Of course, enemy arrows have homing, because nothing good can last. Let's see. Jump. Plunge over there. Got that. Whatever. Okay. Cool. Jump, jump, jump. Spin. Get you. Come on, come on. How many falconers do I have to... Unless I can get in a spot where those arrows can't hit me, I'm pretty good. Come on, come on. And just... What if I... Well, that worked. Cool. Okay, so that is actually better for dealing with groups of enemies because it's got a much wider swing. That makes sense. Didn't really think about it, but that makes sense. Okay. Not overextend myself. Actually try to bait your attack and counter instead of going in spear blazing. Okay. I think I can use flame weapon... Don't really need to bother targeting weaknesses for Prowling Magus. Yeah, it's a joke, boss. Max Friendship? Yeah, I do. Why? Because of... I forget his name card, though, because I immediately, when I get a new character, I put them in the party I use for doing commissions and put them in my teapot so that I can get them to Friendship 10, 10 as soon as possible. It's a dragon, right? If I recall correctly, it's a dragon. So that's over there. Bloodstain, Flame Weapon... Burn it up. Okay. Surge. Okay. It's got a dragon on it, right? Or am I going crazy? Cool and just... There we go! We killed it before it even got up. Nice. Dark Blakey's in a staff of... Oh, staff of wisdom. I can't use that. I don't have 50 intelligence. Oh, oh, okay. So the glitch you mentioned before, where you, he keeps it even when it's, he's not doing his charge attack. I tried to do that a few times, that's why I knew about it. I just could never get it to work because I'm pathetic. I'm useless. Ah! Okay. Hold her ahead, try backstepping. There we go. Crush your own miner. Uh, those are those are good labor practices. I I got the timing wrong somehow. Not sure exactly what it was, but I got something wrong. Okay, you're up here. Hi. And if we push that down, actually... Oh, he'll do that and kill his own dudes without... Actually, he didn't kill anyone. Now you're coming over here to get me. Hi. Hmm. Okay, so the range on it actually isn't amazing. It's the speed and the damage. Well, it is effectively a twin blade named a spear, so... Do it. You dare. Soul of a brave warrior. Let's see. Let's actually just jump down here. Bit of damage, it's not crazy though. And just 
spin around again. Do not... Oh my goodness, that was one heck of a gank. Okay, so there's a lot of wind-up for that attack, it seems. Come on, come on. Come on, okay. Hydro resistance? Not... Not specifically. Not to my knowledge. There's defense shred, but that's about it. Shortcut? Not gonna try that. And the interesting thing about defense shred is that it's actually multiplicative. If you have multiple sources of defense red, they all get better. And this is where... Therefore, bravery. What is that? Light night shard. Oh, the... I think this is where Freya shows up. Or the spider shows up. Is this gonna be... Is this gonna be it? Is this gonna be it? Let's see. What? What's the cursed thought? Come on. You've got to be kidding me. Oh, there we go. <clears throat> This weapon actually isn't amazing for group fights, it seems. Okay, I do have homework, and that's good. Let's whip the chime, and if... Oh, but if I get stuck in the fight... Let's see. If I open this... Well, it's not going to force me inside. Right in C2. Oh, for... But for charge attacks instead of burst, then? Or actually just for burst? Because if it was for the burst... Oh my goodness, that's a lunacy. Damage on the... Okay, for char... Yeah, he would be... You would never need any other character. That would be crazy. Try torch. Friend? No, that's... That's a spider. It's not a friend. It's not a friend with spider. Nice, okay. So clearly they're all gonna try to kill me. That's always side of them, so we need to hit them up here like this. There we go, knock you down. Yeah, it's just... One of the reasons they could do it on his burst. I mean... Like his charge attack skeleton stealth... Could put it on... Put that on Raiden is that... You can't really use... Her burst all that well for Overworld. It's not... It's really overpowered for Abyss. But... Her burst already melts everything in Overworld. It's... Not making much of a difference. Family... Elaborate on that. Tell me what you mean by that. It's not a... Huh. Well... Spiders over there are afraid. They're fearful. Another mimic, or... It doesn't look like one. If I open this chest, will it make the spiders show up? Oh, it might... What? Dark orb? Oh, that just makes the spiders show up. That's what the trap does. That's funny. Endless spider trap. That said, if you have a torch, they're afraid of you. At least of fire. Oh, and they actually broke it and... Oh, heavy bolt's already in there. Good. That's just... Keep poking. A few more spiders? There's one over there. Oh, hi. Hi. Actually, let's switch the power of flame to this hand and just flush it out with a fireball real quick. Goodbye. You did nothing to me. You simply were in the wrong place at the wrong time. Enjoy death. Or don't. So once we get to... That's over there as well. Kill all these spiders. Should actually probably put trap ahead message here. Durability. Oh my goodness. That would be insane. Imagine if they were unrepairable and you had to roll for new ones every time. I didn't say that. They didn't hear that. Checks, trap, trap ahead. It is actually really interesting because in the content beta tasks, the... Ferris Shadow mentioned, quote unquote, scaling with strength, which is not something that actually exists in Dark Soul and Genshin, to say the least. Okay. You know what? We could get a free... Gotta go back and get Ben Hart now. Read Illusion Ahead. Is there? Let's see. Illusion Ahead. Blood Wall Ahead. Oh, there is! And I think that's an Estus Slash Shard, too. By the way, we do need to go back and summon him real quick. So I think you can use that to actually skip this comically easy boss. And can I. Oh, I can't actually hit it. Not like that, at least. Hi! Okay. 
There we go, and there should be some decent treasures through here, but the water. Not that I needed that, but priestess outfit. Eh, okay. How many more? Yeah. It, for better or worse, and I would probably say for worse, there's only so much I can ride, Mahoyo. They're very much, very clearly, saving really good rewards and, to be frank, probably a lot of quality of life, too. For when people start losing interest in the game and they need things to advertise. And they're also doing that... Well, I guess you couldn't really say they're doing that with Dane's Leaf because he... They can't really have him come out until Chondria. That's when they... If they're introducing an 8th element with Dane's Leaf, which they almost certainly will, because his element was obscured, he would be with Chondria, almost certainly. Maybe Celestia. Yeah. But it's... A lot of people say that, oh, they give HSR more rewards because that's the game they're focusing on. But it's the exact opposite. They give that game better rewards because not as many people are as, in, are as interested in it. Odidnak X. Ken Dido. Backwards, maybe? Okay, ben Hart should be around here. And summon him from one of these tents. And then... Oh, we'll be right with the world. Summon him, and then... Have him fight with us against a boss that is already comically easy. Okay, here he is. Here he is. Right next to this... Corpse. Oh, that's nasty. Actually looks kind of like his armor. Yeah, that... No, actually not all that similar. So we take him with us. All of us. By prowling Magus with us. Okay. Not that either of us needs the help. We could probably let him do it all by himself. Okay, but either way... Yeah. Don't worry. I, got, I actually got an email about that, so... I saw it. I'll accept it as soon as this is done, actually, and then we can figure out the fan court stuff, actually. Okay, Prowling Magus and Congregation. Oh, it's Congregation because that's a church down there. I had never seen that. Well, because I knew about the bosses, but never played the game. Yeah, that's that's a church. Weirdly religious mage, or maybe a weirdly magical priest. Okay. Spider doors, we go through, we kill Prowling Magus. We will have killed three bosses, and I will have accomplished the goal I set for myself at the start of every stream for Dark Souls 2, which is kill four bosses. Even if some of them are repeats of the same boss. Okay, let's do this. Flame weapon, you can actually hear him wo 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 on the other side of the fire. Actually, maybe I could. Because the... I could use the Dark Pyro Flame to buff and keep the others so I could use powers while still shielding. I think that's what'll do. Given that... It's all based on my Pyro Fire bonus and not anything related to the damage of the spell. Going Magus and Congregation. Hello. That's... Oh my goodness, you are... How are you? How's your Warlocks? Congregation is nothing. You are nothing. You are nothing. You are nobody. Come on. Don't die, Ben Hart. Don't die, Ben Hart. Yeah, you're not dying. Shouldn't die. Congregation's dying. Congregation's dying. Oh my goodness. Let's not get struck by lightning. The Magus is not bad. Oh, don't die. Yeah, it's just... This is hardly a boss. Okay, Prowling Magus is down. Congregation will be down soon. Okay, before you. Spell up. Okay, these guys, these weird priests. Okay. Can I actually... Let's see if I can backstab you at all. Well, no difference made. Goodbye. Thank you, Ben Hart. Victory achieved. He's gonna go home. Oh, Titan Knight's Lab? Oh, there, is there a soul from that? Okay, did the congregation drop the Titan Knight's Lab and the... Okay, there's just no soul from it. That makes sense. It'd be really funny if it had one, honestly. But you can actually... Woman required ahead? Well, I guess. World level 8. Been that way for years. I would never miss out on sweet, sweet loot. Left and then ladder. 
Is that going to be a bonfire? Merchant ahead, therefore try and ladder. Hit and therefore friend. Yeah. Wait, left and then bonfire. Oh, there it is. Okay. So I'm going to go back to Majula and level up, but... Chapel threshold. Yep, it is a chapel. A chapel, as they say. They don't say that. Oh, but it's... That's actually really cool. It's showing a fog gate on the other side. Because if you somehow managed to get around the other way just to that bonfire, you would have seen a fog gate. You would have had to enter from the other side, but there would be a fog gate there. Seek, seek, less. Okay. So next time we will go and we will kill a giant spider. And that's all for now. Thank you for popping in. Thank you for your steadfast adherence. And yeah. Sayonara again. See you soon.